Hello everybody and Happy New Year! We're back! And welcome to Worst Games, Games ever. ever! I'm Ben. I'm Peter. This is the show where we play terrible video games sent in by Hugh. Hey. Just, just Hugh. Just Hugh. Only Hugh's can... This one, this week, is from Grant. Hugh Jack... Oh. oh. Jackman is the is in two weeks. No, not though. Jackman, just Hugh Jack, I said. Hugh Jack. Hugh Jack. And Bo Jack. No, it's a different one. Yeah. It's a totally different one. Yeah, they're they're horrible video games. Remember, they're not always the worst games ever. They're just worse than most. Yes. Uh, I am um, this week's Games Victim. Ooh. Which means that I am this week's Games Master. And that means, 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 means. Those things together mean... I play the game. Yeah. And you give the game. Yeah. As well as some science facts about the game as we go. And there, hot and fresh, hot and fresh. We've got loads of new games, Peter. We have. Tons so I, of them. I had a lot to choose from this week, except what I did choose instead was one of the last games that we had from the previous batch. Uh, partly because all the games we've received are currently boxed up, tidy, out of the way because there was supposed to be some building work being done in the studio that is now not happening. But we need to like get them all out again and it's just, there's so much to do. Let's put them on shelves. So instead, you know, we've grabbed one more from the previous lot and then uh, probably as of next episode, we will be commencing with the, uh, the tat lot that we got sent at yes. Christmas. Thanks for sending those. Got lots of fantastic new, horrible, awful, terrible games to play. Yes. This week though, it's right here. You've already seen it. Don't pretend you don't know what it is. It's the sum of all fears. Whoa! Starring Morgan Freeman's. 27,000 nuclear weapons. One is missing. But where is it? Well, that's not a bad track record. What's one out of 27,000 by percentage? Uh, percentage? Yeah, let's wow. see what their... 1% of 27,000 is 270. So it's 0.1, maybe 0.07. It's 0.0037. Really got it very wrong, didn't I? I was, my maths, I was doing the right processes in my head. Yeah. But my brain couldn't couldn't complete the process. So basically they're 99.996296% good at looking after their nuclear weapons. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's I mean, good. if you want to look at the maths, the mathematics of yeah. it. Yeah. However... Mm. A nuke has gone missing. A, nu a nuke has gone missing that's and and the real problem is that that there are 27,000 of them to begin with. Oh yeah, that's the biggest we problem. Don't, we don't need that many to ruin everything. No, we only need a couple. We only need like, yeah, like a handful of them. Yeah. Which is one, because you can't carry a handful of nuclear missiles, can you? No, you can't. Someone has though. Someone's put it in their pocket and uh, run away. This game's a 15. God. Blimey, O'Reilly. Well, should we start? Yeah, this is based on a film, right? It is. Uh, uh, that's a science fact. In keeping, sorry. But yes. In keeping with tradition, have either of us seen it? No. No. Let's Fantastic. do this. Let's play the game. Let's go. Peter, we've got some friends with us today. Yeah, we have. So our worst games ever friends. Should we run through all of them in alphabetical order? Oh, Christ. Okay. Billy Ray Dolores. Ye Billy Ray, Ray Walrus. Who else is this? Dick Mychinko. Jean-Claude Van Lam. You're very good at this. Stephen No, Scandal, Scandal Penguin. Penguin. Stephen Seagull. Yeah. Nailed it. I thought that was going to be way harder than it ended up being. Ubisoft. Ubi Space Soft. Remember when they were Ubi Space Soft? Hello? How heavy can I walk in this building? Do they just wait until we're... I think so. I think they do just wait until so. we're recording. What's that? Oh, oh it's a red storm! It's a red entertainment. storm entertainment game. Wow. 
the 90th anniversary. The 90th anniversary of Paramount. Blimey. I don't believe that. I think that's a lie. Do you? Yeah. You think they're I lying, think they're lying about, it. about it? Let's turn when we're 90 years old. Oh. Go on, do you Why want to we went to take the most stellar trailer, the most intrepid ever, and the most wrong data show, put them there. Would you get the club of their clear? What does that mean, Winston? The Darking Magic. What, what the bloody hell does that mean? I don't know. Terrorism no longer knows national boundaries. Terrorist organizations oh my God. with impunity in virtually every country in the world. <laughs> it's not working. Look at them well, run. I can't concentrate on how bad they are because I can't hear it. Can you reach? This is a PS2 I love, game. I love that this is an in-game cutscene. Briefcase. Oh. Weapons of mass destruction follow tomorrow. There. Oh, look, radioactive stuff. Dangerous time. Weapons of mass destruction. What that you, that dates this at? game. That term. I know we still really use knows. that term, but when you find out what year this came out, is it sort of two thousand and two? Yes, is exactly two thousand and two. Okay, <laughs> The war in the Iraq, Iraq days. You yeah, know those of course. Ones? Yeah, I mean, Afghanistan. The, we were feeling the repercussions of the weapons of mass, the weapons of mass destruction era, for want of a more sensitive term. Yeah. Uh, in video games, for at least a decade after that, everything was brown. Everything was in the Middle East. Yeah. Everything like the color palette. But I feel like I need to clarify: the color palette was brown. <laughs> Deserts. Um, everything's yeah. desert and. Just look at it. Does, uh, does this have Morgan Freeman's in it? Right. I need to turn it back down now because it's yelling at us. The Sum of All Fears is a tactical shooter video game developed by Red Storm Entertainment and published by Ubisoft. It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, only in Europe, and GameCube, uh, not just in Europe. Only in Europe? In 2002. So in, on PS2, it? it was only in Europe. Wow, what a treat for us. Yeah, thanks. En enjoy this, Americans. I like that it, it has to scroll the text because God knows there's not enough room. <laughs> Learn the basic controls, enter the mission B, uh, replay unlocked mission, uh, check your game Pro progress, uh, change control, control screen, screen. Check, check, the check the credits just in case. Just have a quick credits check. Deke waters. These are some. Are these they are all some, dead? These are some deke waters. Fallen right. soldiers. Well, it's based on a. Right, I'm not going to take you. <laughs> the game is based on the 2002 <laughs> film of the same name starring More Than Freeman yeah. and Ben Affleck, which is itself... Was oh, that Ben Affleck on the front? Yeah. I, I thought which, I recognised Which it. is itself based on the Tom Clancy novel of the same name. So group. this is technically Tom Clancy's The Sum of All Fears. Yeah. So this is a... We're playing a Tom Clancy game, basically. This, this is the Tom Clancy game America never got on PS2. Yeah. He, oh, they got we it on other consoles. We need, we need to title it like that. Yeah. To get all the clicks. The Tom Clancy game America never got. Yes. On PS2 in brackets. Small arms. Hello. New Year, same us. Am I right? Yeah. Kill house. Whoa. <laughs> God. Information. T O five. Kill house. Objectives. Nothing. Don't you dare do anything. <laughs> Just stay still. Just T pose. With your small arms. Just T. T pose. <laughs> Does that say 9mm 5mg? I think it's meant to be an S. Yeah, but it's a 5. Though, it's isn't definitely it? a 5. I'm Dawson. Oh, it's one, right, of, Dawson. one of these Tom Clancy games. But I must say it runs fairly smoothly. Well, I expect it to be really slow. I have good news for chuggy, you. Yeah? Guess which button is crouch? Not circle. L2? You're right. L2. How do I shoot? That's not shoot, that's R2 is reload. Oh, it's very Tom Clancy, isn't it? I remember this sort of UI now from other games. How, how obnoxious and obstructive is that? It's, Get it's out half of the, the way! Screen, and the other half of the screen is map and gun. You've got a very small window there to see the live fire area. Neutralize the terrorists oh. and rescue the hostage. You a terrorist? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What the hell was that? Take it down. Oh! <laughs> what was he doing? Can we just hear his quip after this yeah. next one? You ready? He's <laughs> 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 still going. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh god. Enemy down. <laughs> yeah, enemy uh, down. Uh, I'm pretty sure he counted as a, as a civilian with that performance. Uh, <laughs> I I hope I pray to <laughs> any and all gods that the rest of the game is like that. Oh god. I think uh, should we end the episode here? That's it. Oh, it's been a long time since the worst game has made me cry. Yeah, a lot of laughter juice there came out. Oh, holy, holy crap. Oh, that was God. astonishingly good. Hello? Am I allowed? <laughs> <laughs> what I like is when, I mean, there's going to be a lot of things I like, but when you open the doors, they just open into you. And oh, you have to good, get yeah. out of their way slowly. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. Are they upstairs? Oh! Hold on, kids. It's a cattle grid. <laughs> Right, he's not quite. There's a lot of recoil on those guns. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are these hostages? I'm assuming, I thought that would be the green stuff. But, oh no, it's the stairs. That's what it's meant. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, the gun's going through his arm. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he was shooting down the right side of you, and now he's shooting the left side. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're ready now for live fire warfare. Oh, this is Jack Ryan. Your mission, execute Jack Ryan's orders. Jack Ryan is a, that's another Tom Clancy Amazon yeah. show, right, is it? I've heard John, of Jack John Ryan. John Krasinski. The game's first two missions take place some sometime during the film, it says <laughs> on Wikipedia. When's the film set? I don't know. It doesn't tell us anything. In which the FBI hostage rescue team, HRT, HRT. Great works to save hostages in a Charleston, West Virginia television station oh. and shut down operations from a West Virginian militia calling themselves the Mountain Men. That is pretty, pretty homoerotic. It is a little bit, it's isn't it? homoerotic. We're the Mountain Men. Saddle up. We got your nukes. We're gonna mount you. Uh, mountain Man. <laughs> From the third mission on, John Clark recruits the team to work for the CIA and has the operatives seek out the conspirators behind an incident in Baltimore, Maryland, in which a nuclear bomb has been detonated during an American football game, Whoa. killing a large number of people. A nuclear bomb? Nuclear, yeah. Nuclear, sorry. Yeah. Sorry to pull you out of your New Year's celebrations. <gasps> we chose the right game! No one is expendable on this team. Bring everyone out alive. Oh god, no team casualties. The station's two news anchors are being held in Studio A. You should, oh god, you should... You should approach the studio from the third floor. I accept. So, the player... Oh, go away! The player cannot individually select the equipment each team member carries. Instead, the player chooses from a small selection of predefined equipment packages for the entire team. You didn't get the option to do no, that, I did you? No, I did not. Uh, on each mission, the player has control of his two teammates and can take direct control of any of them at any time. Oh. Here, here are my boys. Yeah, they're oh, back in baddies. town. It's given me a, a nice little map marker to let me know exactly what I'm meant to do, which is really, oh, that's good. really nice. These are your friends. So this is another team. Oh, well, why, is he, why are you giving... Okay, it's now like I'll... Amazon packaging, that box, isn't it? Look how much dead space there is in it. I'll take this door then. Oh. Oh god, I thought the oh, door was to, going I've got, to, I've got to unlock the door. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, they are actually shooting at me this time. Okay. It Is locks that the on. auto-aiming? Yeah. Oh wow, okay. It do, it do lock on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg! Ah, oh, I died. Tango down, tango down. Are they crouched as well? Yes, they are. Okay, off we go. It's the Waddle Squad. <laughs> Everyday normal guys. Yeah. Right this is a PS2 game, I must remind you. Yeah. Oh! You, you big you big Wilson. Let me find out what else came out in 2002. Oh, I This was late 2002 as well. Right. I've got friends outside. Here they come, look. <laughs> Medal of Honor Frontline came out. That was a uh, relatively... Good looking game for the time. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, no, this this does actually look bad. I I feel feel like I've justified my criticism of 
of its visuals. Of its visuals, yeah. I'm quite glad that it auto locks locks on. Yeah, that is good. Oh, for actually. God's sake! Oh, oh God! I thought you were going to have to drag your terrible. <laughs> Me too. Reticle thing. Let's go up. Come, come on! I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Oh! Oh! Did someone die? Oh! But I thought it was mission failed if one well, of your team died. Oh God! Is this guy the boss? Is this guy the boss? Jesus, how much health did he have? I'm the last one alive. I'm sure it says team. it's mission failed if your team dies. Yeah, I thought that too. Uh, so Red Storm, who made this game, uh, have pretty much just made Tom Clancy games, or <laughs> this isn't a Tom Clancy game, but Tom Clancy style games since 1997. Oh. Including, was, oh my God. they've worked on pretty much all the big Ghost Recons, the Rainbow Sixes, the Divisions. The divisions, they're still do they're still going then. Yeah, they usually co-develop with uh, Ubisoft Montreal, so they don't get top billing as a, right. a Red Storm game, The Division. It's a, like a, just an Ubisoft Montreal division. game. Uh, they also worked on Far Cry's three and four. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, that's nice. So they've got some go some pedigree to them. These boys and girls. Oh, here oh. we go. Here are the boys. Come on, let's go together. Do you have to go upstairs. Maybe I do. <laughs> These guys are sort of sort of waiting by the Maybe that's what your objective is pointing to, but just on the next floor. What is that? What's he doing? Is he, meant, is he holding it with his hand? Is that he's what he's meant to be doing? Yeah, why? He's just How did they it. screw that up? Same with this fella. How, yeah, they're supposed to be holding the end of the barrel, but they're just not. Oh, that's zoom. Uh, oh. D-pad. Right. What's the, oh, what, what, what does that you do? You can't zoom with a... I can lean left and right. An SMG. Oh, that's can, good, lean left and right. Can if you squint? What? You've set off the alarm, mission failure. How were you supposed to know that? Is it just trial and error? Like, oh, I failed the mission last time when I tried to open that door. That's a bit ridiculous. It is a tad, isn't it? Here we are There's again. There's nothing to tell you. Oh, stop! Why are these guys so easy to kill, you know, because they're bullets? And then everyone else is... The people on the second floor, or the first floor even, are just tanking all... It's, it's standard terrorist protocol to put the the strong boys on the first floor. That's true. And the ground floor is all Just, the... Yeah, put your, the, your meat bags on the ground floor. I've got all the soy boys down there. Yeah. Nailed. Nailed. So do they not actually fire... <laughs> they don't really know what I don't think they have any gunfire sound effects or muzzle flash. They just stand there, enemies fall down dead and they go, Nailed him. <laughs> oh, I had to do this. Right. Disarm the security alarm. Right, okay. Oh, look at that man. He's a good looking one, isn't he? He is. Oh. Oh, I got him through the door. Wow, that was, that was some a good siege, one. Siege tactics there, Rainbow Six Siege tactics. The game features various uh, voice talents with recognisable roles. Uh, oh, does it? Recognisable roles? Yeah. Carol Ruggier, which is misspelled in the game's credits. Is it really? Carol is misspelled. Miss, Carol? It's meant to have an E on the end and they missed it. Everyone else on the internet has puts an E on it, but in this game's credits, there's no E. Carol. Carol. You can't spell it like Carol, but that's not how Carol spells it. No. Uh, she played Athena in God of War 1 and 2, and Auntie Dot in Halo Reach, who I can't really remember who that was, even though Auntie, I'm... Auntie Dot? Auntie Dot, yes. Is it an antidote? I guess so. That's, that's a weird name. It is a weird name. Never played Halo. Uh, I have played that game, I just can't remember who she was. Uh, Doug Rye played Dan Deschamps in Resident Evil 5, who is like a, a soldier that you find lying on the floor and he says like, We were attacked! And there's like someone running around in the room. Joe White, W-H-Y-T-E. Good oh, spelling. Good That's spelling. Fun spelling that played Chris Redfield in the Resi 1 remake. Oh, okay. Uh, and also... Am I allowed in now? Tinkles. I'm sorry. In Hotel Transylvania 3 and 4. Played Tinkles. Not in H Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2. No. 3 and 4. Tinkles. Tinkles. In Hotel Transylvania 3. So who did he play? Tinkles. There's no more. alarm this time. But wait, there's more. Sorry, what? <laughs> that was the alarm going off. They also have a sort of orchestral alarm. Cut the satellite feed. Yeah, cut it. Oh, I'm, what am I walking into? Oh, it's a, a small, it's a small, a very small fence. Excuse oh, me, guys. Just push them out of the way. My boys. There's someone there. Damn. My stomach. <laughs> Tango. Tango eliminated. Moving up silently to the next room. 
They'll never see us coming. Quite easy, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from the doors that have bombs on them that instantly kill you. Enemy eliminated. Nailed. No team casualties. Objective complete. You have successfully. You have successfully completed this mission. 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 Just echoing around that big text that box. That big empty text box. Well, I absolutely nailed that. I feel like a real Clancy. James Horan played Skullface in Metal Gear Solid Five. Do you know who that is? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. J. Jihad Harrick. What? Sorry? So, I looked this up. His name yeah. on his birth certificate is Jihad Harrick, but he now goes by J. Okay. Because in 2002, there were weapons of mass destruction everywhere. Right. Okay. You can't be called Jihad anymore. Probably not. He played Wu Jang in 50 Cent Bulletproof. Whoa! And Alan Benatar, please add details, played various extras in Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed Revelation. Mm. There you go. So a well, star-studded cast. Well seasoned. When do we meet Morgan Freeman? Is it just mission? Why are they on the box? I know it's a movie tie-in. Also, Morgan Freeman, who played God in that film. He's no, in this he's game. In oh there. God damn it! <laughs> the world is waiting for a better game. Oh, got him. Look at this water effect. Look at the individual massive raindrops that what? are falling. <laughs> water effect. <laughs> I bless the, the small rain's rain down on the. Oh, he's gone into house. What Shh, he... Just keep it down. Oh, whoa! Are we killing more mountain men? I didn't really pay. Do you think you could do this entire mission without firing a single bullet? No. Well, yes, actually. If my if my boys come with me, these two glitchy <laughs> these fellas, shaky boys. <laughs> yeah, shaking Stevens. If my, if my shaking Stevens come with me, then yeah. maybe. But I. Oh God. I have to go down first and I can't see anything. Also, my, my boys might just get themselves killed. Yeah, it's possible. Unlikely, but you never know. Oh no, he killed one of my boys! Oh. That's who he was shooting at. Objective. Oh, it's, is it a secondary objective? I Possibly. think it's a bonus. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I've died. Okay, the answer is no, Peter. Okay. Hey, you killed my brother, Anakin! You killed my brother, Anakin. That's a line from Star Wars. You killed my brother, Anakin. And his kin. Yeah. By the end of 2002, the game's sales had surpassed 400,000 copies. What? Although of this game? Of Ubisoft had only projected sales of 350,000. 400,000 is astonishingly good sales figures for this game. And they thought they wouldn't get 350,000 until March 2003. But by the end of 2002, it was 400,000. Oh god, are we going to get loads of people in the comments saying, I had this game and I loved it. Yes. It shouldn't be a worst game ever. We but are. the reviews aren't, surely. The reviews aren't. Uh... Well, hmm, we'll get to those. I'll tell you about the film's reviews, though. Oh yeah, tell me about the film. The Sum of All Fears movie received generally mixed reviews from critics, but is considered a major financial success, having a worldwide theatrical run of $193.9 million. What? Compared to its production budget of only $68 million. Because it had Bafflex and Morgans in it. Yeah, so it made its money back like 2.2 times. Wow. We're under attack. <laughs> oh. oh! Mate! <laughs> you okay? Pip, pip, pip. Pip. Oh, look at those stats. Stats? Strats. That's a steep climb. Oh, gee, I thought it was a wall. Oh. Hello? Damn. Damn. Mountain men. Is that it? Yeah, you've eliminated the enemies in the barn. Surely that's not the mission, though, right? Surely there's more to it than that. Missions. Where else have I got to go? Come on, game. Am I, go am I back in the house now? Oh. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was just a very decorative lampshade. Red team, Come on, Red team. Kick some ass. Oh. Too late, Red Team. Too That's late. That's mission complete. That was it. I'm so. I am. I am. To, I am Thomas Clancy. I'm you, I think like, it might be him. I am. Oh, hello. It's that thing you were talking about. Is there going to be a nuke now? Why is there a logo at the top of the screen? I don't know. They just o overlaid a slightly smaller video <laughs> over the top of the menu. The menu. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Oh my god! This is actual CG, I think. Please don't say the nuke is in the nuke is in the vending no, machine! It's no. got a countdown timer how, on it. How could they do this to football? It has a, it has enough space for days on that countdown timer. I know it doesn't, that was hours. It's a lot of hours though. 24. Yeah. Oh, they didn't have enough budget to actually show this the crowd in the no, stadium. No, it's just a crater. And then a hole, yeah. Just a big old hole. I'm getting some more information. 
Hello? What? What? I'm getting... I think they took out the speakers at the same time. The number of casualties is still unknown, but it is certainly in the tens of thousands. Oh my god. I feel like I can do one more. Yeah? Well, I'll get onto the, the reviews then. But, if I succeed, I'm officially updating my Twitter handle to Tom Clancy's Ben Potter for a week. Yeah? If I do it. Okay. If I can make it through without dying, I am officially Tom Clancy's Ben Potter. Right. Yeah. We're yeah. Good. We're yeah. Good right. I, yeah. I'm with. Yeah, I'm with go. you on that. Do you want to save your current progress? Yes. I'm really proud of what we. Yes. I'm really proud of what we've done here today. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Oh. Oh. It's, sorry. Oh, it's gone sorry anyway. Box. You just hit your box so hard it yeah. stopped. <clears throat> the PC and Game Boy Advance versions of the game. Game was... Boy Advance yeah, versions. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even tell you about that. I thought you might be too shocked and appalled. Okay. The PC and Game Boy Advance versions received. Average reviews, average according to Metacritic, That's while the weird. GameCube version received unfavorable reviews. Oh. The PS2 version, yes, only available in, in or op, yes, isn't on Metacritic. Ah, oh. so we turn to our friends at GameFAQs. Okay, what do you think this game average, Ben? I want to say 50. You're very close. It was a little bit more than that. 53. Yes, 52.7%. Very good. There we are. So this game is not good. No. Jesus! God, you keep breaking it when you press things. We're going to Baron Garden. He's a nice man. We're going to Baron's Garden. Baron Garden. The feudal system. <laughs> that had barons in it, didn't it? You can stay here as long as you, as long as you work yeah. and give me all of your food. It's really dark. I've got to follow the light. It's very linear. Spec Ops the oh, light. Oh, hello. Where is an enemy? What? I just saw my, my reticule went red. Oh. Was he, was he just like... I don't know where it went. Half a mile on the other side of the map and there just happened to be an unbroken line Maybe. of sight. I just can't... If there is someone, I can't... Oh, there. Pip, pip. Oh, I'm reloaded. Did you start with an empty gun? I don't think anyone written by Tom Clancy would Tango ever... Tango down! ...ever go into battle with an empty... I think empty... you can just reload at any point. Hang on, let's see. Full 30? Yeah, you can just reload whenever. Oh. That's fine. Moving in. Can you be my man in the chair? Me, yeah. Yeah, give me sort of advice about what, what's coming up ahead. Do you have a code name? Uh, pot Pot. Pot Pot, yeah. Pot Pot. It's a door. It should be right in front of you. Opening. Oh. If you reach out and t grab Do the I handle. Do I have to unlock it? Turn it left. I've unlocked it. Right, go out of the door. I've unlocked it, TP. Oh, oh, I'm under fire. I'm under fire, TP. Yeah. Requesting backup. Pot Pot, you should now be under fire. Yeah, under fire. Okay, good. Everything's going to... Objective to failed. Do not set off the alarm. You have five minutes to complete the mission. Police? TP, TP, I need... I need assistance. I've just reloaded. Right, I've called the police. I've just reloaded. I've called the police because... Uh, because uh, you, you've got a, a live gun in a warehouse and you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, we T told you not to go with a gun. TP, I am not feeling safe right now. Okay. I, it's so dark Don't outside. Don't worry, the police are on their way. Are they going to help me? Y yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. TP, please. Um, Requesting immediate extraction. What kind of extraction? Just a fan. Tooth? If a fan, okay. An extractor fan. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm approaching the building. It's just me left, TP. Oh, there should be a cattle grid right in front of me. Yeah, go up across it. that. Up it. There's a door. Go through the door. Should I crouch first? Crouch first. Unlock the door. Unlocking the door, TP. Standing by. Open the door, pop, pop. And then pip, Tango down, pip, TP. hit the guy in the head, pop, pop. Uh, guy pip, pipped, TP. Proceeding down the corridor, TP. Yeah. Should I expect tangos, TP? Uh, expect lilt, Sprite, any kind of fizzy drink, really, um, from the Pepsi company. Unlocking the door, preparing to breach TP. Yeah, breach TP. Uh, if you go forwards <laughs> and turn to three o'clock. Turn then, to three o'clock. Yeah, and then open that door in front of you. Will there be a tango, TP? There should be. We've arranged for a tango to be... <laughs> To warp into through space time. Coca Cola down, TP. Yeah. Fantastic. Moving in to extract the files, TP. Yeah, grab those, that really chunky documents box. Files secured. Good. Have a route through, see if there's any like old receipts that have unredeemed. Um, any McDonald's vouchers? Yeah, McDonald's vouchers you or know, oh, is it, oh, things where it says, hey, tell us how we did, and you could be within a chance of winning a 100 uh, oh, no, 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 Sorry, card. sorry, TP, just yeah. fell down some stairs there. Bring me those, those vouchers as soon as possible. There should be two tangos to your left. I'm detecting some sprites. Yep, they're having a chat. The police will arrive in three minutes. Okay, understood. Thank you, TP. Okay. Tango's down. Yeah. He's got some got some intel for you right here. Yeah, standing by for intel. So this, um, this real-life mission that you're doing right now, 
If it was a video game, what do you think the highest score on Game Facts would be? Um, is that a searchlight? Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Should be a searchlight there. Is there a searchlight? Arranged to search for you. I think the highest. See, to bring you out safely. Yeah. I'll give you a clue. It's a. Nice. Nice. It's a nice score. Is it, is it 420 out of 100? It is 420. Yes! It's, it's the sex number. 69% according to Gamer.tv. The police will arrive in two minutes. Thank you. Standing, standing by for more instructions. It got 69 out of 100. It is. It, it, it is. It is, yeah. It did. Uh, what do you think the lowest score would be if this real life mission that you're doing right now with your real life was a video game? 12. Uh, 25 ah. from Games Master. Games Master. That's, that's me, the Games Master. That's you. UK. You wrote this review. Games Master UK. None of those have quotes there because it's Game Facts. And that's how Game Facts works. Right, that's a shame. It is. But I, Can you invent one that goes with it? I've gone to a, to the user reviews. Uh, so on the 9th of January 2003. Oh my God, go around the corner. <laughs> yeah. On the 9th of January 2003, user Sneaky Assassin gave the game 80% and said. My recommendation is that if you like this sort of game, buy it. If you do not want to buy it, rent it, you can do the missions in a weekend. <laughs> That's all one sentence. Rent it, you can do the missions in a weekend. Then on the 21st of January, one minute. 2003, so about two weeks later, user Silent Assassin, Yeah. the other one was called Sneaky Assassin. Excellent. Gave the game 80% again. What? And said, I personally would recommend that if you like this sort of game, you still think hard about whether to buy it or not. But it's definitely worth renting out because it's a nice game nonetheless. <laughs> oh, God. It's the same person. 30 seconds. Move, 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 move. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I just need to get down to the boat. That's all the facts. That's all the facts. Wonderful reviews. Seems people love it. Am I in the extraction zone? I wonder if you would have failed or if the police just arrived. I'm the only, I'm the sole survivor of this mission. How terrible a mission was that? Yeah. They send the special forces in, they all get themselves killed by the mountain men. They set off the alarm so the police are coming and then one of them escapes. Why, I don't really understand why the police were coming if you were cleared by the CIA. I think you work for the I CIA. It's like a secret mission maybe. Yeah, but just like get the police to not come. I don't care if it's a secret mission. Just. Well. Either way, Peter, yeah? I am now Tom Clancy's Ben Potter. Should I change my name to Mountain Man Peter Austin? Yeah, I think so. I can be your mortal enemy. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. And I think we should keep that until the next episode of Worst Games Ever. Wow, okay. That's what we should do two whole weeks. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Worst Games Ever! It's a show where we play terrible video games that are genuinely actually sent in by you. You! Remember, they're not always the worst games ever. They're just worse, worse than bad. 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 Some. Yes, worse than they are worse than bad. Mm. That's true. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. That's Ben. That's, yes. That is Ben. This is me. Cam Hello? Just getting, this Alan's just adding in. details. Alan has offered one detail. Is it that Ben? That is Ben. Yes. yes. I, I often forget which side the science facts come from. Uh, in this show, Ben, if that is your, it is his real. It is, can confirm. 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 we know that it's actually, yeah. It's true. In this show, we have two roles uh, that we take between us. Mm. One of us, me today, is the game's victim. Which means you're playing the terrible video game that I mm -hmm. have brought along as the game's master. Oh. That also means, Peter, that I've got a, a, a box full of hot and fresh science. I. Hot. I swear that's, to that's God, where they, the fact gremlins live. They, they only do it when we record it. As soon it. as we start. A box. Ox full of facts uh, that I'll be uh, sort of spouting as we go through the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what game is it that we are doing <laughs> the playing of today? <laughs> da -na -na. Terminator 3, Judgment Day, Rise of, Rise of, what's it called? Uh, uh, Rise of the Machines. Rise of the Machines, uh, Judgment Day, not that one. You're playing as, um, Anne, as Anne Old Schwarzenegger. I, do I get to play as him? An old Schwarzenegger? Well, let's oh. have a look at the back. Fight! 
for the first time ever as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Um, in initiate mission parameters for Cyberdyne Systems Model T850, the Terminator. Is that what it says? Initiate mission parameters. Mission yes, parameters. Does. Master. Over an hour of CGI and film footage starring the motion picture cast. Wow. Do you think the CGI actually looks like them or is it more like, instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's sort of Arthur Arsenwenger or something. It's just a, a sort of... Yeah, Arsenwenger part. Looks like the governor of Florida rather than California. I think they're gone. I think they've gone. I'm not sure. Before they come back, we should start the... We should, yeah. Take that, uh, uh, take that science Ooh, TV remote. Oh, there. blimey, spoilers. It's going to be on a TV. Whoa. There we go. Oh. What's, what's this Humpty Dumpty table we're dealing with? Oh, we just need a table, don't we? We just we need, need... We need a real table. Please send a table. No, don't. Alan, send please table. send tables. Mm. Terminator 3. Rise of the Martians. Martians. Rise pa of the Martians. The Papier Martians. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like the... It's the like silver the one surfer. From that film. The Alan... Alari. Alari. It's Atari, though. What's this? Nutra Intermedia. Intermedia. And C2... Oh, what on earth is C2 Pictures? I'm assuming it's the, the film. Oh, Black Ops Entity. Wow, Black Ops. Whoa, we're going to play some Call of Duty, are we? There he is. Mmm. There's Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Every day. <sighs> Wrong one. Uh, oh yeah. What? Do you think we should turn the music off? Do you think we're going to get copyright stricken? I don't. I'd like to think we won't. They don't. They don't do film scores, do they? Well, we've had it for Star Wars before. That's true. On the but it's Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines is a first-person shooter video game based on the film of the same name. I thought it might be. And was released on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, Game Boy Advance, and mobile phones on the 11th of November 2003. Right, probably a different build on the mobile phones, yes, I would have thought. Yes, but. absolutely. We'll get, we'll get into that in a minute. Have you seen this film? No. Haven't you? Have you? I have seen this oh one. Oh my god, that's the first time. Yeah, I think it might be. That's impressive. Oops. Oh, hello? Demo oh, mode. Into demo mode. It says it in really big letters. Demo mode? Demo mode! Oh, we're starting. Oh, we're in. God, that was quick. Hello? Something important with your life. Something amazing. Whoa, that's not how that works. Then imagine it never happened. <gasps> what? Is that petrol pump sentient? Now? Yeah, it's got Terminator eyes. But Judgment Day never came. I guess Doomsday got canned. 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 What a cool hog. Check out his hog. <laughs> he's not wearing protection though, which isn't very cool. No, he's not. Whoa. Wow! Oh, I left his receipt behind. He did. That's bad. I hope they send a Terminator to kill him. Jesus, it's 23rd, is that 32? For being such a litter bug. Oh, yeah, it looks... should just murder him. Look, there's a little... It was like the Razor Crest flying around there. Whoa! Oh, whoa Why did God. that look like a tiny toy car? Because it is. There's like tilt shift on it. Oh, Agent 47. Everyone's here. Yeah. Are we in the future now? Yeah, this is 2032. Literally, we are closer to this date than we are the release oh of, the, God, of the game. Oh my God, don't even. The game came out in 2003 and it's set in 2032. The distant future. 47's gonna shoot this tank now. Fire! Whoa! Whoa. Look at the white explosion. Oh no. They killed the pilot? Wait, yeah, was there a Terminator driving... Surely, machine? surely they've worked out how to do a self-driving tank. Yeah, you would have thought. Who's in there? What is that? What am I looking at? Just a vent. A weird... What am I... Where are we going? Oh, oh, there he is! There's Arnold! Arthur! Why has it got... Oh, it it's looks got like a lot it's got of three teeth. layers of teeth there, but... It's like a gear. There he is. It does actually look... Sort of like him. Yeah. Looks more like him than I expected. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Wait. Hang on. Did they not program Ooh. him? Is that Sarah Connor? I think it's meant to be Sarah Connor. Get down. Oh no. It's weird that he's. He knows that he's not supposed to kill Sarah Connor. He's supposed to protect her, but. He was happy to kill the other humans. Yeah, if that is Sarah Connor. It looks a bit like her, but I'm not sure. 
Does Skynet know that you've been reprogrammed? Affirmative. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, oh he there said it is. It. There's the line. I don't know if it will be Sarah Connor though, because didn't she live? Well, it could be. I have yeah, no idea. I mean, she was in the film this last year, wasn't she? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. This lady looks too young for it to be Sarah Connor in the 2030s. I suppose you're right. It yeah. might be the daughter of Sarah Connor. Did she something. time travel? I don't really know how Terminator works. I've seen the first one. That's, that's There's the time travel for sure. Kate Brewster. Is that her name? Kate, some, I missed the surname. It looked like Brewster, but that might not okay. be true. Because it's quite long, this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I feel like we're watching a whole film. I feel like this could have been a level, really, but... Wow, they've gone. Where have they gone? Oh. It's, oh, I don't like how his eyes were at an angle. Yes. Yeah. That was kind of annoying. Oh, okay, now we're There he is. Fantastic. Uh, should we introduce our friends? We haven't done that yet. Let's. We've got our worst games ever friends here. We'll go from right to left to left to right. Okay. Scandal Penguin. Steven Seagull. Billy Ray Dolores. Jean-Claude Van Lam. Or Jean-Claude Van Lam. Billy Ray Walrus. Dick Machinko. Dick Machinko. I feel like we're actually... Action hero. Our action heroes. We're missing an Arnold, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we should get, we should get one. How are you doing there? Wow, that's very pretty, isn't it? Like a little God, Roman I, candle. I could look at that all day. We're going to evacuate your bowels. How close can we get to... Oh, oh wow, oh. look at the pixels. I love it. Oh, they're like little, little furry stars. <laughs> Hello? Hey, you. Get your butt down here. Do you want oh, to try some of the controls out? The, oh, oh, it's very ch chudums. Is it? Chudums. It, it doesn't turn very well. The look. Oh! oh! I've only got fists! Go, well, well, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, punch him! With a weird why backhand. Why are you doing that? Stirring porridge. Oh, you got a gun. Skynet SMG. Can I. Hello? Jeez. I've got a Skynet smeg there. It's all kicking off. Am I able to change the look sensitivity? Because it is terrible. Oh, are we hopping up and down currently? Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. Can you f for five that? There we go. Thank you. Oh. oh, 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 that was a bit, you're turning too fast for the yeah, game to handle. I am, I've put it up too quick, <laughs> too fast now. You can't cope. Now, before you pause it again for a second, yeah. I'd like to ask you to, when you unpause it, jump. Try it, I've done a little play test of this, try and jump. Okay. Game. X, triangle, square. Why are you sliding back? Circle, I'm not sure actually. That's very weird. Is there a current? There must be a current. Let me stand here. No, I'm just forever... Just sliding. Just sliding backwards. That's probably fine. Is there like another controller on the floor or something? No, it's unplugged. Oh, maybe it's the mouse? No, there's... I mean, I can live with this. It's only a very minor backslide. Okay. Uh, right, I'll carry on trying to jump. Yeah, you're nearly dead. Keep trying... No, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it's, it's L2. It's L2 to jump, everyone. Fantastic. As it should be in every game. How you doing? You feeling ready? No. Captain... Skynet. I can't really tell what I want out from the look sensitive because that seems too sensitive now. I don't think it stops quick enough. I think it takes a long time to get going, yeah. and then the moment you let go of it, it has a bit of an overshoot, which is just it's goes, just really bad. Just goes flying. Oh, it's, oh, it's the sliding backwards a bit much for you now. I'll I'll cope with it. It's okay. okay, okay. We've we've dealt with much worse on worst games ever. Oh. Worse than most. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Press the uh, select button for me. Select. There it is. Whoa! Terminator mode, as you slowly moonwalk away. Oh my god, is this unlimited? I think so. You're in search mode currently. And I believe if you press up and down on the D-pad, you can zoom with your special eyes. <gasps> Whoa! That's arguably too far. Yeah, it is, definitely. Can you play zoomed into eight? Can you move, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't play. Zoomed into eight is in answer to your question. But it lets you. Yeah, it does. And that's the worrying thing. Oh, hello. Get him. What is that? Little turret. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. it's really. I'm going to have to turn it down now to lower them <laughs> at the start of the game when I said, oh, that's too low. It's just really good. Oh. oh n <laughs> Whoa. I was, I was like watching myself die there. Structural integrity failure system oh my shutting God. down. Continue game so, oh times no. three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, you can't see your health when you're in this mode. Come on, let's kick some ass! Hello? What on earth is that? It's not even there in the... 
<laughs> What's a ghost? There's an actual spec. What is that? It's just loads of steam that when you look at it from this angle, it gets really thick. Oh, that's horrible. I don't know that that's right. Hello? Anyone? I suppose to tell if those are bullets or if it's the music. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Hello? Have I, have I run out? Is it, where's all the HUD gone? I can't shoot anymore. Where has all the HUD gone? I don't... Did, was it a D-pad button? But... What? Let's dance! Let's dance. you got a grenade. But it used to be that when I pressed triangle, it would cycle through my my weapons, and I, I would be able to see on the right there was some HUD. Oh no. Still zoom. Where's the HUD gone? I don't... I don't know. It was there I before. I don't know where it's gone. I now don't think I have a gun anymore. Why don't you just speed run it then? Do a little run as fast as you can. <coughs> are, you going, are you reversing? I'm t this is me turning as fast as I can. No way, that is not turning. I think the, pro I think the reason I've had issues with the turning speed is because it's not actually consistent. I'm going to have to turn it up again. I, I think it keeps changing. This is one of the weirdest issues I've ever had with an emulated game. Oops. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, but now it's really what? fast. <laughs> that was only a little bit. Oh, your HUD's back. What? Why has the HUD come back? I don't know. What, right, where's my gun? Bare hands. Bare hands. Oh, there. Plus Skynet SMG. Oh, you got, yeah, you got bullets for it. I'm going to tell you a science fact while we wait. So, uh, Black Ops Entertainment. They're the people who developed this game. Would you like to know a little bit about them? Oh, yeah. They've never used a controller in their life. Apparently not. Black Ops Entertainment was a video game developer that was located in Santa Monica, California. A little bit of Santa Monica. Yeah, in my life. And was responsible for such beloved titles as 007 Tomorrow Never Dies, yeah. NCAA March Madness 2000, and Warpath Jurassic Park. Oh, that's the, the fighting game. It is. Where you play as dinosaurs. You, you have five health. Yeah, and I have no ammo. Oh, three, two, oh, there he goes. I like how it crops it so it looks like he's just got massive bosoms. Yes. He got some health back as a... And that's a... That's a Terminator, he just fell on the floor. A dead Terminator. A determinator. Oh, hello. Are the yellow things enemies? Because if so, they're on your map. Or well, that might be your objective. What, what was that? Just an arm came in my face then. I, I, I'm sorry? An arm came on my face. <laughs> Stop it! I've run out again! How am I supposed to catch these flying enemies without a gun? There! There you go, you got giving some more. me some more! <laughs> Still flying around. You're Arnold! You're Arnold Schwarzenegger, Peter! Hey Arnold! You're meant, you're meant Why are just, you so shit? You're, you're just meant to telepathically I need to remember to bleep that. <laughs> destroy these enemies because you're the Arnold. Oh, that stuff has come back. It just respawns. The ammo respawns on the ground. No, there's more. Are they, do they just keep spawning? It seems like they might just keep coming. They don't stop coming in, they don't stop coming in, they don't stop coming in. Yeah, you're getting shot from several places. Oh my god, they really do just don't stop coming. You got this, Peter. They do don't stop coming. It really do be like that. Yeah. Evacuate, Evacuate the base, locate switch to close main air shaft. Okay. More info. Close the main air shaft by finding the control... <laughs> Thanks for that more information Great. there. Surely that's on the, the yellow thing on your map, right? Or is that the switch just there, ahead of you on the left, on the wall? Oh, oh, what's that? No, no it's that's just a lamp. Light. Okay. Oh. oh, if you, I think if you double tap, oh. if you double tap the oh. left stick, he does a full 180. Great. They must have known the controls were good. Oh, those are good boys. Oh my God, <laughs> what is going on with your right eye? That's not correct. Look at the other guy, he's got the same thing. He's got one, one bright... <laughs> Just getting some premium thumbnail content, that's it's all. It's very good. How do I, cr can I crouch? Are you oh, 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 you can lock on. What, how? By tapping L1. I tried holding it before, thinking it might give me iron sights, well, and it didn't. I was gonna didn't. say, you're meant to be a Terminator. How are you, why are you just... <sighs> it's got to be some sort of me mechanism. Would you? Unbelievable. That is a game changer. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines follows the film's basic story. In the game, the player plays the role of the T850 and in some levels shoot their way through. Shoot, what? This is weirdly worded. 
shoot their way through enemy cyborgs or drones with a selection of weapons such as assault rifles, rocket launchers or grenade launchers. There are levels that require the player to protect allied characters from armed enemies. There is also a fist fight sequence in some levels which engage the main character against either an enemy cyborg or the TX, which is the main antagonist of the film. Yeah, look, I found a massive switch. It's almost as big as actual Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like it's just taking the piss oh. out of us. Oh, oh you're back in. You're, you see the yellow thing on your map? Oh, yeah. I think that's, I think that's roughly the direction. It's not very helpful because it's jumping it's all flicking. over the place. <laughs> but I think that's <laughs> where you're I think that's where you're going to go. Oh, now you're on the other side of the oh, oh, through there. Oh, it's opened this door. Oh, God. Remember PS2 games where everything looked the same? Sorry, anything's going to Sorry? Any, anything what? <laughs> it's so annoying just constantly running out of ammo and then just being gifted what is it? gifted an ammo crate later on. What? Uh, but not right now, it, apparently. Oh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> just go away! You're not impressing anyone. Was I mean, that a I tiny would, Terminator? It was a little tiny Terminator. Look at it Look go. At go. Master! Help, Master! Mission failed! <laughs> I need bullets. There's bullets. There's some bullets there. Got them. 20 more bullets. Oh, this is really crap, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the camera did a thing. <laughs> oh. Why do they keep falling like that? They're like comedy oh, characters. I, died. I think I've only got one continue left. Would you like to hear Atari's own blurb for this game? Yes. It's quite, it's quite something. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, the video game, will capitalize on every aspect of the feature film's popularity, from a mind-bending plot that closely follows the movie's script to the first ever appearance of Arnold Schwarzenegger's likeness and voice in a video game. No. This is actual Arnie, it's his first appearance in a video game, and this was it. Great. They're like, guys, we've got Arnold. We've, we've got, got him. him. We've got him, ladies and gentlemen. Arnold's in, we've everyone. Got we've got Arnold. Can this confirm. Oh, Ooh, wow. Destructible. Kind, sort of. Will I bring down the whole thing? Yeah, maybe maybe you'll kill us as well. That would be a treat. Yeah. Well, the way that people stomp around upstairs, I wouldn't be surprised. It's a cave in. The at some roof point. came in, yeah. Power cell acquired. Okay, so I'll oh. follow the yellow thing. Oh, what? hello? Just, just go and look at that fire and. That was obvious. I've already walked past that and nothing happened. Oh my god, that man. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's weird, they spent all the budget on that really long yeah. opening cutscene and now all the others are super short. He just looks like oh, someone's... Run out. Arnold just looks like someone's dad when he walks through that door. It yeah. like he was going to tell you to keep it down because your mum's got work in the morning. Keep it down. Your mother has, your work, has in work in the morning. What was that? It took us maybe 20 minutes to start doing Arnold impressions. Yeah, it's pretty that good, was all right. Oh, oh no! Is that it? Arnold and his massive, massive man breasts. Restart level. Are you sure? Are you sure? I have no option. Peter? Yeah? You want a short science fact? Yeah? There is no speed run for this game. <laughs> Nobody could put themselves through it. And that's saying something, because we've had speedruns in some absolute drops Pretty much before. Every game yeah. ever that we've done. This one though, there's lots of speedruns in a game called Terminator 3 Redemption. Okay. But not Terminator 3 uh, The Rise of the Machine. It's a new weapon I've got now. Oh. Didn't have this before. You might have done, but it doesn't auto change when you get new weapons. I saw that as a setting. Oh. Uh, so maybe you did have other weapons, you just kept trying to use the Sung. I'm not sure what the difference is between Terminator 3 Redemption and Terminator 3 The Rise of the Machines, which is this one. It may turn out that they're the same game, they've just got different names in different different places, like, perhaps? Yeah, regions or platforms uh, or whatever. But for this specific one, The Rise of... what is it? Rise of the Machines, yeah. there, are, there are no speedruns for this specific version. Oh! What this, was that? This has secondary fire where it launches grenades. Oh! Pop, Whoa. pop! Because the, that's weird, because the SMG's secondary fire was just gun melee. So I assumed that the secondary fire button was just the gun melee button and I tried to do it and a grenade came out of this one. <laughs> oh my god, look at his bits. You can see it in front of the fog. Oh, fog bit. Well, this is great. I'm just aiming at abstract targets. Whoa. I love it. It's like going to the to an art museum. Yeah. Special effects artist, it's blue, I can't read it, 
Stan Winston, who, wow. who worked on the film, Super provided his designs to the Black Ops team. So they got the actual special effects artist from the film. Oh, who sort of designed um, the original robots, I guess, probably. Maybe. Or, or worked, helped, helped. On, on Terminator 3 at the very least. Yeah. And, uh, and, and this is what they did with it. Wow. It sounds like they really, really wanted to make like a proper movie tie-in, but I don't know that the movie was any good, was it? Was Terminator 3? This guy's 3? seen some crap. Oh my god. Oh, was Pirate Whale. Was Terminator 3 any good, the film? You've seen it. Uh, I mean, Terminator 2 is famously um, breaks the curse of being a sequel and is actually good. Okay. And Terminator 1 and 3 aren't as good as 2. I think 3 is the worst of the first 3. Terminator 3. So it's got 69% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. It's just a bit more, it's kind of more of the same, really. But the antagonist is the sexy one. The sexy bot. The sex bot? It's the sex bot, yeah. Now that is very exciting. I might go and watch that now. Oh, we're back here already. Yeah, we I mean... We really I've... did spend a lot of time looking for that switch, didn't we? Well, and yeah, like also this auto-aim feature is just, as oh I said before, God. it's a total game changer. Yeah. In, in every sense of the word. Tiny Terminators. <laughs> here they come. <laughs> They're gonna get you in, their, in, oh, a, in a tiny way. Look at it, it's got a little wee. Oh. <laughs> That There's is, no way that Skynet designed this. <laughs> Look at it. That thing is fantastic. It it's can't go up and down stairs. <laughs> oh, you've knocked a bit so of So last time down. I came here, I tried this door. Nothing happens. Did you have to kill these boys? And maybe? I came over here, used this, and like killed two Terminator boys. Yeah. Oh, before something. I go through there. Ooh. Oh, hello. Is there any? Oh, you've got, yeah, the green. You've got some green there on the right. Yeah. I think these guys might just be constantly spawning. Yeah, they, oh, are. they are. Okay, okay. well then what the? What the hell are you meant to do? Any button? Do I have Look to... how fast the stuff respawns. The item is back. Or yeah, that's weird. Do I have to actually do this and blow up all the Just pillars? The Did you shoot it off the wall before? Shoot what? Shoot? No, no, I couldn't reach. I oh. tried to, and I couldn't. Well, they've stopped do it. spawning now. Who, who bloody knows? Yeah, there might even be some dialogue that's telling us to do that, but it's just... <laughs> Put down the pillars. Put the pillars and the door will open. Peter, there was going to be a game uh, released for GameCube. A game? There was going to be a game released for GameCube? There was going to be a game released on GameCube. Get was, out of it here. It was going to be Terminator themed. Yeah? But it was cancelled. Oh. So there was no GameCube version of this game, but there was going to be for a little while. Yeah. That's, that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Apparently Atari ran out of time. Oh. And so they just canned it. Oh, that's a shame. The bit behind. Mission accomplished. Oh. Excellent. And you even blasted a shortcut to the armory. Get over there on the double. Video game convenience. I blasted a shortcut to the armory. I sh wow, look at the look at that blast. Look at the shortcut here. Oh, look, she's got the sparkle. Oh, let me see. <gasps> we were at the end of the level before. New stills. Los Angeles present and future. Terminator's new mission. Sergeant, Sergeant Candy. Candy. Ready when you are. Oh, I wanted to look at my stills, but it's just, oh. we're in. I, I don't know why it's, I'm forever walking backwards. I'm forever blowing Blowing bubbles. <laughs> Well, you know what they say, Peter. Yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. No, please stick to the stairwells and the horrible grey concrete PS2 levels that you're used to. Yeah. Yes. Let's dance. Oh. Let's dance. Dan, 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 dan. You gonna keep that guy alive? Is he yeah, a friend? friend. What's he called? Oh. Oh, he popped. He oh, popped. I He's think dead. I popped him there. He's exploded. Oh. I didn't realise it wasn't dead. What's that new friend called? It had oh, a fall. Called. I don't know where these people are oh. coming from or going. Here's another cutscene for two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> waddle, waddle. Whoa! He's going to dump him head first over the... <laughs> Look how long... Oh, he's got him already. Jesus, these guys are impressed. They should be the Terminators. Peter, this uh, may not surprise you. That's a leave armory within 15 seconds. Oh, oh! Oh, there's a bomb! Oh! oh. What? When did this... Oh, no, where's the way out? Where's the hole? There, there it is. No, it's not. Is yes. it? Uh, yes. Yeah, go. Jump. How? Did I get it? 
No. Oh, what? <laughs> Restart level? Piss off. Ridiculous. I didn't even get a continue there. The PlayStation 2 and Xbox versions of Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines received generally unfavorable reviews, according to Metacritic. What percentage did they get? Um, it's not good. Can you remember what year this came out? 2003. Um, about 55%. 38%. Oh, okay. 38%. They always overpredict nowadays. Well, it's, I mean, just you wait until you hear this highest review score. Well, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The highest review comes from Gamezilla with an exclamation mark. Gamezilla! So, as we've spoken about before, Peter. What? <laughs> they sort of, when, when you shoot them when they're on the ground, they sort of pop up. That's good. Yeah. Uh, in the in the olden days of uh, sort of late PS2 or just PS2, really, yeah. all the way up until late PS2. People didn't really know how to review bad games. No. And they would still give them kind of high scores, and they'd say, this game is really disappointing and not much fun. 90%. 90%, <laughs> It was yeah. stupid. Like, they just couldn't do it. Nothing really got below 50. Mm -hmm. So I want you to guess the review score for this. This is the highest review score based on the tagline that I'm about to give you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just another first-person shooter. It's not a bad game. It's not a great game yeah, either. Most. As far as first-person shooters go, this one seems to be a bit lackluster. Um, now, what would you give it? What score would you give it based on that description? It's uh, not good, but it's it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just a bit lackluster. Uh, mm. At most, like the fifty-five percent that I thought would be the average is what okay. I would give it. Uh, 74. Oh, <laughs> this game is really good. This game, if it was doing a university degree exam, would have got a first class degree. That's what that means. This one seems to be a bit lackluster. 70. Three quarters perfect. Yeah. No. So then we go to the lowest review score. Hello. What were her? Uh. This comes from Game Revolution. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, their website's not not online anymore. Otherwise, I would have found a better quote because the one Metacritic have selected is really confusing and reads like it was halfway through a paragraph. Okay, I'll read it anyway. But the saddest part has to be the staggering number of people who worked on this thing, including some well-respected developers. Just check the credits from the manual. I'm not counting them all, but that's about 400 names. Oh. That's the saddest part about the fact that the game is bad, is yep. that people worked on it. And what score did Game Revolution give it, Peter? Uh, lowest score. What about... 20? It's a zero! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a zero. Wow. They gave it, uh, Game Revolution gave it a, a zero. It's not a zero. It's not. It's, it's a Especially it's a once 30. you learn how to play it. It's a 30, yeah. I think, this one. Uh, as we have cited before, when, when a game owns a sick making zero, we don't count that because no game is truly a zero. It just, you basically got a block of wood there that doesn't do anything. Yeah, if you can run it, if it has a menu and you can press start game, it's not zero. It deserves more than zero yeah. in our books. So we go to the next lowest review score instead. This comes from Electronic Gaming Monthly. Okay. Oh, bye Arnold. Bye Arnie. T3's first person shooting stages are plagued by poor controls, terrible level designs, brain dead enemies, and just plain ugly graphics. I agree with all of those points, but it's still not a zero. And what score oh, did yeah, they give it? The this is the other one. Yeah. Um, from EGM. 20, I'll say again. 30. 30. They gave it 30. Okay. Which I feel like is, is about right. Yeah. And uh, there we are. Those are all my science facts, and that's Terminator Salvation. The objective marker in this game is just the worst. It's erratic, isn't it? I think it's because it's confused. It's like looking for a ladder or some stairs. Yeah, it's constantly trying to point you in the direction of the thing that will get you to the objective. Maybe. Yeah. We're going to find out what's through the door, and then we're going to stop playing. OK. We're going to stop playing this worst game ever. Pause it for a second. Okay, that annoying ringing noise is coming from the game. It is, yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds like a lorry reversing. Yeah. Caution. This vehicle is a Terminator. <laughs> what? Well, what? through just, the door. Just build a chest high wall about, around it. It won't be able to get to us. Is more blue people. How do they look? Are they scared? Oh, sort of. This... Oh, oh, he looks oh, really oh, scared. Oh, no. I don't like the eyes from the side. Oh, no. Oh. Why do they have weird eyes that are a different color to each other? Okay. Oh, he's, he's gone. Hello? Good. Well, I'm, I'm satisfied stop? that that 
is a bad one. I hated that. <laughs> I sometimes look forward to being the victim because it means I get to just sit and play a game for a bit and react yeah. to it, but... That wasn't a fun one. No. no? Okay, well, that's weird. I thought it would be. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Worst Games. Worst Games. Ever! It's the show Ever. where we play terrible video games sent in by, by you. you. By, by you. you. Remember, they're not all terrible. They are just worse, worse than, than most. most. Uh, this week, it's going to be a good one, Peter. How, how do you know? Do you know what it is? No, I just feel it in my I feel it in my bone area. Oh, what was it? Oh, it says it in the video title. Oh, what could it be? I can't I can't keep track. No. What is it? Uh, it's Lassie, everyone. The the dog. Who's that in the eye hole? That, that's Lassie there. That's the eponymous Lassie. And this is Lassie's owner, uh, little little Timmy Timmy Goggins. That's Timmy Goggins. Timmy Goggins the there, there, and he owns the special dog called Lassie that is silhouetted in the title there. Oh, I don't hmm, I don't know how I. There's a lot of yellow on the back of that box. You're Lassie. Am I? Y no, it belongs to you. Oh. You're no, you are. You are Lassie. Okay. There's a lot of yellow on the back of this box. That means it's a blast game. Don't <laughs> like that. I don't like that already. That and that's an be, issue. That might be a fact later on. It's an issue that I don't like it because... Hi, my name's Ben. Hmm. Uh, I am this week's Games Victim. Hi, my name's Peter. And I'm this week's Games Master. Which means that I've brought this actual game for Ben as the victim to play today. Whoa! Uh, I still don't really it's... understand who the who the boy in the eye is or the girl. Uh, well, we'll find out in the hot and fresh science facts that are in there that I've brought today to talk about this game. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. There oh, we go. hot and fresh. It's it's time of recording. It's the early start of the month sort of time period, which is the time when everyone can afford. Hot and fresh takeaways. Yes. Uh, Everybody fantastic. knows you get your takeaway in the first week of the month, yeah. and then you eat nothing mm. for the entire rest, because you could do sort of a weekly, perhaps two weeks worth of shopping for one takeaway, yeah. really, couldn't you? you think about I that? got, on different days, I got an Uber and also a Domino's uh, at the tail end of January. Now, January was obviously, it comes straight after Christmas and New Year when you spent all your money anyway. It, it was also a very long month for people to get paid on like the last day of the month or the last Friday of the month. Uh, both the U the Uber turned up in about 30 seconds, which happens from time to time anyway, but it's because it was dead. The Domino's, from me pressing send, arrived at the door in 20 minutes. No! Yes. It didn't. I've never had that before. In fact, I was still eating something that I'd made for myself to keep me going for my Domino's. That's Expecting it to take 45 minutes like it normally does. Maybe it's because you didn't have cheese on it. Yeah, so I was going just... Oh. Oh, he's here! Help! Oh, help! I was out of room now for Domino's. I thought you were going to say that the the Domino's came first and then the Uber came second because you needed to be transported to some kind of medical facility. Yeah, uh, for the true for Domino's. For the door of the four cheese, <laughs> a four cheese piece. Four cheesins. Yes. Should we begin? Let's. I'll put this in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does that sometimes, and then it, the rest of it's absolutely fine. <laughs> doesn't know what far- Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that was what was that? It was the blast bomb. Why was it so fast? Why did it only show up for a split second? Why have we not had any production logos apart from, yeah, that like, oh, look at the- Why does the- The USS sort of... Battleship in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> Just grey. Why is the font sort of swinging in like it's, like it's on an actual swing? It gets smaller. It's not like- but it's on a sort of arc, isn't yeah, it? It's not just coming in and out and straight. That is God. What what Suomi? Do you know what that is? English, French, Italian. We've got Danish there. German, is Spanish, it Finnish? Portuguese. Finland, Finland, Finland. It, well, the uh, the Suomi KP thirty one was a submachine gun of Finnish design. Well, wow. used during World War Two. There you go. Yeah, that's Finland. Weird. There we go. I would have thought it was. Finska. I know or... we have we have Finnish viewers as well, so sincere apologies. Usually when you're dealing with European languages, it tends to sort of take the English shape. Yeah. You can kind of guess. There are similarities, but Suomi. 
probably mispronouncing that as well. Yeah, probably. Our mistake. Should we get our boys in? Yes. Is this an EU passport? No, it's Russian. No, but at the top. Anyway, yeah. uh, a Steven Seagull. Scandal Penguin. Jean-Claude Van Lamme. Billy Ray Dolorous. Dick Mychinko. Billy Ray Walrus. Oh, all of our friends. All of our boys. Good. Ah, uh, it's so much louder than the music. Yeah. I do like the stylized art style, though. Yeah, it's. Um, I like. They had to draw a line at the bottom of the hill, yeah. so you knew that's where the hill. That's was. where the the crease of the hill is, where that's it's where been folded by God. Yes, where God done the hill. Uh, it's a cell shaded game. Loading. Done. Loading done. It did actually just say that. Yeah. So no lassie save data. Oh, oh, there he is. Well, who is he? I don't know. Well, I sort of do. It's not. It's in here. So. Oh, that's a good logo. I Classic like media. <laughs> it's been drawn by. That is child. classic. I mean, vicious engine. It's a vicious engine. Blast! Oh, no! Wait for it, though. I can't wait for you to... Whoa! Oh, studios. That's a good PNG. Yeah. JPEG. I'm so excited for you to start the game because you are going to be taken by surprise enormously. Oh, Lassie turned her head. Oh. Unused. Or his. I mean, it's, she's called Lassie, so probably, probably a lady dog. Um, a bitch. I'm allowed to say that in that context. Come on, not with that much venom. <laughs> Lappy. Lappy. Lap. Clap. 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 I had bought one of those from Ikea. Uh, how about we add some extra letters in just for fun? Yeah. Lapped. L lap it. Oh, oh, hang on. You can't. Oh. How about a... A lapidus. It's a lapidus. That's what, the, that's the third uh, evolution of Ponita, isn't it? A oh, I thought that was the... The uh, the evolution of Lapras, or it's just the breed of dog that Lassie is. I think it's when a when a Lapras and a and a Rapidash have a little a baby, a little Lapidurst comes out and That's, it looks like that. It's the full name of. We'll just keep doing this forever, shall yeah, we? It's yeah. the full name of Lapras once it married uh, Limp Biscuit frontman Fred Durst. It is Lapidurst. <laughs> Brilliant. Data is being saved to memory card eight mob. Great. That's good. That's, oh, here we go. Yeah. The story so far. Lassie and jo jo Joe. Is it Joe? That's his name. Lassie and Joe have been reunited despite the best efforts of the villainous Eddie Hines, who has been sacked by the Duke. Everything is happy in, uh, what, what are we called? Lapra Lapra Lapidurst. Lapidurst and Joe's world, but not for long. Hines, out of work, penniless, bitter, and full of hate for Lassie, <laughs> concocts a plan that he thinks will solve all his problems. He steals. Lapidurst's pups. Yeah. Dig. Oh, great. What is that weird <laughs> angle? <view>? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, there's more. Don't, don't start the game yet. Okay, so Lassie is an action game. There's more. There's more. Oh. There's so much more. Carry on. Lassie is an action game, as you're about to find out, developed by EM Studios and published by Blast! <laughs> exclamation mark Entertainment Limited, which was released in Europe in 2007. Immediate second fact, the game is based on uh, the film of the same name. Yeah. Uh, Lassie is a 2005 <laughs> British-American-French-Irish adventure <laughs> comedy drama film. How many adjectives can I oh, put? It's a lot. There's a lot of them there. Based on Eric Knight's 1940 novel, Lassie Come Home. In fact, that's hyphenated. Lassie Come Home. Lassie Come Home. Lassie Come Home. Uh, about the profound bond between Joe Caraclough and his rough collie, Lassie. I think this is set after the events of the film where Heinz, presumably the villain of the film, has now been... Right. He's, he's got his comeuppance in the movie, and this is almost like a This a is a sequel. sequel. This is the canonical sequel It is the canon... I'm assuming so. Amazing. Should we... Uh... Should we see if we're, we're continuing the proud tradition here on Worst yes, Ones Ever? Yes, Have you seen Lassie? No. Have you seen Lassie? No. <sighs> wow. Great. Wait till you find out who starred in it, though. Oh, he travels around Yorkshire trying to sell the six stolen pups. Well, where better to fence some stolen livestock than Yorkshire? That's the place. Mm. He manages to sell five, <laughs> not six, though. And eventually going to... Going to ground in a ruined castle on the moors. Keeps the last pup to himself. Lassie must embark on a new adventure, rescuing all her pups and finally dealing with Heinz himself. Beans means Heinz. As well as rescuing the pups, the player must also look after them. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. 
Sometimes when Massey is in a particular situation, relevant help will be given on screen. Sometimes relevant help will be given. When you press start game, you're going to get all the help you could possibly need. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's something. Is it time? Yeah, it's time. Hi gang, this is Blast. Blast is here to show you how to play Lassie. Lassie. <laughs> The left analog stick controls how Lassie moves. Moving it forwards, backwards, left Ooh. and right will let Lassie explore. Just like this. Oh, wait. The right analog stick controls the camera. Listen to when he starts saying the word button shortly. Okay. He says button. Yeah. The square button makes Lassie <laughs> jump. You'll need this to get Whoa. past Whoa. certain obstacles. When you press the X button, Lassie button, will button, crouch button. and creep. This will help her to avoid being seen. The triangle button will make button, Lassie button. sniff. If you are lost or can't see well, Lassie can't says, see can't well. What? If you are lost or suffering from our bad camera, if you are looking for extra bones to collect, digging is a good way to find them. Oh yeah, just dig through that little little plop there that's been left. Yeah, who's left their pancake on the floor? Hello, Blast. Wow. I don't think they've ever... Oh, God. They've never done that before, have they? No, they've not. They are, this is a weird game. They, they seem to have put an unexpected oh, level of effort into it, as you will yeah. see. Well, the writing's not bad either. There's some fairly complicated sentence structures in there. Yeah. Help bit from what I saw. La Lassie was not just Joe's dog. She was his best... Lassie was not just Joe's dog. Yeah. She was his best friend in the whole world. She was everyone's dog. Those horrible days when the evil Eddie Hines tried to keep Lassie and Joe apart were far behind. Great. And the, and the nasty Mr. Hines had lost his job and been told to leave the Duke's house. Oh. To add to their happiness, Lassie was now the proud mother of six beautiful pups. Where's Two the pictures. Where's the, where's the father? I don't know. Hang on. Look at Joe's sick nine o'clock shadow. Look at Joe's sick, sick face, sickly <laughs> look at, head look size. Look at sick Joe. Yeah. But Eddie Hines was a bitter man, and he b was a bitter Oxford man. Oxford comma there, that's good. And he blamed Lassie and Joe for all his ills. Ah, oh, what a beautiful litter of pups, he thought. They'll fetch a pretty penny, I'll warrant. Bit of a down payment to get, bit of a down payment against the damage they done me. They done me. Heinz drove around the village and the local countryside, selling Lassie's pups for whatever he could get. <laughs> Anything. Then, oh. then he returned to his hideout, keeping one beautiful little collie pup to himself. Right. When, is that blood in the background? Oh, might that? be, yeah. When Lassie and Joe discovered the missing pups, they were distraught. Then Joe, no then Joe noticed something. Joe looks really distraught in that left picture, doesn't he? <laughs> Absolutely heartbroken. Look, Lass, those tracks must have been made by Heinz Fan. Quick, Lassie, you try and track Heinz down and I'll warn the police. Good luck, Lass! Three exclamation oh, marks. Oh, God, now we're back here again. Oh. The evil Eddie Heinz has stolen Lassie's litter. He's trying to sell her pups. Oh, we know! We, we, just just told us this. we know there's one! Eventually, he makes a sale. <laughs> there he is. Pictured Eddie Hines yeah. making a sale. From his hearse. But Lassie is on his trail. Jesus, what is this? Oh my god! Tonal ship! The final boss! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Follow the tracks of Hines' van to lead you to the missing pup! Use the left analog stick to make Lassie move where you want her to go! Remember to play Bow's way and sail the world! So you can creep if you hold that down and move. <laughs> it's just dancing to the music. Is that it? No. I think it's just going to loop. <laughs> it is. It's just going to be this all the way through. So despite what you know about Blast games, Lassie is actually, it has a variety of gameplay styles across its six levels. <laughs> I think there's six. Oh! I seem to. I feel like there were more on that list. But Maybe one of them was help again. Yeah, um, and it also requires you to care for your puppies between each stage. Can we boundary break? Do you think? Oh, that would be good. Can you go around that corner, find a little Easter egg? Uh, the camera, the the right analog stick for camera is inverted. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? This is mm -hmm. an explosive mm -hmm. barrel. Oh, you can nearly get out there. I have to hold right. Oh, there's to... a bone on that crate. Let's get the. Is that a bone? Oh. That's not a bone. It looks like something you buy from Victoria's Secret, to be honest. Yeah, that's a 
It's one of the, those sexy bones that's yeah. usually attached to a, a man or woman. I don't think I mean Victoria, don't they just do, I think they just do pants. Amazon then. Yeah, Amazon. <laughs> they do, they'll say you anything. No, I, is that him? That was hard, Sadly isn't it? not. Uh, well, that's his car. I think it is, yeah, his car. Now, I will warn you that I think this level is longer than you would like it to be. Oh, brilliant. So you may just, just want to crack on. follow the tyre tracks and get the flip out of here. Because after that, there's other stuff. Great. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Can we see Lassie's face while you do that? Oh. Well, it was worth it while it lasted. Okay. It can't keep up with Lassie. Look, it <laughs> lags behind. You stop it. And catches then it pops up. in. Yeah. So I've got I've got a little quote here from the Amazon product page for this game. Yeah. I don't think they've actually taken it from the back of the box. They've just sort of in invented it. But it says, "Outwit groundsmen on patrol and befriend angry guard dogs." <laughs> Uh, then it just says, collect bones for bonus activity. Hey, activity, just one. Bonus activity. I love bonus activity. Okay, you're gonna have to do a little... Oh, oh what? Can you zoom out? Yeah, I can zoom sort of comically far out, unnecessarily Was that far out. Invert, that's, so you're pressing down on the D-pad to zoom in. All of the in. camera controls are inverted. So this is, oh, here we go. Oh my God. Oh no, it zoomed me out again. It just it just hates anything that you do. Yeah. Stand like across the, the width of the tire tracks. That car is, yeah. is the width of a She's dog. She's massive. This dog is massive. She is. Oh, oh, that is definitely some sort of toy. Oh God! Oh, you got a speed boost. There was a, a man there. Oh, that speed boost didn't last long. Oh, that's for help. <laughs> Sorry, Lassie, I can't help you, okay. said Mr. Darcy. Look at him. Thank you for your help. Great. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, the snow's coming down. I know he's just going to slalom, but I bet if I run in a straight line, I'll come across the tracks again. It's just extending yeah. the journey for no reason. There, you're on tracks There we now. go, I'm on the track, but where is it? Is it going I think this they way? Yeah, I, I would have thought so. Do you want to know who starred in the movie of the same name? I actually have never wanted anything more than to know that. You may be surprised. I'm Having now learned who played Mr. Hines, in this uh, film. Yeah. I'm very surprised at how they've represented him in this game. Okay. Um, Hines was played by Steve Pemberton of oh. Inside Number Nine fame, who doesn't have facial hair, may have been given facial hair in the get in the film, to be yeah. fair, but the, the guy looks nothing like Steve Pemberton in this game. Um, Peter Dinklage was in the film. Is this a, is this a, Lassie reboot, or is this the original Lassie? No, well, the, the original Lassie was a book from the 1940s, which was then a TV show, I think, in like the 60s right. or something okay. like that. Well, the film must have been... And then a film came out in 2000, and, I think, five? Yeah, 2005. Right, that explains it. Yeah. Oh, Christ. So Steve Pemberton, uh, Peter Dinklage, who we all know from various things. Know that one. Uh, Nicholas Lindhurst. Are you aware of who that is? No, the name. It's Rodney from... Only oh, Fools and Horses. Okay. Um, I didn't realise Lassie was set in the UK. No, I didn't. I thought it was America. Or Ireland, maybe. Um, and uh, also Gemma Redgrave, who Doctor Who fans will know, uh, for playing Kate Lethbridge Stewart. Uh, you won't know who that is. I won't. No. What season was that? Um, I think her initial season was possibly a Matt Smith one. Okay, I watched some Matt Smith. She, she was mostly a Peter Capaldi character, but I think <clears throat> the tail end of Matt Smith, she may have appeared. Okay. Uh, oh. God, it really does just go on, doesn't it? Is that him? <gasps> well done, uppercase D, Lassie. Oh, she, here it comes. God, even the puppies are massive. What? Oh, so this is the person who bought it. Yeah. Sorry, Lassie, we didn't know this was one of your litter. We shouldn't have tried. That's gone. Well done, Lass. There's, there's just a one of the in. The, Is that just an a white actual screen, page? Just a white frame that you can cycle through. I've given Joe a call. He'll be here shortly. White page. Well done, Lass. You found one. Let me take care of her while you track down the rest. Found app up. Save game. No. Nah. Oh, nah, I'm all right. okay. I'm all right. But you made such progress. Sure. Oh. But there it is. So you can now give it a special play if you want. I need three bones for a special play. Yeah. I just need one bone for a special play. A special... What? You just brushed it. What? Can you do anything else? Exercise. Oh, you can do the top ones always. Wow, look at it. 
It's called Barney. Water. Oh. Feed. Oh, God, it's just the same as the water one with some brown stuff. He is thrilled. It's got a health bar. Look at it. Barney is thrilled. Can we... Okay, Google. Can you kill the puppies from neglect? I can tell Lassie you that. the video game. I can tell you that. No. And you'll find out how I know that later. Yeah. Whoa, you ready for some downhill pursuit? I am. Nurture is the sixth oh, level. I see. Level six is nurture. A yeah. rescued pup safe with Joe, Lassie sets off in pursuit of the others. Mm. White screen. Suddenly in front of Lassie, a walker appears from off the moors. John Walker. Do you want to do his voice? It could be me, yeah. Lassie, have you lost any of your pups? Lassie barked a strong and clear, Russ! You know, clear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just goes, yes. Indubitably. Well, I think I know where one might be. As I was walking, I heard tires squealing and looked across towards the road. I saw a little collie pup running for all it was worth. I sh- Outed, but the pup was clearly scared, and it slipped and fell down a steep hillside. I could hear it whimpering, but the hill was too steep for me. Perhaps you could make it, Lassie. Good luck, Lassie, shouted the walker. Lassie set off at great speed wow. and quickly found the hill the walker spoke of. How would she get down such a steep slope, and how could she get there quickly? Looking around, Lassie soon came up with a pla- Anne. Oh my god. Use the left hand like to steer Lassie <laughs> on the hill. Yeah. Beware of areas of rougher ground which will slow you down and avoid rocks and trees which might stop you altogether. And avoid and avoid false trails, otherwise Lassie might need to start again. I'm ready. Look. Whoa! Yeah. Did, uh, <laughs> rough ground will slow you down, Lassie. Did you expect a sledging level in this game? No. Can, can I bark? you Yes. Can you Hit a tree at top speed. I'm quite satisfied with this, to be honest. Yeah? Avoid the rough ground, Lassie. <laughs> it slows you down. Hit the fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a health bar. Watch out, Lassie. Okay. Oh, oh. that's it. They weren't brave enough to show the dog dying. No. What's this? It's just our bones. It's just our bone. You need that to have a special play when you get back to your pups. Whoa! Whoa! This isn't it right! Wow, good thing that tree Ooh. grew that way with the big arrow on it. Yeah. Right, keep an eye out for a pink bone. Oh, what's that tube? It's, it's a log. Tube. Let's go through the tube. It's a loge. I'm gonna go through the tube. Dogs and logs. Slowly. Oh. 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 Why Come put on! it there then? That looks That's so, so basic. Don't put a fucking oh, swore. Don't put an Acme tumnel, tumnel, <laughs> Mr. Tumnel in the yeah. way. Oh, that was a green one. What oh, was that? I don't know. Eco-friendly bone. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! What? You're in the riverbed. I'm in the raven. Oh, look at that little archway up there. What's Whoa. going to happen? Is there a way out? Oh Christ. No, not really. This is me now. This is where I, I live. No. Remember that bit in the Lassie film where they went down a big grey tube? Yeah. And Lassie just died of exposure. Yeah, the puppy's definitely dead at this point. Yeah. I mean, if, if I can't even... I think you're now going uphill. Yeah, I d oh. Oh. oh! Something's happening. What is that? It's a puppy! Hit it! Oh! Oh, oh God! <laughs> At last, Lassie has reached the stranded pup. The pup is chilled to the bone, <laughs> but warmed by the sight of it of mother. Biology, everyone. Eventually cold and tired, mother and pup make it home where Joe is overjoyed to see He them. looks it. I can't bark in the loading screen, so. Oh! How much do you think you can buy a sealed copy of Lassie PS2 on eBay? Oh, I'm going to guess uh, 18 pounds. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So we can do special meal and special drink. Do you think they look identical to regular meals and regular drinks? I can give them two special drinks. Okay. Oh, Harry, but can you... So are you unable to nurture Oh, I've got to go left now? and right, but it doesn't oh, tell you've me. You've got to be careful. I wish I could give you a special play, my dude. I'm just going to give you a exercise. And, wow. And a feed. It's really working out, isn't it? I can't give you a second special drink. We'll bank our bones. Yeah, okay, we'll bank your bones. The, we'll put them in the bone bank. 
the game features on the Crappy Games Wiki. Round them up, Lassie. This one doesn't sound fun. No, it's not going to be. <laughs> remember Rugrats? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't want to remember Rugrats. <laughs> um, so it's featured on the Crappy Games Wiki, although it's marked as a candidate for deletion. So maybe it's a great game. Oh. Under the Why It Sucks section, which is basically the only bit of prose in the entire article, yeah. four reasons are given. Ugly frame rate, looking like it was from the late 1990s to mid 2000s. I mean, it came out in 2007, so. 2007? Yeah. Um, Bioshock came out in 2005. Poor controls. The music is just as ugly as on a late Nintendo 64 game. Maybe, a late Nintendo. Maybe this is why this has been flagged for deletion, because it's poorly worded. Awful graphics that was looking like all other Blast Entertainment games. Okay. That's, that's it. Right, should we round them up? Yeah, round them I up, mean, Lassie. We're flying through these levels. Yeah, and we can uh, move on to reviews. Okay. Right, Les, I have some good news. I heard that old farmer Jolly out at Hassock's fa farm bought one of the pups. I can look after these two if you want to pay him a visit and see if he'll return your pup. Ah, Lassie, dear old Don't dear. get comfortable. Dear, I guess I should have known better than to trust that Heinz bloke. Of course you can have your pup back, but you couldn't do me a bit of a favour, could you? My old Meg is feeling a little poorly, and the sheep need to be rounded up. I would really appreciate it if you could help me something, help me with that. Lassie bugs. Yes! Thanks, Lassie, and I'll keep an eye on your pup till you finish. I can't wait to... Oh, to, uh, a to, little bit of hud there. To get the candy floss sheep back. You sure it isn't Rugrats? So, oh, there's a big poo there. You can you can sniff through. You can go digging in the in the plops there. Yep. Yeah. Oh fuck. Why am I sliding backwards? Am I sliding back? A born. Oh, it's massive. No way. I wouldn't have expected that. Let's see how easy this is. What happens if you put the wrong colour sheep in the wrong colour fence? Don't I just have to get them all in there? No. No? You have to get them in the appropriate... I think they're you all... sure? There's yeah. only one. No, there's one over there, look. Fence, oh, yellow. That's a yellow one. Do I just have to get the red ones in there, then? Are they respons responsive sheep? No. I mean, not... Not hugely. Is there at least a magnet? Excellent lassie. Excellent That's an excellent lassie. lassie. It really goes places, this song, doesn't it? There is no Wikipedia page or Metacritic entry for this game. That is shocking. The only mention, a, a sort of official mention on the internet I could find, was a single line in the Wikipedia article for the movie, which reads, a video game was released in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and was negatively received. Great. That's all the confirmation we need. Well, where's the... Is it just going to suddenly pop into existence when I come over here? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll go talk to the farmer. It may have told me, but I didn't look. Ask for help? No? Oh! Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why wouldn't it just automatically... Oh, no. Oh, I need to go get that blue sheep back, don't I? Yeah. So, needless to say, because this game wasn't on Metacritic or really anywhere else, there were no reviews for it I could really find. Um, there were no even Amazon reviews for it. No one's even re reviewed it there. So you could be the first. The very first. Unverified purchaser. However, I did find two reviews on GameSpot. Okay. One of them was by... Z we're really, really digging, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, you're crossing the road. Uh, is that a road? You're crossing the road. Where... Where's the entrance? You should have followed him. I should have done. Right, the entrance has got to be down here. Yeah, it must be. God, this is just extended, isn't it? Yeah. It's just really... A little turd there to dig in if you want. No, I don't. Something to feed your pups. Oh, come on! At least move faster than me. A ploppy bone. What do you think Zatala gave the game? Bearing in mind they can only give it marks out of ten. This is the highest? This is just... Uh, no, not really, no. Now I've got to get the sheep background. I think Zatala gave it... Five. Oh, for God's sake. Out of ten. Five out of ten. Zatala 
rated the game 10%, one out of 10. One out of 10. Um, I think that's the lowest you can give on GameSpot. You can't actually give a, a sickening zero. Right. Uh, look out for that cow. Uh, but there was no sort of text to go with the title re review, just, uh, just a score. However, Brown Snake 01 did give a review yeah. and a full breakdown of his reasons. What do you think Brown Snake gave the game? I think he loved this game because he grew up with the film right. or the TV show and he gave it at least eight. He also gave it one out of ten. Oh, no. But wishes he could have given it a sickening zero percent. That's a low score. Yeah. You can't be joking about those scores. Um, so here it is. I've got the full review here because given that we've got nothing else to talk about, I thought I may as well bring the whole thing. Lassie. The video game makes the film look good. Oh, Brutal. take that, filmmakers. The film was uh, critically acclaimed, actually. It just didn't perform was well it? at the box office, yeah. Oh. Graphics equals zero out of ten. No detail or thought was put into the game, only sheer blindness. What are you talking about? Sheer blindness? Lassie looks like a zombie. Her puppies look like dead zombies. No, not dead zombies. And the game has prob probably, probably the shortest draw distance ever. I mean, it doesn't actually. The draw distance is... I mean, is... something did just pop in, but it's not that bad. No. Um, Lassie's come together... Uh, uh, probably. <laughs> Lassie the video game has come together, together. Probably. Lassie the video game has come together. Story. Yes, the farmer will give the dog back he bought for 20 quid if you round up all the sheep he cruelly dyed yellow. In other words, terrible. Gameplay, colon, zero out of ten. Glitched to the bone. Glitched to the bone? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Game... Oh no. Gameplay. Yeah. Zero out of ten. Glitched to the bone. Glitched to the bone. What does that mean? There are six levels and I completed the whole game in half an hour. On very hard. There's uh, not... not... <laughs> what? What game was this guy playing? In brackets. And I'm not a very good at games. He's not a very good at games. No. Only a Brian dead person would enjoy this game. Get a Brian, Moran. No, it does actually say brain dead, but oh, he's okay. capitalised B, so it looks a bit like Brian. Get a Brian. Give it a MISS in all caps. Oh, God. Oh, how I wish I could rate games lower than 1 out of 10. The only fun part in this game is not feeding your puppies until they D. No! <laughs> I don't want the puppies to D. It just says D-E, and then dot, dot, dot. Which never happens. Oh. So you can't actually do that, unfortunately. Does he clarify whether or not it's initial D? Deja vu. Oh, <laughs> yeah. P.S. Only get this game if you enjoy bad games. Mission and that accomplished. is Lassie Facted. Thank you for all the facts. I You're learned welcome. so much. Oh, God, he's got to go across the bridge, is not he? Oh, oh. It's, it is just artificial. That's oh, it. Artificially extended. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? That's a weird angle. Come back. Come back. Whoa. Why is this farmer only go all got the way back? two sheep of each colour and he keeps them all separated in pairs like that? Sheep are naturally herd oh, animals. Oh, there's a friend. Meg. Meg. I thought you weren't feeling well, Meg. You gonna help? No, nah, it's just a reskinned glassy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's oh, that over by the door there? Look. What is that? The little... Oh, it's the pup. It's your pup. <gasps> I'll look after your pup. You're not looking after it. It's just there. You're standing in the field. That sheepdog doing a great job and of herding the sheep. Scaring the sheep back this way. Oh, no, it is. No, no, no. I think it actually is. Oh, no. I mean, it's part of the puzzle. I think you have to. Meg? You have to just use Just stay Meg. inside, Meg. You're sick. Well done. That's all of the sheep in the correct pens. Go let farmer jolt. Come on. We're going to the other field. <laughs> oh. oh! Can you get it over the wall? Oh, nearly. Get it right in the corner. The controls are a little less, uh, you know. Those controls are so loose. Oh! <laughs> what happens if I jump while it's on top? Oh! 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 Oh, will it go over the... I mean, maybe there's an invisible wall above the walls, but... I mean, I wouldn't... Wouldn't put too much stock in that. 
We have to do this. We'll she a, says we'll be proud. We'll make a success of breakfast. No, uh, behave. Hey guys, this is a show where we basically take the cows anywhere we want and try and find Jump you. them over walls. Yeah. Sometimes it lets me jump, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it don't, don't be like that. No, it's, it doesn't let me jump until it's nearly all the way off. Go on, go play with your friend over there. Go play with your cow friend. No, it doesn't no, look like it, it wants to happen. do it. Okay, well that Never was mind. fun. That was still fun. I enjoyed that very much. It was glitched to the bone. It is glitched to the bone. Look at the the shadow that continues through the whole field. Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh. Thank you, Lassie. Follow me and we'll fetch your... Off he goes. Can I, Why does he walk can I make like that? him fly? Oh, oh, I found it. That you was really difficult. Oh, God, here it comes. What's that weird tongue well, in the background all the time? Grand job. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. That yeah. rest has helped me. Make you get back up on her feet. Excellent, Lassie. And this one looks in much better shape than the last. What? What? Good old farmer, Johnny. Was pup number two really ill? Oh, I guess because it was on the mountain, wasn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Just don't even feed him. Just. Unless you want to see what a special meal looks like. It's just the same as a regular meal. Don't care. Don't care. Hello everyone and welcome to Worst Games Ever, the show where we play bad video games that aren't always the worst games ever, they're just worse than most. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. And uh, as I literally just said, this is the show where we play terrible video games, isn't it? It is. Isn't it? And yeah. we have two roles that we have to fill in each episode. Yeah. Today, uh -huh. I'm the victim. Which means that you're playing the terrible video game. Yeah, it does. Brought along by me, mm. the Games Master. I feel like we need to update those visuals, don't you? Do you? Why? I don't know. Just feel like we could shake it up a bit. Year two. What What happens instead? Uh, maybe we're just rotated at you know three degrees in one direction. Okay. That could be fun. Well, it? I can do that now. Actually, I didn't like that. Oh, okay. I didn't like that. Uh, maybe just all, all new. I'll tell you what we're not bringing back: mm. special facts. No. Which people were really mad about when they went. look in the comments. People are still... People are doing them. Still mad that they don't exist. Yeah, try try thinking of one every fortnight. I've got enough to worry about with this edit without thinking of something interesting. This is Peter's whole life. Yeah, it this is. This show. Yeah. So just back off, yeah? Gesture. Whoa, Whoa. what was that? I don't know. That was, was aggressive pixels. for me. I, I yeah. got... That, that irradiated me with negativity, that oh, one. Oh, well. You're playing Minority Report. Did you see it there in front of you? Yeah, I did. Desk? Yeah, did Minority you? Report. You're playing Minority Report. It's not your Minority Report. No, it's your Minority Report. Oh, is it anyone's Minority Report then, if that's the only thing you can say about it? Yeah. Um, well, it looks mental. Well, everybody runs. Everybody runs sometimes. On the side, though, it just says Minority Report. Yeah, so it's not actually the subtitle. It's, it's just a, like a slogan. But the like game is line. called Minority Report Everybody Runs. Oh, is it? On the Wikipedia page it is, anyway. Minority Report Everybody Runs. Everybody Runs. I also can't work it out for sure, and I haven't looked up a side-by-side -side comparison, but it looks that th th all of this... It reminds me of the Matrix font. It's a bit ma matrixical, isn't I'm, it? I might be wrong, but it just sort of the the band across with the, yeah. with the text on it. It just looks kind of kind of Matrix, <laughs> kind of Matrixy. Yeah. Um, well, I have actually once upon a time played this game. No way. But it was on the Xbox. Which I believe or might, might have even been 360, probably Xbox. It's a nice disc, yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Uh, which, I, from from what I know about the PS2 version, which isn't much, mm. the PS2 version is a lot worse than the Xbox version. So I'm still in for a big surprise, I suspect. It might be a trip down memory lane. Well, I also don't remember it, so it won't really be a trip down. It'll be a trip down. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this lane. We'll just go down the lane. Should yeah. we all go down the lane together? Let's. Four. Hot and fresh it science facts. Pretty hot over there. Got them. Got the science facts. We'll learn as we go. We've got some friends with us today. Please. We have. They're right here. Should mm. we go from right to left? Scandal Penguin. Billy Ray Dolores. Billy Ray Walrus. Uh, uh, Dick Machinko. John Claude Van Lam. And Stephen Seagull. Oh, look, it's this where it changes. 
Look, the transition is hidden by the, the light. You can see it change. Wow. I always thought that looked like a fun building to work in. With the little monorail going around. Yeah, I wanted to yeah. go in the monorail. Yeah, it looks good. Oh! Oh, that's a and less fun building. It's not even moving. No. Oh, no! It's a precog. <gasps> the future can be... be seen. seen. Minority report to them. Continually breaking all traditions. I've seen this film. Oh! Not all of it. I've oh. seen the first half hour of it, maybe, many, many times, and then got bored and not carried on watching. Brilliant. Ask me. Have you seen this film? Which side is it? Uh, up there. No. First side fact. back. Yeah. Minority report, everybody runs. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Minority Report, Everybody Runs. Do they? Is a beat em up video game loosely based on the film Minority Report and was released on November the 19th, 2002 for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. It was developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. Loosely based. Oh, is the music gone? Yeah. But we just don't. Oh. Minority Report, Everybody's Got the Runs. <laughs> Do my minority report, diarrhea. Domino's uh, report. Yeah. Everybody runs. I'm in e I'm easy like a Sunday morning. Oh, look how much space we've got. Well, we've got five five thousand five cubs. Five and a half thousand cubs. Wow. Slot one, empty. Not for long. Player one. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Minor and then we just cut to the chase and just put runs. Minor runs. My minor minor runs. I thought you were gonna go for um Minority repeat. Yeah, okay. There's not it's room not, for that. It's not but room. Also doesn't work at all. Minor runs. See, this just looks like the future levels of Future Perfect to me. We got a red yeah. ball situation here. Victim's name is Joe Gustafson. Where's his eyes? Andre Serena. Suspect runs a large catering facility, which is where the murder goes down. Oh, a large catering facility. Oh, his face just came out for one frame, was right up in the camera there. <laughs> Oh no, they're not dressed like the future. No, they're not in future clothes. He's Why? got three laptops. <laughs> Each one more powerful than the last. <gasps> it's the squad! Oh! oh! He didn't hear him. Whoa! <laughs> Just his, his kissy face. Give me a kiss. kiss, kiss. Oh, here come the... Here come the boys. So, it is X to do quick hit. Square to do big hit. Yeah. When they're dazzled, and you can tell they've got little birds flying around their heads, you can press circle to grab them. Wow. And circle again in a direction to throw them, because this game has crazy ragdoll physics. Oh. Whoa! Look at all this breakable glass. Yeah. Oh, God, everything's destructible. What's that ad? Everything for out there? runs. Is it a Lexus? Might be, yeah. Alexis. Lexus. When do I get the gun in Minority Report? Oh, this is the victim. Kill him. I wonder what mad torrents he was downloading on that laptop. I want you to listen carefully to how your main character sounds. Okay. And uh, over the course of the next couple of science, whoa, facts. See if you, <laughs> see if you can work out who it is. Oh, okay. Fun little game. Wow, it's like being in an action film. It is like being in an action film. Oh, it's very arcade. I found that small health. I found that small health. Good. Here they come. I, I like how they're armed. I know it's a catering company, but why are they all armed with rolling pins? <laughs> oh, no, that's a baseball bat. Oh, that's a rolling I've pin. I grabbed him. Press circle in the direction. Whoa! <laughs> and holding circle will block. <laughs> <laughs> what was that little swingy kick he just I, did? I do that kick when I walk through the leaves on a crisp autumn day. Yeah, me too. I do it when I'm when I'm mad. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! He's gone into the mincing machine. He's a pot man now. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, he's still going. Get him! <laughs> it's a bit silly, isn't it? It is a little bit silly. Oh. That was a bit of a weird physic. <laughs> oh, oh, money. Hello. Money, I found a small money. You found a secret. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, that's horrible. It's cruel, that. Minority Report Everybody Runs. They do. Is a beat em up game that spans 40 levels. What? Its main selling point is the ragdoll physics engine with highly exaggerated effects to enhance interaction with the environment. 
enemies thrown against walls or railings will strike or fold over them in a semi-realistic fashion. Semi-realistic. And will often smash through breakable objects. The player can also、Ready? use. Oh, good! Oh, that explosive tomato sauce. Yeah. The player can also use futuristic weapons, both those featured in the movie and new ones created especially for the game by by Activision. It says. <laughs> good job, Activision. There are also a few levels which incorporate the use of a, a jetpack, allowing Anderton to fly around the environment. That's what I remember. I remember flying around on a jet. To be honest, the one memory I have of this game is quite. A good one. I remember All the being. Are coming through yeah, the that's not a good memory. I think that's actually an emulator issue. Probably、regime. the emulator. Yeah. It's weird seeing Lexus branded all over this game. Were they also in the film? Oh, they must have been. Yeah. Because you can see、um, that there's a futuristic Lexus there. But it looks like it's rendered in game though. It's、well, a weird in-engine. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's coming. Whoa! Juggling. Okay, grab him. Grab him. I want to throw him in into an ice sculpture. Oh, oh no! And again. Oh. He just squeals each time. And again.、Time. Oh. Oh. And again into、Through、a pig.、Meat. Oh god. Pigs are bigger than you expect. They are. Oh, that was him. Mary, give the man his hat. Give the man his hat. Oh my god! Oh, he did actually、happened? say that. I was joking. I thought it just—it sounded like he said hat, but it was it's some sort of sci-fi hat that hurts you. Hurt hat. Yeah. Danny Whitworth, FBI. John Anderton, I presume. FBI. That's right. What can I help you with, Agent Whitworth? Oh, oh. oh. these oh. are my men, Ben Mosley and Ken Nara. Oh, oh. oh. the eyebrows. The zoom. He's concerned. <laughs> the close-ups aren't. They haven't aged well. No. <laughs> There are no flaws. A major aspect connecting the video game to the movie is that in the film, protagonist Anderton believes that he has been framed for a murder、mm. and sets out to prove his innocence. In line with the film as well, Anderton never uses lethal force against criminals or the cops that chase him. All weapons either render the opposition unconscious or incapacitated. However, the game does not use the likeness of the actors from the movie, with the player character being voiced by Clancy Brown as well as looking like him. Clancy Brown, looking like him. Yeah, I can't think what Clancy Brown looks like. Who's Clancy Brown? <sighs> Clancy Brown. I keep wanting to say The Simpsons, but it's because I'm thinking of Clancy Wiggum. Ah, <laughs>、uh, yeah, the the other famous Clancy. Hands off me money. Hands off me money. It will be mine. God damn it! That's Mr. Krabs. Oh. Doctor Neo Cortex, and Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Neo Cortex, <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, it will be mine. You're doing CTR. I am. Yeah. No, that's where I know him from. I don't really know him as Mr. Krabs. God damn it, Connor. Would you like me to look at Lieutenant? Lieutenant.、Mm -hmm. It's Hank. It's Hank Anderson, everyone. Now we're fighting robots with fists. With with legs that don't move. Can you pick them up? Oh, they're less fun. They are. Can I can I smash? Oh,、through? he's got a health bar. Your buddy's got a health bar. Oh well, hope he dies. I found it. A riot impact shotgun. Oh, I think you mean Anne. Yeah, Anne riot impact shotgun. Hello, my name is Annabelle Riot Impact Shotgun. <laughs> can you use it? Um, Look at the size、oh, of those lab. Did, did that I just lab shoot just... a lab coat off? I punched. Oh a... my god! You punched the ghost out of that lab coat. No! <laughs> Why would they add that in as as a detail? That's so bizarre. Oh, they're gone. Everything needs to be destructible. Minority、Everything. report. Everything needs to be destructible. Everybody has ghosts.、Yeah. Minority. Oh,、report. there they are. There. What is? I, I'm blind now. Shut off the gas. Shall I use my? Oh, oh I'm going to use my Annabelle, my Annabelle riot shotgun. Oh, oh my God! There's a lot. Oh, so when you pick up a small health, does it use it there and then? Oh my God! What is happening?、He's, what is happening? He's flicking around a lot. Whoa! His arm turned into a hand. I was pressing the wrong button. I wasn't even、Hello? shooting. Oh, my my friend died. I guess. I didn't even give you a game over screen. No, it just put you back. Barry must survive. Hi, my name's Barry. Must survive.、Uh, so, is this what Clancy Brown looks? In 2002, vaguely, apparently, yes. I can't even see him, but well, we've seen him in cutscenes. He must survive. Barry. Oh, he's winding up. He is. Oh, hold circle to block. Yeah. He must survive. <laughs> <laughs> That. 
Press it sideways. The gas is off. Yay, the gas is off. Ooh. No fall damage is fine. Can I? Oh, if you hold L2 and then press triangle while you're moving around. Oh. There we go. Now this is what dreams are made of. Now this is pod rolling. Everybody rolls. Uh, well, the gas is off, so... You I'm know. assuming you're allowed to walk past the bubble tanks and go through the door into the room. Into the light room. Okay, there's no one there. There are some treats there, though. How do you get the treats? Oh, by blowing up the flammable gas tank. You think? With Barry standing next to it, yeah. Barry? Hello? Oh. Barry? you give this game too much credit. Oh, what? Why does it say flammable then? Is there is there a sneaky way in? A sneaky way in? Yeah. Is that what box, sneaky boxes do before yeah. a fight? Yeah, before a yeah, sneaky fight. Sneak. Oh! Oh! oh my god, instant death. Absolutely, oh god, that's what your pel pelvis does when you get set on fire. Oh Die! no! It's one of these games. Hope you like check. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? I feel like checkpoints. Would you like some cheats? Yeah. Before Ma we do that, though, got another science fact for you. Okay. Are you ready to make a guess about something? Yes. According to Amazon.co.uk slash dot com slash dot fr slash dot de. Yeah. And so on. Mm. What is the weight of this game? Ooh. Um... In grams. Thank you. In grams. What is the weight of this game in grams? Now, it doesn't have a manual anymore. No. Worth bearing in mind. Not, not many grams, I wouldn't say. Maybe um, 25 grams. It's more grams than that. It's a lot more grams than that. Is it a lot more grams than that? Yeah, it's many more grams than that. But packets of things that weigh 100 grams only weigh 100 grams, and that's not very much. Let me try and pretend there's a kilogram in this hand and how much it weighs. This is how many of these are more to... weight than that one. I hope it helps. You see, does that provide this weighs context? more than that? Yeah. Does this have a weight on it? Unlikely. Seven. I'll say um, one hundred and fifty. One hundred forty-one grams. God, I was way off to start with. One hundred forty-one grams. Maybe it's because the manual just weighs like. Maybe it's a thick boy. One hundred thirty grams. Especially in Europe, where it's got twenty languages in it. Yeah. I should be using my gun, shouldn't Don't I? Don't worry, well, we've got... Whoa! Is he going to sink the sickest... Oh, I thought he was oh. going to go all the way around. Are you ready for some cheats? Health cheat, please. Um, I, don't know what, I don't know what some of them are. Enter cheat code. Are you ready? Yeah. H. H. I. I. S. Hiss. S. Hiss. S. Hiss. S. Hiss. Confirm. Oh, is it like a snake cheat? Lizard hero. Okay. M E N. Men. Bouncemen. Bouncy men is a name for <laughs> All women. All women. No, women aren't bouncy. All women. Spinach. Super damage. Super okay. damage. Let's go for styling. Dramatic finish. No, I don't know what that means. I thought that said dramatic fish. Clumsy. Rag doll cheat in Don't know what that means. Strapped. All weapons. Lurig arms. Oh, okay. And Mr. Juarez, or one word. Have I spelled that correctly? Yeah. Go me. I'm a European. Infinite ammo. Uh, I think that's all I've got here, apart from ending scene. Uh, so we'll do that later. Oh, he's not a lizard. We need to enable it, I think, from the menu. Look oh. at him go. Well, let's find out what lizard is then. Bounce, they'll bounce towards me, fallen foes. Oh, that's great. Infinite ammo, all weapons, super damage. Do crazy damage when you hit someone. Dramatic finish, savor the victories. Yeah, that sounds bad. Ragdoll. Right. You fall down when crouching. Okay. <laughs> Great. Invincibility bouncy. Where's the lizard one? Mm. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to just see. Press L2. Uh, L2. <laughs> Go into. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. What? Through there? Go through reception. Oh, oh, you took too long. Oh, a fallen foe has <laughs> stuck to me. Super down. <laughs> no. Barry, thanks for saving my life. Barry. Oh. <laughs> this game warm it up. That's a ten. Right there. Yeah. You got all the guns as well. Let's let's try them all. Okay. Yeah. That's Mirage. Nicky Mirage. Nicky Mirage. Oh, this looks explosive. Let's use this exclusively. It's only got. Yes. Oh. There's going to be so many bouncy men. Oh. Oh, it doesn't stop firing. 
Jesus! Whoa. What is that? What is that one? Oh, I think it homs in. Let's go do it. Oh, that's a stinky one. Stink bomb. Okay, are you ready? You're you're fully kitted out. You cannot die. Barry might die. Oh! oh. Luckily, he's invincible, so it's fine. Oh! Oh, oh I... it fell immediately. Oh, Barry! Oh, Barry, please! <laughs> Barry, you're in the way. Barry, stick with me. You'll Barry, be fine. You've got to get out of the way. If I keep moving, he can't. Oh, he can't oh, get up. Damn it! Oh! <laughs> Barry, get back! Let me oh. try a different weapon. Okay. Oh, what's Barry doing? Barry was doing a little dance there. Well, do you think it'll still? Because some games they give you invincibility, but like some of these things just yeah. have an instant death Got trigger, don't they? Field. Yeah. Oh, Barry's running through it. Barry! <sighs> Barry is down. He must survive this level. Oh, can I help him? No. Oh, he's up. He's fine now. Is there a way we can just tell him to wait? Because if he's running into fire, yeah, then that's not your fault. Gas off. You would think this would switch off the fire as well. You would. That would be nice. Fire off. Are we keeping you awake, Mr. Potter? Sorry. It's okay. You stay put. I'll deal with this. Yeah, you stay put, Barry. He Is just he gonna... told you to stay put. Is he going to stay put this time? Try running through it. Yeah, you're all right. Okay, I'm fine. You stay put, Barry. I think Barry glitched and followed me when he shouldn't have done. Maybe because he floated his way into the room. Yeah, that's probably it. Kick him. Oh. <laughs> Get him, Barry! Okay. Yes, Barry! Oh, wrong buttons. There we go. Kick. Oh, that's it. Because now you're doing super damage. Kick. Kick. You can kick everything kick. to the Barry. Barry. Little Barry ballet. He's doing a Barry breakdance. Yeah, he is. Barry B breakdancing. Yeah. Oh, God. Let it die. <laughs> Uncharted territory, this. We're in the lab against robot. These aren't fun to fight, are they? You no, because they don't stuff. flop around. They've got no ragdoll. Oh, <laughs> speaking wanna, of which. I want to see what happens with bouncy men yeah. beyond just Barry. It's a very exciting time. Very exciting. <laughs> did you know there's a speed run for this game? Uh, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't know, but I would have guessed. It comes from Dutch Sp speed. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from Dutch speedrunner. R-A-T-N. Ratten. Ratten. Barry, oh. stop. Barry, get down. <laughs> How long did it take Ratten to speedrun this game? There's no um, way out of here. There's always a way out, John. Uh, how about catch. 40 minutes? Oh, it's in slow motion, <laughs> I think. Not 40 minutes, took slightly longer than that. 52 minutes. Barry! Whoa! And Barry just flops away. <laughs> he just starts flying <laughs> around. It took one hour, 17 minutes and 50 seconds oh, to okay. speed run this game. <laughs> okay, let's continue and hopefully be in a place where there aren't any robotoms. Let's kill the boys. Let's kill, kill the, the boys. boys. Suspect John Anderton, but that's me. That's me. I already gave away the twist in the synopsis yeah. of the game. I, mean, I think it says on I here. think this is the level that I remember where you're in the police station. Steven Spielberg's futuristic thriller explodes onto the PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system. Is that what it says? Yep. Computer entertainment system. Oh, the people. Oh, the precogs. You can't kill me. I can give you money. Don't want money. Where so these are... Power. I'm, as I'm unfamiliar with the film, mm. what are precogs? I get the idea, but who are they and where did they find them? I, I think they might sort of breed them horribly in a sort of post-apocalyptic kind of way. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like that. People should be allowed to murder when they want. Otherwise, what's the point? Suspect name, John Anderton. Victim's name. Whoa! Oh, here he comes! You've got a friend! How many friends can I gain? You're going to be so popular. Oh, you're so popular. Look if how I, popular you are. I keep them moving. There's so many <laughs> Peter Austins in suits flying after you. They are a bit, aren't they? But they're quite tall and lanky. These they boys. are very stretchy. Stretch, <laughs> stretch arm Peters. Stay with me, boys. <laughs> Some of them have faded. Some of them turned into ghost hands. Oh, no. Boys, they, they instantly quick, break boys, glass. smash the glass. Oh, you've only got two. You've only got two sons left. No, please, sons. Stason. 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 <laughs> I miss Barry. No, I don't. I hated Barry. Oh, you're not going to be able to throw anyone. I was just now, trying to you? do that. No, I can't. Look at them. Just. <laughs> this is awful. Just... Oh, I've got him. Oh yes, yeet him as hard as you can. Fly. 
Is he going to come back? Oh. Yay! Yay! It's like a boomerang. Look at that guy. <laughs> Whee! This will be good for thumbnails. Yeah, oh. you should get these guys in your thumbnail. Look at them run in formation. Oh my god, they're bored. Oh, these guys aren't. Oh, I was just. I, why am I doing a sick? What is go? Oh my god, where did that guy oh, go? I don't know. Um, I want one of these these guys to. I think they've got um, sticks that make you vomit. Oh. I think that's it. I think that's it's like a it's a non-lethal. Oh my Christ! There you Proceed go. through exit. Okay. There's the thumbnail. Sick me. Oh, oh, oh weird. What a weird thing to. Oh, he's gone. No, he's not. He <gasps> shaved him. <laughs> Did he just say, oh no, I'm effed? I think he might have done. I don't know why. He was already dead. But, oh! Wow! <laughs> have you ever played uh, 2007 early PSN title, Pain, where no. you have to launch yourself off a catapult? Because that's exactly oh, what yeah, this I'm aware game of is it. Giving, me the, giving me vibes of. You're doing mad stunts on your pedal bike. Oh! God, you're going to boundary break soon. This game is actually really fun with the cheats on. Would you like to hear the scores? Uh, hello? I can't even see. Yes, please. <laughs> hmm. Minority Report, everybody runs. Oh, I've just done a glitch. <laughs> oh, so yeah, how did you do that? I launched myself at it, and now he got up, and he's just... Is he stuck Oh, now? actually, he might... Oh, oh, his arm's in there. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and did a rag doll and Ooh. he put his arm in. Minority Report Everybody Runs received mixed reviews on all platforms according to video game review aggregator Metacritic. What did it get? Uh, is this the PS2 average or is this it... This is the PS2 average. Okay. Proceed through exit. I'm trying. I'm trying. I think it got um, 60. It got 50. Okay. Bang on 50. I guess without the cheats, it is kind of a 50 game. With the, with the cheats, it's at least a 60. However, are you ready for probably the biggest disparity in review scores we've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the highest review comes from Absolute PlayStation. There is so much less blood and gore in, it, in this game than is usually seen in games of this nature. And those looking for a game with a story space line with not all of the killing will find this game a welcome change. Was that written by a mum? I don't know. A child. A mum. What score out of 100 did Absolute PlayStation give Minority Report? Everybody has the runs. <laughs> um, uh, you say it's the highest review. Yeah. And there's a big disparity. I think it, they gave it... 85. This is the exit and I can't... Oh, now I can. Okay, there we go. Just Everybody glitch. Runs was the name of that one. Yeah. 80 out of 100. 80. 80. God. This game is up there with the best PS2 games of all time. Yeah, it is. The lowest review score comes oh, from... Oh my god, Agent Mosley's just going Yeet. mad on me. Yeet. Does it oh, work with my. bosses if I just... You made him cough. Oh. oh god, he really hooked the leg there, didn't he? Oh, here come all your sons! <laughs> sons! Sons! Yes! Come here, sons! Come here, sons! <laughs> They're falling over themselves to give you a hug. They are. You can't move for friends. There's so many sons! Is this is this the uh, the titular Capri son? Yeah, I think it could him? be. Captain Son. Captive son himself. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bears cave. That was it. Oh, uh, well. Was it. The lowest review score comes from Yahoo. Oh, we yeah. know that one. And look, you get to play on jetpacks now. You may want to give that a go. For starters, it's boring. <laughs> you generally just button mash as quickly as possible and hope that all the cops fall down before you do. Yeah. What did they give it out of 100? 5%. 20. Yeah, 20. I think a five was a bit... Pre it's just you you, you pre-cogged me with the disparity that the I went disparity. a bit mad. Whoa! Oh. Well, let me... I don't know how you use it, but I can't wait oh. to see oh. how it works with the with the physics. Oh, not very well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You go up and down using the right stick, but it's inverted. Oh, Jesus. That's That feels horrible. To oh! To put the disparity into context for you. Oh yeah. my god, that man, there they come. Now they've got jetpacks too. Whee! <laughs> come on, sons. Oh, there they are, my sons. The difference between Absolute PlayStation's 80 and Yahoo's 20 is bigger than the average score for this game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, come on, this isn't a 20% game, even without... Oh. No, it's not, is it? It's This is probably one of the better, worst games we've played. Remember, even without they're not the all cheats. bad, no. they're just worse than most. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, Hello? I'm just stuck Ooh. in here. Oh, there's a man there. <laughs> there's a man on I'm the trying other to get side through. One well, there we go. Ones. Those are all the science facts. We could use the cheat code to see the ending scene if you want. Oh. <laughs> Is that meant to be open? Maybe it's because you've got a floppy man with you and it doesn't like it. Is it worth watching this ending cutscene? I don't know. It could be that most people have never seen it. Yeah, you might be so right. So why not? Even those who liked it may not even remember it. Oh, the, hang on. Uh, the... Alternate heroes. <gasps> oh, Lizard, Lizard John! John. <laughs> Damn it! Well, hopefully he'll be Lizard John in the cutscene. The cheat code for skipping the entire game and viewing the ending scene uh, is wimp. 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 You you wimp. You wuss. You big old wuss wuss. You little sissy. You pussy cat. You little yellow bellied uh, chicken. You you cad. Yeah, you. Uh... You little wimp, wimple. You you wee willy wimpy. Ending. Jump to the ending. Oh, I have I to just do it in just... game. Come on, lizard boy. There he is. Oh, he looks great. He does. What a, what a look. Let's get a nice. Oh, there. That's that's Fantastic. some thumbnail content there. That's great. <laughs> look at them all dance. Ending. Activated. The end. Veend. Who's that? Do we know that character? Uh, no. Are these the precogs? Could be. Yeah, I think it's a, a precog. Mm. Here he is. <gasps> oh no. Who's that? I don't... Oh. Is this it? Did he just leave now? With no context at all? In his little <laughs> Look how much space mobile. is wasted in that lizard mobile. Yeah. Don't crash! Look Jesus out. Christ! Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's coming back for us! Oh, oh. Ah, the end! The end! It did just briefly say the end there. The end? Wow, well, I'm really glad we unlocked that. That was phenomenal. Oh. Okay. Well... This is what it's for. Dance. Dance in the wheelchair. <laughs> what? What is that music? Are these all the devs? We saw one man dance. I want to see other men dance. I think these, these are all the devs have had their faces put on precogs. <laughs> I'm surprised there was room on the disc for all of these faces. Why would you do that? You're rendering Simon Chan and Ludwig Akopian. Jean Anderson. That's weird. She's called Jean Anderson and the player character's called John Anderton. How, God, how odd. What, what a world. Huh. Long ago, at a game development studio, I, Dave Benson Phillips, beloved children's TV presenter, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish pair of nerds stepped forward to oppose me. Before the final copy was destroyed, I opened a portal in their case and flung them into Newcastle, where my evil is law. Now the fools seek to return to Bristol and undo the future that is Dave Benson Phillips. Hello everybody and welcome to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by... <laughs> I just turned it off. Uh, I just turned... I did, all the TVs have turned off. Sent in by... You remember they're not all terrible. Sometimes they're just worse than most. Mm -hmm. My name is Ben. And my name is Peter. Peter? Yeah. Today... Mm -hmm. I am the game's victim. That's true. Which means by process of elimination, I'm the game's master. Uh, 
And that means you've brought the terrible video game along for me to play today. What is it? It's this one that was on the desk. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Boom. It's Disney's Peter Pan, The Legend of Never Space Land. Neverland. Neverland. The Neverlands. This appears to be a real licensed game rather than a, a blast game. It's Disney Interactive. Which is just, you know, they could just do Peter Pan. Yeah. Whatever the story or is. Or sort called. of the, the Green Lost Boy or yeah, something. Yeah, the, the Lost Boy. Yeah. The Flight Boy. Yeah. Um, no, this is a real one. Um, and, I mean, there's all kinds of facts that are in there. That'll be telling you soon when we're playing the game about sort of what it's based on and etc. No, don't stop. Stop doing that. Sorry. Stop breaking the fourth wall all the time. Stop it. You've got to have a very high IQ. Stop doing it. To uh, to, to understand. Un to understand. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? That's really good. Oh, for God's sake! Should we play the game? Yeah. Oh. Do you feel like a spaniel today? I don't or? feel like I feel more like a Labrador, to be honest. Uh, um, yeah, that's not that's not an option. Oh, uh, okay. Um, oh, oh, Colour it in. down a little bit. Not all the way though. Oh, it's oh. Oh. three dimensional. Oh. <laughs> Shoe fly. Oh, we got it. Don't bother me. I'm blue fifty two. <laughs> Ready. It looks like a glitched white screen at first, but... Okay. Oh my god. Any happy little... Look at the line on the ocean there. I I, oh yeah. I guess it is Neverland. You know, oh, maybe it's some sort of magical feature. Is this some sort of like... It's Marimba um, version of the... <laughs> Think of a wonderful thought, yeah. Yeah, of the Peter Pan did it. Oh, oh, okay. Are we going? Oh no! Oh, Peter. Oh dear! Why is it like he's got a mouth full of apples? You've done pretty well for your namesake, haven't you? You've got, you, there are lots of uh, fictional Peters. Yeah? Did you, were you able, ever able to project upon them? Like a little bit. Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, I don't the, really why remember. Why is it so loud? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I probably did project a little bit onto Peter Pan. I feel like there's another Peter though that I felt a lot more like, yeah! Yeah, we're Peters, but I can't think who. It might it might come to me in time. Not Parker. Um, yeah, maybe. Hey, everyone. Peter Pan is a third-person swashbuckling action adventure. Wow, it's probably the only third-person swash swashbuckler in existence. Yeah, existed. it is. There's no, it doesn't say game. It just says Peter Pan is a third-person swashbuckling action adventure for the PS2, developed by Disney Interactive and published by Disney. Interesting. There were some other logos at the start which didn't get a name check here. But... Nah, why would they? They're not yeah. Disney, are they? Disney probably bought them. Yeah, that, that was it. That was, that the was first it. Back there, yeah. Are we ready to begin the game? Yes. Bloody hell, slow down! Who's that guy? One of the Lost Boys. One of the Lost Boys, wearing a fox costume. With a real crinkled face. Why, do they all, why are they all gurning? I think because they've been poorly recreated in three dimensions. I, I think that is the actual answer, yes. It's like the Simpsons hit and run. Why do they look like that? Hmm. Because PlayStation 2. I mean, uh, Simpsons especially, you know, it's always a struggle to know what to do with Bart's hair, for example, in 3D. Yes, and Lisa. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it sort of makes sense what they do, but it also looks horrible. It's upsetting, Yeah, quite frankly. Peter Pan. Hello? I just did some very quiet hooking over there. One of my beautiful schemes ruined! <laughs> oh, there, there, Captain. Not to worry. <laughs> What's this? Another lost boy prank? Messages in bottles, more silly games. <laughs> Mr. Smee, look! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have a second. Look! <laughs> Hadn't even opened it yet. No, no, it's not a map, it's the map. The? Oh, Smee's belly. So is this a sequel to the film? No, yes, yeah, no. No. No, it's not a sequel to the film you're thinking of. What film am I thinking? The game takes gamers into Neverland to fight Captain Hook. Sorry, hang on, let me just turn Smee down a bit. Yeah. 
uh, to fight Captain Hook and his crew of pirates. Gamers control Peter Pan and Tinkerbell in a vibrant 3D world and explore environments and interact with characters from the films Peter Pan 1953 yeah. and the new Disney sequel, Peter Pan 2 Return to Neverland, February 2002. Is that what? Yeah. Where? So this is a sequel to the sequel. So this is the this is rounding out the trilogy. Yeah, right? this is you know everything everything that you wanted out of the Peter Pan. You've not broken it, by the way. It just hangs okay. for a long time when you skip All a right. scene. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> skillful, isn't what it? What was that? Yeah. Where's she going to now? Peter! <gasps> Has he lost Jump his magic? Ball. Yeah. I can't fly. Oh, bugger. Can't oh, God! Fly. No, here she is! <laughs> She's coming. Is that Wendy? No. Who's that? This is Je Jane and Danny. Who are Wendy's children? Oh God! It's so Disney sequel, isn't it? Yeah. It's so Disney sequel. Please. Okay. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh we're coming, kid. Oh, oh, he's oh, coming. Oh, oh. <laughs> keep up, boys. Oh. I guess it's because he normally flies every. Oh God. Yeah. Do you reckon he's ever run? Yeah. He doesn't really know life. how to do it. It seems I've stolen all of your pixie dust. Now the cast here sound very convincing. They sound very close to the original. I don't know if they are. Okay. And there's no credits in this game. There's apparently. no credits. There's no credits. From what I've seen on like long plays online and stuff. Oh, oh Christ, oh. Tinkerbell! Tink! <laughs> Tink! Hey. Okay. okay, let's split up. You go that way. I'll I hope he there. runs off screen. Yes. Be careful, Peter. Be careful, be careful, Peter. Don't worry, Peter. Peter, please be careful. Oh! Uh, oh, God! Grin. This better not be the whole game. Oh, it's Insanity Beach. See but... it? It's one of the missing pixie dust jars. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh! oh slow down! Can you tell it's going to be a collective one? <laughs> think about can't even keep up. Okay. No, it's a third person swashbuckling action, action adventure. adventure. Thank you very much. Wow! Feeling better, Tink? Why is he cross-eyed <laughs> like too. that? Let's go! Wow! <laughs> Feeling better, Tink? Well, we're in. I mean, he runs the... Si oh my god, you've boundary broken immediately. Can I just get out of the... Can I just escape the confines of the game? <laughs> Let's see. How quickly can I break this game? <laughs> oh. Did it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he drowned. I drowned Peter Pan. Okay, you right. Peter Pan drowned there. Think happy thoughts. He's a bit juddery. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Can he fight? Does he have a fight button? I think. Can he jump? He definitely can later. At, oh, that was nowhere near me. But okay. at the moment, you might not be able to fight. So I've just got to run. Yeah, like Peter Pan. Run. Yeah. Shouldn't he be able to fly now? He's got Tinkerbell back. Uh, no. I think you can glide. Can I? Oh god, you're you go. right. <laughs> that was upsetting to watch. Oh, oh great. <sighs> oh, there's Steven. Steven Seagull. Oh, there he is. We should introduce our friends, actually. Oh, yeah, we should. Forgot to do that. That's uh, Dick Machinko. That is Dick Machinko. Yeah. Uh, we've got John Cobb Van Lam. We have. Steven Seagull. Yes. Scandal Penguin, Billy Ray Dolrus, and the boy, Billy Ray Walrus. Yes. There they are. Oh my god, look at this steep up. Oh, it's just a lot of clipping, isn't it? Oh, he drowned. Oh, yeah, I drowned him again. Quite they frankly. Oh, where have I respawned? Oh, oh no! Dark. Really? Oh, that... This is where the real Dark Souls begins. This doesn't seem right, does it? This is the Dark Souls of third person swashbuckling action, action adventure adventures. games. No, not, it's not games, it's no, just action, action adventures. adventures. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah. The whole family of video game soundtracks on the PS1 and a bit on the PS2 that sound very, very similar. And it's because. It's, beca <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're all made by the same company. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I think this is one of them, but as we don't have any credits, I can't prove it. Oh, God. He's like a one of those seeds, a sycamore yeah. seed. He certainly is. A whirly gig. Oh. So do I have to... Oh, my God. What is that walk? Do the slow walk. <laughs> Why does he become Quasimodo? I'm coming for you. Got to get the thing, Tinkerbell. Go with your pixie dust. Go on, Tinkerbell. Go on, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Right, how quickly can I end this level? Oh, what is that thing? There was a parrot back there. It looked like Iago from Aladdin. 
There he is. It's probably recycled, let's and, be yeah. let's be honest. The problem with your daughter! Is that a rocket? Oh no, it's a hook. Combination attack. Down in the square for a chop attack. Whoa! Okay, I get it. So that sort of lock on there that you had, where you were kind of circling your target. You can just skip ahead here. Oh, key. Okay. Got a few different descriptions here of the game that were from various websites. I don't know which of them are like the official kind of. There's so many noises yeah, happening. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of stimulation here. One of them says. As well as high quality character animation, the game boasts diverse gameplay mechanics including flying, dueling, mudslides, circle your foe fight mode. No, not circle your foe fight mode. Which I believe is just locking on. Circle your fee fi fight mode? Yeah. Uh, sneaking, throwing daggers, shooting slingshots, and special moves. I love special moves are my favourite. Yeah, and we'll come back to other such similar descriptions later on. We've only got two lives left, be careful. Oh! Oh, he crew! What What was that? Was that the past tense of crowed? Crowdent. He, cro he crodded. Oh, great! The Peter Pan crown! From the I, famous... I love that! The crown from Peter Pan! Yeah. Is that the Indiana Jones font? A lot of games seem to have that. Remember the Barbie game we played? Yeah, yeah. It seems like just a readily available adventure font. I think it's, it's probably called adventure font. Yeah, I think as long as it sort of sweeps a little bit that way. Swoosh. We have a new movie. We have a new movie. You've unlocked the entire movie, Ben. Pirate Peril. You ready for Pirate Peril? Yeah. I'm actually... Not hating this so far. Yeah? It's not good. No. And it is, as you said, very intensive on the senses. Yeah. It's worse than most, though. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Look at this guy. Whoa. How many... He's got... The reason he's holding one in his mouth is because he's got his hands full of knives already. Is that a gun in his mouth, or is it another... I think it's another, it's another knife. knife. He's got three... This is uh, Jenkins' three knives. Oh, of course, Jenkins three knives. Yeah, from Peter Pan two, Return of the Never Neverland ne Neverlandias. Neverland Rises. Yeah. Oh, great! This looks the same. Now I'll tell you now, just in case you're worried. I believe not all of the levels are just built from the same palette of items and okay. you know scenery pieces. But yes, like a lot of them probably are. Shall I see if I can just run through this level as fast as I can? Yeah, why not? Here I go. Oh! Wide over the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> Speedrun strat. Yeah. I did look for a... I know whoa, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm normally, not... Oh, it's circle you're, dual you're mode. You're in circle your enemy fight mode. Oh, what? <laughs> Hello? I know it's normally your your scene to look for speedruns. Oh, no, not at all. Speedruns uh, are for everyone. But I did... I, Jesus. I, I did swore. look and I couldn't find any. Really? Nobody speedrun this? So this what? is technically a speed speedrun record attempt. Yeah, no one's... <sighs> look at his stupid face again. <laughs> He's just constantly looking at his nose. Did Tinkerbell not have voice acting in the film? Not in the first one. She might. Oh! What the, the hell? Way his head! So we've unlocked executions now. No! Looking <laughs> back out of frame. <laughs> wow, that was great. Just a. a Whoa! Oh, cobras! Oh no! You know my thoughts on cobras, don't you? Yeah? Hate them. Hate them. Hate Why? Because you're a big snake racist. Yeah. Oh no! Snakes th <laughs> snakesist. Watch out for those pits, by the way. Um, a YouTube channel called Fun and Gams Channel, G A M Z. <laughs> yeah. Uh, features a video called Disney's Peter Pan: The Legend of Neverland PS2 Game Over, in okay. which someone videotapes their TV screen and shows Peter Pan falling down a pit, followed by the Game Over screen. The video description reads, with most of the words capitalized, of course. Uh oh, Peter Pan fell down the chasm and Captain Hook laughs historically <laughs> <laughs> and says, Your fish food, Pan. Oh no! He laughed historically. He did in the past tense. Yeah. Oh, what's that? A little piece of. It's a piece of the map. It's a piece of eight. I'm going to fly. Here I go. <laughs> That's dumb. The game was released in Europe only and was exclusive Weird. to PS2. So Weird. you're one of the only people in the world to have played this game. I feel honored. Yeah. Excuse me. Got places to be. Woohoo! Pirate Peril. Pirate Peril level, level complete. complete. Stats not great. No. <gasps> it's the croc. <sighs> 
Alongside Danny and Jane from the Peter Pan sequel, <laughs> Peter <My> must, favorite <laughs> must find 16 pieces of the lost treasure map of Skull Rock before... <laughs> oh God, it's the stinky one. Uh, the lost treasure map of Skull Rock before Hook can beat him to the chase, it says. How Which I don't think is a phrase, is it? Beat him to the chase. No, no I don't think so. How's Hook going to get it without the map? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So there are 16 levels, is what I'm hearing. Yes. No. Well, following the leader, I suppose. Okay. Whoa, hello. So in that cutscene, he says, Of course, if I follow Tink, I'll be able to fly. So I think you're sort of catching the pixie dust that she's leaving behind. Oh, oh God. Okay. It now, when I saw this, when I was researching the game, the thing I really wanted you to do, if possible, is... If you can fly directly up, then it means I can cut that out and crucify Peter Pan. <laughs> He'll have to be facing the cross, but that's fine. There's a timer. Yeah, you're gonna have to probably restart now, but I appreciate that you did that for me. There he is. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it just fell. Oh, he's flattened on the floor. He, he face planted. Is it? I think it just takes a while to load normally, this game. I don't know, though. With all this racket going on in the background. It's possibly broken. <laughs> no! But we just got to this level. Ah! It was not worth it. Oh. <laughs> Happy little thought. Continue. Mm, that's promising. Oh, it is. Hooray! No more crucifying Peter Pan. No, following the leader. Here's a new science fact. Yeah. You can't crucify Peter Pan or you'll crash the game. Yeah. This is like uh, a worse version of the flight levels from Spro. It is, yeah, it is much like that. Um, it's sort of if Spro met uh, Superman for the N64. Yeah. Yeah. The game features. 24 levels. Wow. In seven unique Neverland environments. Oh, including? Uh, including? Green. Sky. Rock. Water. I mean, pretty much. Cannibal's Cove, Crocodile Creek, Skull Rock, Mermaid Lagoon, and Hook's Jolly Roger. Oh. So the, most of them look the same as each other, essentially. Expect beautiful daytime lighting with sun rays gleaming through dense overhead tree coverage. I love sun rays. As well as night, sky, moon, and star lighting. <laughs> Pirate bonfires and flickering torches providing dazzling and darker themed areas. Ooh, I like darker themed areas. I nearly got all the bubbles, but I didn't get all the bubbles. Oh, well done. What about tricky terrain? This seems like from the photo it could be a little problematic. Yeah. Give it a go. Oh, I see, because there's a sort of tribal mask. Because the tribal mask. Yeah. We'll see what, uh, what taste and decency Disney has uh, sort of exercised mm. for this level. Yeah. We'll just keep running. Oh, Christ, really? <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Now, considering this is a licensed uh, Disney game based yeah. on a film, albeit a not very successful one, I was surprised... Oh, dear. Here they are. I was surprised at how little presence this game had on the internet. I thought it would be one of those that's easier to find. Oh no, I don't like that at all. <laughs> it's not even holding the spear. Ow! It's not even holding the spear. So, there's no uh, Wikipedia page for this. There's, really? There's no Metacritic entry for this. There's no Game Facts entry for this. So, my review scores and my av review score average comes from Amazon. Oh. Which actually had a lot of reviews on it, surprisingly. Okay. Considering there's nothing else anywhere else on the internet. Uh, before we get to that, though, there was a single review... <laughs> just gracefully glides into the hole. Got full health. Now. There was a single review that I did find on a non-Amazon website. Was there? So, a user on chilloutgames.co.uk... Love that website. ...called Bruce M. Reviewed Bruce, this game... Bruce, my guy, is what he's called. Yeah. Reviewed this game in October 2015. Oh! So... Fairly recently. That's disturbing. Oh. Game over. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, what do you think he gave the game out of five stars? Did he really like it? He did. Uh, he gave it five then, didn't he? He, he gave it five stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but all he had to say was, great. 
Brilliant. Um, oh, again, again. I fell for it again. The trick. You got tricked. Damn it. This is a long old run to get back there. <laughs> it is. So what do you think the Amazon average was? I'll just look out. I can't. <laughs> I'm just on autopilot. Yeah. I get to that point and I forget that I died You before. see the pixie jar and you're like, mine. Got to get that. This it's... is according to 17 reviews. 17 reviews, I think it's averaging 65%. 52%. 52%. <laughs> okay, that's more respectable. Than it is. Than I was expecting. My favorite thing about all the, all of the facts and everything in this video is the highest review score on Amazon. Yeah. What do you think it was first out of five stars? It's the five. highest review. It's five. Five, five yeah. Six. Yeah. Uh, the highest review comes from Amazon user who, re who rated the game five stars and said, rubbish game. Rubbish five stars. <laughs> five stars. Rubbish, rubbish game. game. Brilliant. So Nice to know that the review system on Amazon is, yeah, is alive and well. And working perfectly. Uh, we've also got another five star review here from Patricia Chapman, yeah. who said, my grandsons loved this game. They had a great time playing it. Lots of laughter was heard from their room while playing it. Watch out! <laughs> oh, come on! Five stars from Patricia. I think wow. they probably weren't playing it. No, I think they were They were maybe sort of taking it apart and breaking it. And that was where the humour was coming from. Yeah. Uh, now watch out for insta-kill blocks. Because you've only got two lives left. Oh, 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 there it is, okay. There's no, like, indicator for that, is there? <laughs> there was a small amount of shadow, like, there. Oh, there, yeah. But the other one was uh, hard to see, I think. It was. This is a game for children, remember, and I am a seasoned professional video game. Ooh, quicksand! Oh, oh my god, we're nice. turning. Watch out! Oh. For god's sake, where am I going to spawn now? I mean, it doesn't pose much of a threat, does it? No. Imagine if you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Not really a problem, is it? I used to be on a, a, an internet forum. It's a, it was a, a video game forum where people would chat, <laughs> chat about a specific game. And there was this really weird guy on there who would occasionally, in the off-topic chat, uh, would post videos of women sinking into quicksand. What? Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. They're just like videos of like girls in bikinis going like, Help! Ah! Oh man, that's definitely a fetish. I yeah, mean, oh yeah, well that's what it was, that's what I mean. He used to just post them and like be like, oh wow, look at this guy, this is great. Just reminded me then when I saw Peter's face sinking into the sand. You're like, oh wow, this has awakened something. Yeah, I remember. something that I wish I hadn't recalled, but it's out there. You're only just being what? taught how to glide, I think. Glide fast, glide slowly. Hold backwards, okay. Why is she red? Oh, is it because I'm low on health? Oh, oh. What? I pulled backwards, he goes... Back towards the screen. What? What's the? Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a man fall so quickly? Right. This is my last life. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh look at that rock, defying all of the physics. <laughs> Your fish food can. He laughed historically. That was pretty historic. Wow. Okay, well let's wrap up. Uh, Miss C R Muriel. Gave the lowest review score on Amazon. What do you think it was? Out of five stars. Zero stars. You can't do one that. One star. It was one star. She said, I was very excited about buying this game for my son as it's his favourite film. Unfortunately, English was not in the languages option. I sent it back to Amazon who kindly replaced it. And again, the same problem. Italian, German, but no English. I rang the helpline and Disney would not help me either. <laughs> Maybe I want just... to talk to Walt. <laughs> Maybe just a dodgy batch, she says. Unfortunately, my son was so excited that he decided to play it anyway, but soon got bored as he didn't understand what he had to do. Unfortunately, money down the drain. Just return it again, you blithering idiot. But unfortunately, people have had many issues buying this game on Amazon because the one right. other... Oh, well, there are a few actually, but the, one of the other one-star reviews was from Amazon customer. Yes. Who said, the game in the case was Scooby-Doo. <laughs> what? And that didn't even work. <laughs> what? One star. What? So the Peter Pan case with scooby doo in it. Which didn't work. Brilliant. So I would give that a one-star review for sure. Can he fly? He's got pixie dust. No. We do have a... Uh, a um, a movie clip to watch. We do. Do you, you want to check it to... out? 
see what level of quality we, we're going to get, how compressed it's I mean, going to be. I mean, hopefully it's DVD, but we'll see. We'll, well see. True, it could be DVD. We'll see what level of quality we get. No, what year did this come out? Do you remember? I mean, the box is gone. Yeah. Are you ready to watch a movie? I am. Here we go. It looks like it's from Peter Pan 2. Oh, oh it is compressed. compressed. Peter Pan in the creaky scene. Featuring fewer of your favorite characters. <laughs> I guess it. I'm dreaming. You're not real. What a weird combination of faces that were just displayed. Yeah. She's got a lot more attitude than Wendy because it was has. made in 2002 yes. rather than 1956. Yes. Oh, I'm so bored. Seems like something your mum would stick on on Sundays to make you shut up. Yeah. It just, seems like something watch this. your gran would buy by accident because she heard that you liked watching that Peter Pan film in the cinema <laughs> and. Here it is. I bought you Peter Pan. Oh, it's Grandma. Game as well. Grandma, please take it no, back. this is Return to Neverland. Grandma, it's in Italian and German. <laughs> Grandma. And it's got Scooby-Doo inside. <laughs> it won't even play. Even <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello! <sighs> it's the worst game ever. Hello and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games that have genuinely actually been sent in by you. We're really using those ones now that we got at Christmas time. Yep. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. That's true. And we both have to fulfill a role each in this show. Today, this fortnight, I am the game's victim. Which means that I am the game's master. And that means, Peter, mm. that I've brought along a terrible video game for you to play. Yep, that's you right. You don't know what it is. Don't, look, don't. It's Bratz the Movie. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Bratz the Movie. It's Bratz the Movie. Lights, camera, Bratchen. Br no, just Bratz, oh. TM. Bratz, Bratz TM. TM. Bratz, the, it's not even called Bratz the Movie the Game, which is what I was sort of hoping it would be, but it's just right. Bratz. Bratz the Movie, take glamour photos using your camera. Oh. Featuring music from the TV show. Oh. Adorable pets to feed, train, and dress up. Design your own clothes for the red carpet. Oh, 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 there they are. Well, for a minute, I thought just the way it was a bit crumpled, it looked like there was a folded poster. Oh. Featuring a full 18 by 18 inch poster. A square poster. Wow, square that would be square. great. Brilliant. Yeah. Would you like to hear about one of the characters? Yes. Uh, you've got Chloe, Jade, Sasha, or Yasmin. Which one would you like to hear about? Is Jade spelled J-A-D-E or is it like J-A-Y-D-E? No, it's J-A-D-E trademark. Oh, uh, okay. I'll have Sasha then. Sasha. Let's yeah. Have a look. Sasha. Sasha. Nickname Bunny Boo. Oh. Sasha's not afraid of confrontation. She knows who she is, what she wants, and how to get it. In other words, she's a. <laughs> she's a. She's very difficult to work with. <laughs> Fashion's a huge part of her life, but music is even more important to Bunny Boo. Oh. Someday you can be sure she'll be a record producer with her own fashion line. Wow, multitasking. Great, like Victoria Beckham. Just like Victoria Beckham. Good, should we play the game? Oh, straight into the computer. The PlayStation, the computer. Bratz Boys is a thing, look. Is it? Yeah. Oh. MGA? Mega. What does it stand for? Massive. Girl, Gertrude Anus. No, that was MGE. Not MGA. Was it MGA? A, it said. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. That was THQ. Thick. Blitz. Blitz. As in. Nope. Hmm. Welcome to the menu. Hang on. Wait. Can I get who? Is that what she said? Can I get who? Who? Oh, 
is this going to get copyright struck? But possibly by the, the Bratz label. Hey, Bratz were really popular for a while. Okay? For a time they were, yeah. Subtitles are on by default. That's good. Very accessible. Very accessible. For deaf fans of Bratz. Yeah, or for people who just don't want to listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Like us. In Bratz the movie, based mm. on the Bratz fashion doll line of the same name, yeah. Bratz join the girls with a passion for fashion as they hit the red carpet, rock out in explosive music shows, strut the fashion runway, and publish the hottest magazine ever. Oof. When their hard work lands them the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to star in their own movie, players experience all of the glitz and glamour of becoming real movie stars as they play as Chloe, Jade, Sasha and Yasmin TM and experience character-specific adventures. <sighs> this is my science fact box, by the way. Tip, to put your skates on, press the R1 button. Okay. Oh. And oh. we're here to take what was you that? A lot of swishing going on already. You're not going out dressed like that. This is oh. Like mean school teachers and deadlines. Why was the school teacher wearing a tiara? I've seen the movie. Have you seen the movie? No. What? This How is, have this you? This is one of the. Uh, this is one of the few movie tie-in games where yeah. I've seen the movie. How is this? This the game where you've seen the movie? I think I took my sister to go and see it at the cinema. In 2000, and I'm assuming oh, seven. That's very nice of you. Oh, yeah. And also, just look bright. <sighs> what is? Why has she got a hat made of hair on top of her regular hair? Yeah, look at these beauty standards, ladies uh, or boys, but especially the arm going through the hair. That was great. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have hair that your elbow pokes through, then what's the point? Yeah. Good. Oh, that's your ringtone. Is it? God, imagine having crap like that on your wall, like pictures of presumably her friends. Yeah. <laughs> Saying, please pick up the phone. I've only recorded three lines. Oh my God, it controls really weirdly. Oh, uh, the moment you turn far enough that the camera wants to try and catch up with you, it doesn't know which way is which on the left stick. Hello. Just follow the, oh, there, there it is, it the is. world's biggest phone. We found it. It's the well, size it of is, her arm. It is the 19... 2007. Yeah. Seven? Yeah, 2007. God. Jesus, it's so much louder than it was before. It's from Eton. It's from e Eton? Eton? Eton College. Hey, Yasmin. Listen, I was wondering if you could come down to the smoothie bar and help me out with something. Drop by if you can. He sounds hot. Uh, you do got any games? Snake 2 on here. Maybe there's a better game on her phone. Locate a better game. Here's a thing for you. I don't like that. Bratz the Movie is a simulation game produced by THQ and developed by Blitz Games Limited. It was released on PS2, Wii and Game Boy Advance on the 24th of September, 2007. Wow, this does not look like a 2007 game, does it? No. Also, PS3 and 360 were out by this point. Simulation game? Yeah, well, I sort of, usually we copy that sentence from Wikipedia. There's no Wikipedia entry for this game, so right. I had to go from various sources, and some people categorised this game as a simulation game. So right. I thought, you know what, that's what this is now. I should put some tunes on before I head out. What music have we got? Oh, this is definitely... Oh, li listen for this in the Bratz TV show. Random play, but let's just set anything playing for now. You've got three songs. Random play. Cool. Now let's go back and put the phone away. It's time to go see Eaton in the mall. Eaton? Eaton? I'm holding right. You I am holding, holding right. You are holding right. I'm now holding left. I'm now holding right. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Is this her house? Is this where she lives? This office is her building. office. How old are they? Let's, I'll do a proper search for you. We need to find this out. Did you say R1 puts my skates on? Yes. You may not have been told how yet. Oh, Jesus, it's so loud. I'm slightly concerned that there's an outside chance this will be copyright infringement. Is she naked? Oh, no, she's what? not. Oh, my God. Jesus, I thought it was some sort of... Um, okay. Or not Bratzy. No. People also ask, what ethnicity is Yasmin from Bratz? Why do you need to know that? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Born in 1995. So she's technically 24. Right. Now. Okay. But in 2007, she would have been... I a teenager. I didn't hear the question. Doesn't entirely. matter. They're teenagers. Okay. 
as you, we may have been able to deduce on our own. So that there is, that's why they have the office block. That's why they have an office as teenagers, yeah. Oh, the Chudhams! Oh, goodness, look at the sparkly floor that's all flickering in and out there. That's it was loading Katia's dialogue. Good to see you in the mall, girl. Time for some rest and relaxation. Relaxation. Smoothie bar. Is this Eaton? There's Eaton! Does Eaton run the smoothie bar? I mean, all the music. <laughs> I got you some cool new oh, lines. Yes. Here, that is wicked. Wicked. They're massive. She could live in those. Right now. I should put on the new skin <laughs> gave me. I should put on the new skin. It's so whenever it's I the... look over there, it just doesn't like is it. Is this the Bratz game where they all have a stroke? Oh, hats, here we go. Hats. Oh. She's not wearing any PPE. No. Payment protection insurance. No. Oh. No, that's PPE. P.I. Uh, she's, she's not Have wearing... Have you missed all PPE? She's not wearing any pads, she's not wearing a hat. Well, there's a, there's a, na a national shortage on PPE at the moment because of coronavirus. Yeah, you've got to keep your, your knees safe from coronavirus. I never had any proper PPE when I worked in retail and it... Oh, nope. oh my God! <laughs> my phone out. <laughs> it was constantly a source of irritation because I worked in fridges. And so my hands would get really sore, mm, and, and they just never had enough gloves to go around. It's like that's not right, is it? I anyway, was kind of hoping point that is she's this... not wearing any knee pads. No, she's not. I was kind of hoping that this um, skating would be really bad, but it's just fine. Yeah. Yeah. You can't wear skates inside. It's illegal. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> the turning circle's not great, to be fair. What are the coins for? Oh, oh look I at like... the baggage going oh, on there. Oh, what was that? Oh. Look at the baggy, <laughs> baggy tree. Baggy trousers. <laughs> it's so slow. Oh, the music so, yeah, doesn't it's know what to look do. This way. <laughs> you gotta be you. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought it would be like that, though. Sometimes it'd be like. Why do it be like that? Fresh smoothie. Who's this? Cool. I've got some blings for bling. doing that. They should come in handy next time I'm blings? shopping. Do we know what blings are? The oh Bratz, my god. Bratz World Currency. Oh, is that my phone ringing? Yeah, it sounds like the pipes. Hello. Oh, Danny boy. Eden, we've answered. Get smoothie for me. Come back whenever you want to deliver some more and earn some spare cash. <laughs> Later. Later. Hey everyone! Hey everyone! Jesus Christ. Blitz Games was a division of Blitz Games Studios and was responsible for producing its family titles. They made Big Bumpin, the Burger King game. Big Bumpin. You Star 2, The Mummy Returns, and Shrek Alarm. Among, Shrek Alarm. Among others, but ceased trading in 2013 after being unable to secure funds to sustain the business. Because oh, they were so bad. They made a lot of games. It was mo mainly tie-in games. Like this. Mm -hmm. Switch to me, and I'll go over right now. Switch right now. Right now. Switch to me. Hey, pretty princess. <laughs> oh, it's. I mean, it's an emulator issue, but God, it's horrible. So horrible. <laughs> oh God. Pay a visit to Meow and Ruff. What animals do you think Meow and Ruff might be? Badgers. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, pair of badgers. Yeah. Badges. A badge pair. Yeah. What? What's going on? What? Another sunny day in Stylesville. Let's make the most of it and shop. Woo! Oh, it's just Woo! so stereotypical, isn't it? Yeah. Shopping. This is how it is. Fashion. This is how they. This is how they be. Yeah. I think. Yeah. What's that? That's a music shop. Rock out. Rock out. <laughs> Chill it out. Take it slow. She just kiss and makeup. That's a good name. Great. Oh, it's all so painful. Why? What's up with the floor here? It's really weird look, oh, looking. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the resi fixed oh, camera there angle there. Meow and... Meow and... Oh, it's literally just called Meow and Rough. Brilliant. What's that a pun of? Uh, rough is maybe Hello? stuff. Welcome yeah. Meow and Rough. Choose the one you think you can give a happy home. He's not going to do any sort of background checks. Just like no. a 17-year-old girl walks in and says, Can I have a pet, please? And Adopt, like, yeah. don't shop. Yeah. Oh, what do you want? B... Shadow. Oh. Oh. Maxi. That's Jess from Postman Pat. It is. Sassy. Oh, that's like a little. Oh, it says Silver Tabby. Princess. Hello, Princess. 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 
Got some more food for you, princess. I got some more food. Oh. Oh, it's a little Jack Russell, I think. It looks well. All They're all these just dogs. the same model. Yeah. That's a bear. That's definitely Let's get just a, bear. a little grizzly bear. Bear, bear, It's supposed bear, to be a Labrador, bear. that. Look at its face. It looks nothing like one. We've got a Collie. That's just a golden bear. That's called Brittany, the breed. Maggie, Brittany. <laughs> That's a golden retriever, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a gummy bear. Here's some, uh, here's some of the things you can expect to do in this game, Peter. Yeah, I'm going to buy a bear. Attend the Stylesville Music Academy to learn the hottest brat songs to perform in fashion shows. Mm -hmm. Enhanced pet features. Swap pets at any time. Find out your Great. pet's mood and collect different pet palaces for your pampered pet to live in. Oh, I've just realized this, I, I was just making an observation that it looks like a bear, like a bear cub. Its name is Bear. Yeah. I didn't realize that at the time. Oh, okay. But I can see why they called it that. Yay! Oh my God, was that the dog or was that the person? <laughs> you can practice pet posing at the practice He's got some bed. weird movement to him, hasn't he? He doesn't. I'd better learn how to make my own pet treats. Yeah, standard procedure when you buy a pet. Learn how to make dentist sticks. Talk to shop assistant. <laughs> Hello, sir. Woof. I'm interested in purchasing a cat. Woof. Woof. What happens in the practice pen then? Oh, Christ. It's a really bad what? QTE rhythm action game. It's not even a rhythm action game. Shake hand. Was that, was that it? Triangle, circle, triangle. Spin. Circle, circle. Lie down. What happens if I fail? He explodes. <laughs> oh, she's still happy she's about still it. She's still really pleased. Still thrilled. It's fine. Oh, there's the dog. Oh. I think now that you've got an animated thing following you, the game is absolutely screwed. What happens if I put my skates on? Put your skates on. See if the dog gets skates. Ah, oh, yeah. Maybe it'll just disappear. Maybe you can lose it. See you later, idiot. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, there's the dog just sprinting after you. Okay, I probably need to be... Kobe! What's in there? The Galleria. Oh! Treat? Drinking this water could give me dehydration and Galleria. Oh, Claire's? That, that might be treats on the left. That's then. an actual branded it is. product placement by Claire's Maybe there. they have some sort of partnership with Bratz. Hi. Oh, <laughs> that's horrible! <laughs> <laughs> this area is the worst. Because this wasn't on Wikipedia, my science facts are somewhat limited. Mm -hmm. uh, let's turn now to Amazon. I've got some user reviews we can do in a second. Okay. Uh, but I've also got, what kind of media do you reckon Amazon defines this as? Well, surely a, a video game, or am I thinking of the wrong? No, you're right. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, uh, that's a good fact there. There we go. Yeah. Amazon describes this media as video game. I think they might be wrong there. Okay, so oh. I have to choose the right three ingredients to make some pet treats. Oh, some lovely corn, yeah. egg, and... Ch Ch what's that one in the middle at the bottom? Kebab. What is it? Now I guess I just select try to see if I got it right. No, but hey, those two stars on the right of the screen show that two of the ingredients are correct. Two? So on the right track. Egg and meat? I thought I had it that time. Okay, so it's probably egg and egg and whatever that mystery boned meat in the middle is, because that's clearly chicken. Ooh, I I oh, what? so it's not. So it's that. It's the corn. And our meat. Gotta keep trying. Oh wait, no. Hang on. So corn, egg, and kebab meat, two of those are right, then I don't understand what that meat is. Because there's chicken, there's there's clearly pork. There we go. I worked it out. It's just got a bone in it. What is it? What meat is that? Mystery meat. I think it might be her previous pet. <laughs> That's sprinkles. Yeah. That was sprinkles. Oh, we won 10 blings and five treats. Oh. Some nice eggy, corny treats. Flipping brilliant. Hamdan gave this five stars, with the subtitle of the review being good and the body of the review saying, it's new and working will. 
It's new and working, Will. Is it comma and then uppercase W? No, nope. Will, it's new and working. Nope, just it's new and working, Will. Press square for pet obedience. Cool. <laughs> I should go meet up with him for cheerleading practice. Of course. Cheerleading practice. We've been shopping. Let's head back to the office. Okay. Can we just... Ah. Oh, you can fast okay. travel to the brat's office. Thank goodness. Oh. What? Oh, so we don't get to do the cheerleading, do we? Is this from the TV show? This is serious. I just had a Mondo argument with my parents. Mondo? If I don't keep up my B average, I have to quit the magazine. I don't understand this language. What language are they speaking? 2000 and something. C in chemistry, and it's pulled my average down to a B minus. No! Oh my god! The equation is simple. Favorite subject plus cushy teacher equals easy A. Fashion and design? You guys could teach that class. What is that school? noise? <laughs> yeah, why is there a fountain in the school? Angel Renee Rain. Yeah. Gave it five stars. Subtitle? I love it. Body of the text? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> they they realized halfway through their review that actually it's not that good. Actually I just I can't <laughs> It's I, okay. I just I think it's alright. Yeah, it's still happening. Oh! Hang on. This is twice as fast as the slow one because only two people on the screen instead of four. I see an arm on the right. Do the maths. <laughs> Can I skip this? Oh, it's suddenly f full speed. Oh. And the water's gone. Water's gone. Reminds me of um, that Judge Judy clip where it's at half speed. The toilet broke. Cost me six hundred and fifty dollars to put in a new toilet. You've seen the Kermit clip as well. Yeah, with the cookie monster. Not an orange. I, I want a <laughs> cookie. Okay, the second clue. There's a floppy uh, disk. Save game progress. Oh, you've got three save files. That's generous. Levida Smith is in Living Levida Loca. Yeah. One star. Oh, one star. Not working good, says Inside the subtitle. Out. No. I bought this game used for you, daughter. We lost it is a fire a day. She loved playing this game. The game started to play and then stop it freezes and, and sticks and she can't play. I bought it from Johnny's world. <laughs> Johnny, you let us down. Wait. I bought this game used for you, daughter. We lost it is a fire a day. She loved playing this game. The game started to play and then stop. It freezes and, and sticks and she can't play. I think they're freezing and sticking, aren't they? Are they saying that they bought a replacement version of an old game that their daughter used to love, but it was lost in a fire? I think that's what they're trying to say. It was lost in a fire, so along with her any... ability to <laughs> speak, <laughs> communicate. She inhaled a lot of smoke. Yeah. Uh, and then they bought a new one from Johnny's World. Yeah, presumably an Amazon seller. But it was, it's broken. It's brocked. Not working good. One star. Yeah. Living La Vida Smith. This is kind of like... Let's head there and get our boy stripped down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head there and get our boy stripped down. When do you get to play show. music? That's what I want to know. Because you do actually get to design fashion and play songs, but I don't know... Yeah. I don't know when that is. We're just getting the pet part out of the way, yeah, it seems. Yeah, I think we should get the reviews out of the way so we can just end this immediately. There are two reviews on Metacritic. Okay. Two. The average is what? Um, based on two reviews, the average is 51%. Very close. It's 49%. Okay. The, the Brexit numbers. Definitely worse than most. Yeah, the Brexit numbers, sure. Yeah. Game Zone is the highest review score. I'm going to read you the... the the sort of snippet, and then you've got to tell me the score. Okay. I gave it, okay. Snippet. Game Zone said accessible interface allows younger players to pick up and play. The game does seem to lack a lot of diversity, and save points can be a problem in that you have to accomplish certain tasks before you have access to the save point. I thought you meant social diversity from no. there, and I was actually thinking like, well, that, no, actually, that's one thing. This it's quite game's... diverse. Yeah, I think they're talking about any, literally play. having anything to do. Yeah. What score did they give it out of 100? Based on that, I bet they were still stupidly generous and gave it like 60. 
Bang on! Oh, yeah. 60. Nice. Game Zone gave it 60. The lowest review score is IGN. Right. Parents and fans should know that the biggest issue with the game is not its lackluster gameplay or ho-hum graphics and sound. It's the negative message sent to young girls, which seems to be that it's better to coast through life rather than working hard. You tell them, IGN. 38%. You tell them. Did you do the math? I did the math in my head, head it's yeah. 38%. It is 38%. But I also have two. One. I also didn't put the second user review in. There are only two user reviews on Metacritic as oh. well. Uh, Natalie B. I think this is the lowest review. Sometimes Natalie B like that. Natalie do be like that. Yeah. I have recently purchased this game for my five-year-old. It claims it is all ages. It involves reading, and a five-year-old cannot read yet. Therefore, not all ages. <laughs> she is brats crazy, but this game fails to keep her enthralled. <laughs> Frustrated, maybe. The only thing she has so far found exciting is the fact that you can buy a pet. It is so boring, it takes you ages to be allowed in any part of the game. It is a si <laughs> it, it is a silly, narrow-minded, and badly formulated game. Jeez. 20 out of 100. Yeah? There we go. That's all my reviews. The camera is so unresponsive. I'm trying to get a nice close-up of this woman's face for... Oh, she keeps turning, though. For the th for the thumbnail or something, but the thumbnail. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll use a cutscene thing. Uh, this this is like I mean for emulator reasons mostly, but also because of the terrible design. This is kind of unplayable. So I think I'm already done. If if we're done of uh, with with uh, science facts are done. Science facts. I mean, where where am I going now? I don't know. I wasn't listening. If it tells me where I'm going, I'll planner. Check out the sweet new Magic Flare pet clothing available at Meow. Oh, I'm going back to flipping Meow and Rob. Yeah! Right, let's go and dress up our dog like an idiot. And yeah, then, like an idiot. And then we're done. Enter pet dressing room. Magic Flare. Looks like that's the only option we've got. T-shirt. Spotted shirt. Oh. Yeah. Oh, stop! Buy it all. Can't even see it. Now let's finish it off with something for our boy's fuzzy little head. Hats, hats, hats. Black and orange goggles. Oh, they're not over his eyes. I'm wearing them. Is that an actual hat? <laughs> Great. <laughs> an orange striped visor to keep the sun out of your, your bear's eyes. Yes. You don't want to make the bear angry. Oh my gosh. You look oh my so gosh. Fit. Let's go, boy. Oh, that voice is really irritating. Here he is. I have sun. Woof woof, he's not even looking at you anymore. Can I get the camera through a wall or into my face or something? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yes, I can. Did it. Motherhood of pink. Pink, pinker, pinkest. Good, the end. So sorry. You know what? That's where the video starts. Yeah. It's on the floor, but it's on the floor, but you know what? We can't be bothered to stand up. Welcome everybody to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember, they're not always bad. They're just worse than most. Just realized well, I forgot to say that last time. Did you? Yeah. Not, not always bad. It sort of changes. The line sort of changes though, doesn't it? It does. They're not always wor worse than, they're not always the worst game ever. Sometimes they're just worse than most. Yeah. It varies. Well, because some, because I think most of them are bad. So that's why I don't say they're not always bad. Right. I just say they're not always the worst game ever. But say what you like. Say what you like. You can judge for yourself. And as we go through, everyone's entitled to their own sexual proclivities. So we ain't spending any time on it, of course. Uh, because, no. Uh, every six weeks, a, a saltwater crocodile in South Queensland gets married to another male saltwater crocodile. And I think that's disgusting. We are, of course, referring to kind of an asshole. Uh, political person. Australian politician. Yeah. To be. Yeah. He, I think he was running for something. Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, the point we're trying to make is that these games are not always the worst games ever, but they are at the very least worse than most. Mm. Will this week be a stinker? Who's to say? I will find out firsthand as the game's victim. Which means that you have to play a game that I, as the Games Master, comma,
have brought in for you to play. Can you tell what it is? I'm legally blind. It's Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> Sorry? It's Scooby Dooby Doo. Uh, and Inspector the Cyber Chase. Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Uh, Yabba Dabba Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo, right. Inspector Gadget. Can't oh, wait. I think I've actually played this a long, 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 long time ago. It's I think a, I played a little bit of this. Very highly selling game, if that is a what phrase. Does that, what does that mean? It's a highly selling game. It's popular, is what you mean. Yeah. Sales wise, it, it might not be popular quality wise, but it, it green on the front. Oh, you're gonna have a field day with that, aren't you? With the green, it's not gonna bother. No, it's just gonna, gonna disappear, it's just gonna have blue coming through it. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, it's usually green. Well, maybe I'll, I don't know. No, well, now that it's there, maybe you can put a thing over it, and yeah. it'll be all right. Put a mask over it, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Whoop. Remember THQ? I do. We played their game last time, we did. Thick boys. Is this copyrighted? Should we find out if it's copyrighted? Yeah. You ready? Mm hmm. I want to get a Scooby Dooby Doo loop. I want to get a Scooby Dooby loop. Yeah. Yeah, we're Sorry, on the bridge no. now. I love the Beatles. Yeah, me too. Yeah, all of them. Paul, George, Buzz Aldrin. Be do be do be do be do be do be do. Yeah, Ringo, Shaggy, Fred. Yeah. Michael, uh, Michael Keaton, um, uh, Big Bird, George Osborne. Yeah. Off of the Conservatives. Yeah. And uh, Dung Beetle, the Dung Beetle. Yeah, just a Dung Beetle. Yeah. Or the Dung Beetle. The. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I've had my fun with that. Yeah, you have. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's press start button. I'm gonna get my... Brilliant. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama say knock you out. Mama say mama sa mama kusa. Is that what it says? Something like that, yeah. Man, I always thought it said Microsoft. <laughs> you ready for a new game? Yeah. No. Well, not. Yet. No, I'm not actually. No. No. Are you ready for a new game? Yeah. You are. They are. Just doing it now. Just counting down. Yeah. Just counting down the days until we're allowed to start. Go. <laughs> Scooby Doo in the Cyber Chase is a Scooby Doo video game based on the Warner Brothers film Scooby Doo. <laughs> we're the stars of our very own video game. And the Cyber Chase. Oh, yeah. Uh, groovy. <laughs> it's not even Scooby Doo, is it? Oh my god. What? <laughs> I've spread my evil virus all over oh. this game. You'll never get They're fighting some kind of sperm monster. Yeah, look. Right, monsters. It doesn't right. even sound like Scooby, does monsters. it? It doesn't sound like Shaggy either. I say we make like a tree and leave. Is that him? Hey guys. You'll find out. You all right. My handheld wireless communication system is going berserk. <laughs> Her iPhone. <laughs> Look at it, she's holding a block of plastic. My handheld wireless communication device. The sound of that. Rare. Rhyrus. Sorry, I just ha couldn't. Rare. Rhyrus. I just had to do a little skip there. Uh, the game was developed by Art Co. Limited and published by THQ for PlayStation. Yeah, I know. I know. Scooby runs for a bit and then he catches up. And Shaggy just has the worst posture of anyone in human history. It's like grandma's coming for your satsumas. Get him! When do I get the gun in this one? That's Japan. Uh, published by Italia. THQ for PS1 and Game Boy Advance in 2001. I think the fact already came up a long time ago, but oh. just finishing my sentence there. Um, Future. Pyramid. Pyramid. Happy New Year. Circus. Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. Brilliant. Looks like we're going to classic Japan. Classic, classic Japan. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Although you won't believe what Japan just did on the train. <gasps> he left Shaggy behind. Japan got absolutely rat assed and uh, stuck his bottom out of the window. <laughs> classic Japan! Classic Japan! <laughs> you are Scooby Doo. That's me. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought he was dancing. Are we he's tired? Oh, he's throwing custard pies. 
Oh. oh God, leave me alone. There's just little dog poos there. Eat them. Are those Scooby Snacks? No. Yeah, they're Scooby Snacks. Is it gonna, what's it trying to tell me? Like the buttons, because I don't know how to answer that phone. I haven't <laughs> been told that. Stop. Hello, do you want to go bowling? No. Cousin, let's go bowling. This is, uh, of course, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice 2019. Mm. Oh, feet work. Oh. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's helpful for a child, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, like, the depth. Fred, Daphne, and Velma help Scooby and Shaggy to overcome obstacles by giving them constant important <laughs> game-playing moves. Brilliant. And tips. They're not wrong. Via <laughs> Velma's handheld communication device. Look at these ninjas. What? That's not a ninja. It's just a man in a suit. It's a dead man in a suit. Yeah. You remember in, a, in classic Japan, oh, for God's sake, classic Japan where, mm. they, uh, where they had pies. Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh my god. Do you remember in Scooby-Doo when Scooby used to actually get physically harmed by, by the baddies? By shurikens. Yeah, he used to get shurikens thrown at him. Now, breaking these boxes, um, you know, traveling through time, yeah. Uh, a walk room by which to get to different levels. Yeah. Um, a female companion who is a tech expert standing by the save and load screen. Mm -hmm. This game is a massive ripoff of the Crash Bandicoot series. Is it? Uh, is that one of your own was, personal notes? No, no, it was something that was commented on by a lot of critics. And mm. I think it even says it in the Wikipedia page, actually. Look at these guys. God. Put your, put your nips away. Put them away, guys. No one wants to see that. Yeah. Oh God, it's, you, you're right. Because I think I just got an extra life yeah. by getting a hundred Scooby Snacks. Mm -hmm. Which means, as far as I'm concerned, it's pointless collecting Scooby Snacks. Yeah. Because I don't care. The amount of effort that has gone into this game is astonishing. There's no intelligent pathing on those enemies. They just go up and down, punching the air, saying... <laughs> it's so tinny as well. Just top up these one at a time! Oh, look at his elbow. Do that again. Yeah. Oh. That's not right, is it? No. Stop talking to me! Let me just die here forever and get annoyed. Does he have a glide function? Oh, he has a double jump. I mean... You mean a triple jump? I do mean the triple yeah. jump, yeah. The game consists of seven stages and 20, oh. 21 left. Whoa! What are they doing?! No sumo wrestler has ever done a flip. Now we're playing Sekiro. Look at their eyes. I think it's slightly, slightly problematic, actually. Rubbish. I could be a sumo champion. Yeah? Quite clearly, yeah. Or by doing a flip? By doing all the flips. I'm very uh, good flip. Is this the... That's the... It's a box of Scooby. Brilliant. The sound is dreadful. <laughs> the game consists of seven stages and 21 levels in which the player aims to defeat the Phantom Virus, a computer virus which has been terrorizing video games. <laughs> or just all of them. Not home yet. Not home yet. Oh, we're going right. Oh, wow. No, we're not. Yeah. We're still going forwards. Oh. Not today. I played Dark Souls. I think the guy with the what katana is, is like some sort of super rad like neckbeard who, you yeah. know, while we were at our, our prom prom nights yep. and, um, you know, Frat party. kissing on the back row of the cinema, Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was studying the blade. I mean, almost certainly he was studying the blade. Have you seen this guy? Yeah. Oh, we're going right. You've seen that one, uh, that video, the news coverage they did of uh, that guy who got a katana out on the train when there was a fight. And they're interviewing him afterwards, and he's a proper. You can tell he just really loves Starcraft and stuff. Okay, he's and, one of those, yeah. And Avatar, yeah. And uh, Avatar. Yeah, and he says like. I was in the yeah, yeah, anime. Airbender, no. yeah. And he says like, I had like a, a four-step plan to uh, take out everyone on the train if, if, if it came to it. And uh, it's folded, tempered, and it does its job. Just describes in detail how he was going to cut someone right open and stuff. Fantastic. As though he's a hero. Drop the sword down and then completely cut it, completely gape, gape him open. No, I haven't seen that. 
Oh, oh, okay. How was I meant to know that that was a drop? It <laughs> just, just looked like black carpet. <laughs> it just ninja like carpet. A bit of floor. Yeah. Excuse you. Ooh. Oh, look out for the fire, fire ninja. Fire ninjas, of course. Checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just like the flip. The PS1 flipper hands. Yeah. That just come to a point. Look at how big his feet are. They're the he's size got of his of head. But teeth. That guy. Oh no, please not. It looks like he's got two sort of pointy incisors. Oh, it's difficult to see. Oh no, he might. I think he does. Oh, Scooby Doo, no. <laughs> that was not okay in any, at any no, point. No, it was in 2000. Yeah. What weapon is that, by the way? We've just sort of accepted know. it so far. I don't know. But it's a scythe on the end of a. Flail. He doesn't even throw that. It's the flail that he throws. Yeah. I haven't killed us. This is a no. Made it. No kill run. Yeah, pacifist run. Do I have to kill this guy? No, I don't. I just get to dance <laughs> on his precious Scooby Snake. <laughs> He's just gonna watch. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, the movie, mm -hmm. is a 2001 direct to video animated comic science fiction mystery film. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the fourth in a series of direct to video animated films based on the Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo Saturday morning cartoons. Oh, okay, okay. A lot of words in that sentence. Yeah. Despite having a lack of critical consensus and reviews. Right. The film has a 60% approval on Rotten Tomatoes. Looks like you've detected one of the. Phantom Virus's main bosses. You'll need to pay attention to the war. So this is Sekiro now. The only way to defeat him, avoid his attacks until. And throw a pie at him. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bloody hell! How was I going to react to that? Yeah. Now get him. Chance. Chance one. <laughs> so I think you stand in front of him, but far away, like on his on his row, and then the fire, and then you dodge. We've got it. We've worked it out. Get him, Scoob. What? Oh, it's uh, the, the the aiming thing was off the screen. I'll just yeah. throw that at you. Oh, chance. <laughs> oh Christ! The aiming thing's so weird. Yeah. What are you doing? What? I've got no pies. Fresh pie. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like the. I think that pie was old. Oh no! He's got a new attack. I don't like this one. <laughs> That's a scary yeah. one. Chance one. Why is he shaking like that? That's actually an. Oh no. Oh, I've got several pies. It's actually an. Oh, exc gonna hit. <laughs> gone. It's actually an exclamation point. That exclamation mark. Chance one. Oh, he's killed me. He killed Scooby Doo. Oh, Scooby. <laughs> oh, come on, game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just vanishes. The game features the actual voice cast from the movie. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's a lie. And not just from the movie, but Frank Velker, who has voiced Fred since the very start of the Scooby-Doo franchise. Mm. This is the actual Fred. It also includes um, Grey De Delisle, who plays Vicky in Fairly Odd Parents, and Catwoman in the Arkham games. What's her name? Grey Delisle. Grey Delisle is Catwoman in the Arkham games. Is that a jetpack or two valves? I think it's just his eyes. Groovy. A chance to he's been hitting that. Oh, he's been hitting that backy. Yeah. That wha that wackle backle. That Mary Jane. Brilliant. Actual platforming. What is that thing in the background? Is it? <laughs> is it a it's like a, It's like a book cake. Oh yeah, you remember Rome? Yeah. <laughs> You've been to Rome before? The famous Colosseum in Rome. Famous for its oh. for being wet, really. This bit just reminds me of the Star Wars Episode 1 <laughs> game. Oh, it is reason. like that, isn't it? Yeah. With the bad camera angle and the weird platforming. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way to tell where you are! Uh, He's got a tiny little shadow. Mm. The jumping's not great anyway, because it's very easy to jump too far. So you un <laughs> Yay! Yay! So you uh, you overcorrect mm -hmm. quite easily. Oh, oh god. Oh. oh. I went through it! Am I gonna get a game over? Possibly. <laughs> that would be a mercy, wouldn't it? Yeah. What's going on here? Branching paths. No. 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 Why did they make that open? The illusion of choice. 
The PlayStation version, this is before we get to reviews, I've got just a couple of general comments about its reception. Yeah. The PlayStation version of Cyber Chase received a Platinum Sales Award from the Entertainment and... L yes! Ah, oh, I hate it, I hate this. This is so much worse. From the Entertainment Leisure Software Publishers Association, ELSPA. ELSPA. Including sales of at least 300,000 copies in the United Kingdom. Wow, it's a lot. Well, I played it in the United Kingdom. Yes! That's what I was afraid of. Additionally, while we're on the subject of this game's accolades, in 2010, Steven Jackson of Retro Gamer... <laughs> he keeps clearing them now! <laughs> yeah. ...called the game, uh, called the PlayStation version, one of the best Scooby-Doo games ever. <laughs> Every Scooby-Doo game ranked from worst to best. Despite similarities with the PlayStation game Crash Bandicoot. I mean, it is, it's just as good as Crash, let's face it. Clearly. Remember when Crash used to shout, YAY! Every time he fell. <laughs> the, the angles here aren't the angle that he no. runs diagonally at, so it's really... <laughs> oh! Piss off with oh, that! Oh, slidey! <laughs> Don't call me now! <laughs> Shaggy? Oh, what's up, careful, son? Jackson. Here you go, guys. Oh! It's stressful now, isn't it? These are mostly just stationary platforms, though. So, like, the fact that they've just dressed some of them up as columns and some of them up as arches is purely so they're not all identical. Yeah. Oh, it's this... Okay, good. All right, now we're going up again. The, the atmosphere is electric. It's really intense. <laughs> it's a checkpoint. I need three more for... for a life. Just walk through, I guess. Oh, bloody hell, my guys. How is this vaguely Rome related? <laughs> These are just sort of generic barbarians. Fighting in a place that has some stone arches in it and columns. What do you think this game scored on Metacritic based on three reviews? I think it scored... 54. Oh, you're close. It was 51% average. <laughs> ah, that seems about right. The highest score came from PSX Nation. We know that one. Yeah. What do you think they gave this game? 75. Lower. 70. Lower. 60. Correct. Uh, First try. They said, for wealthy collectors of Scooby-Doo memorabilia or very small children that have yet to be exposed to a Crash Bandicoot caliber game. Uh, oh, that's it. That is the full stop. Oh, that's who it's for. That's who it's for. It's Crash Bandicoot Caliber, according to PSX Nation. We know that one. We don't. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> oh. The changing camera angle! That's uh. it. I'm in the groove now. He <laughs> was talking. It cut him off. Oh, wow, what a game over screen. <laughs> It doesn't sound like Shaggy, does it? It doesn't. But it is the guy from the film. It doesn't. Maybe it's just because it's hideously compressed. Yeah, hideously Kojima. The lowest score... Oh, I'm back here. ...came from official US PlayStation magazine who said, Talk about sloppy control and poor level design. <laughs> what did they give it? They gave it... 30. 40. Oh, oh that's high! It is high. And finally... I've got a user review here from how underscore r underscore u, but it's just the letter u. I'm pretty angry. Yeah? Currently, yeah. They liked the game. What did they give it out of 10? 10. 10. <laughs> and said, Considering it's made for children, this Scooby-Doo game is incredibly hard. I made it fairly far through the game, and the gameplay is a cross of stealth, speed, and platforming. Stealth? And then in brackets it says, so basically a cross of Metal Gear Solid, no! Sonic, and Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god! All mashed up into one Great Dane dog-shaped ball. I want to throw that on the floor, but because of the plastic it's made out of, it'll shatter. It's just, it just works on so many levels, <laughs> it says. Really great gameplay, and only takes up a small portion of your memory card. Oh, great! That's like always ten a plus point. out of ten. This is a perfect game. Oh my god! And a game over doesn't even mean game over. It just means go back to the start of the level. Yeah, which is not doesn't seem right. Really. No, it's a bit weird. I'm not sure that's right. No, me neither. Okay, well, bleep. do you want to have a go? Yeah. Okay. Let me just do a little experiment here. There you go. I feel like I might be able to. 
What are you doing? I want to give Shaggy a, a big... Big Wilson? A big Wilson. You can ride Scooby-Doo, look, if you face the... <laughs> sort of. That looks a bit wrong. Yeah, I mean, none of it looks right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Scooby just turns on a dime. <laughs> anyway, I'll yeah. have a quick go. Go on. See how dire this is. Have some fun, have some fun, have some fun, have some fun. You're a seasoned crash to coot. Crash bandicooter, yeah. Scoop, scoop, it's time for a little scoop and poop. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, yep, you're right. Yay! Come on. Yes! Nice. Yay! Yay! Mew, mew. Shaggy Doo, he's coming for you. Yay! No time. Gotta go fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a cross between Sonic, Crash, and Metal Me Gear Solid, isn't it? So Just like Metal Gear Solid. When I see this, I think uh, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Was it Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase? A Hideo Kojima game. Oh! Yay! I crash bandicooted it and tried to bounce off the vase like a, like a. Oh, you wanted that extra jump. An overly expectant idiot. I gave this game far too much credit. You're not going to bounce on a vase. No. You're going to bounce on the immovable object that is. Scooby Why wouldn't it break? Vase. How do I? B in the air. Oh, I see. There you go. Okay. You got a pie. Oh, what? Why, Why did it? All... That was weird. It's a mixture of stealth, speed, and platforming. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Oh no. Can I power slam on this? You just go off screen. Incomplete silence, please. Oh, you had 69. Oh, nice. Go on, son. It's just really unresponsive and clinky clunky. Crap. Isn't it? yeah. It's crap, is what it is. That's it. Oh. <sighs> I did like a full Yay! double jump there, but just because I didn't jump from the edge. Right, I've got one life left. It's technically two. Yeah. You'll be all right. You've got a lot of health in this game, though, for a 3D platformer. Yeah. You get like five hits. It's quite generous. But for most most of the time, you just fall off uh, a pit. Got him. Hit him Yay! right in the shin. Yay! Or shin hit. I'm sorry? Or shortened to... Schnit. Schnit. Yes. Okay. Whip, whip. Oh, come on. Sometimes they're accurate and sometimes they are not. Okay, you got this. You can jump straight across that one as well. Yes. Check Blim. Blim. That's where. That is literally is. where I got my game He was game still over. saying friends, Romans, England or something. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Worst mm. Games mm -hmm. Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. My name is not Billy Ray Walrus, my name is Peter. And my name is Dick. No, it's not. Nearly, though. <laughs> <laughs> and no, my name's Ben. Uh, things look a little odd, don't they? they do. Things look strange. Yeah, it's not right. Um, we, Ben and I are recording remotely. Uh, it's, it's a strange time we're still living in, and we're still going to be living in for an indefinite period of time. But Worst Games Ever must go on. Yes, the show must go on. And with that... Can do spirit in mind. Peter, what are you? I am today's victim. Ben, what are you? That means that I must be some kind of games master. Oh. oh. Wonderful, which means that you have brought a game along virtually yeah. over the power of the internet for me to play. Uh, a bad game that was sent in by, probably sent in by one of our viewers. Yeah, it, it actually literally was. And that game is virtually revealed right now out of nowhere, possibly in JPEG form. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End for the PlayStation 2. 
Oh, a world's well end for the PlayStation 2. Wow, yeah. look at that. L oh, look at that's it. one of one of the Pirates films that wasn't the first one. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look, it's doing flips. Whoa. Cry oh, me. Don't, Cry don't make like, me. Whoa, please. look at all the fireworks going off. And a dragon? Oh. No way. <laughs> <A> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Uh, I've got my science facts. Should we play? Please, yes. Oh. Oh, so twinkly. So premium. So it's really shiny. Oh, you're a comic. That's not as much fun. It's not. It. But they, they made Crash Bash, you know, when... <gasps> Spoilers! What? Oh, oh, okay. I mean, oh, oh. maybe they didn't. What do I know? It, it's entirely possible that someone named Fluoroblom made it instead. Right. Yeah, well, definitely. Oh, here we yeah. are. There's that big boat. It's a big boat. It's a good Look theme. It's a good music theme. It's just a shame that they carried on making them, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. They should have stopped yeah. on one. I wonder if this music's going to get copyright struck. Oh. So we might be instead listening to some kind of recorder cover. It's, yeah, of you're right. The Caribbean theme. That's possible. Uh, new game. You got any famous faces there on the ship? Can we see anyone? Uh, no, I think it's completely unmanned. It's like a ghost ship. Oh, okay. Well, that's oh, no, fine. There's Jack. Jack's at the wheel, at the helm. Is he? He is. There he is. Look. Jack's at the boat. The boat wheel. He is at the boat wheel. There he, he is. is. Do a do a sick spin, my dude. <laughs> Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. Do you think I should turn the music off then, just for safety? Or it might be. Mm, yeah, it might be easier, mightn't it? It'd just be a bit sort of quiet and desolate. <laughs> Ominous, almost. Yeah. Now it's just oh, it the is. Sound it's of... way more ominous. It's really, really ominous now. Can you back all the way up to the? Can you back it up, Terry, all the way up? I can just go to this. It's creepy, isn't it? Yeah. It's really weird. We could add all kinds of music. We could add some spooky music in the post. We could add the love boat theme. We could. We could add like happy, joyful music. There's now going to be knowing. Maybe I should. I'll just pop the music back on for now. Or, okay. Um, I mean, in the edit, it will. You won't be able to hear it, but because uh, when we get into the actual game, it might be sort of non-movie tracks. Do you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. yeah it might be. Yeah. It might all be music, movie tracks. It might all be music. Yeah. We'll find out. Who's Who's to say? Who's to right. Say. Uh, subtitles are on. Good. Fantastic. Would you like your first science fact? Yeah. Why not? Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End is a video game based on the Pirates of the Caribbean films Dead Man's Chest and At World's End, oh. developed by Eurocom and published by Buena Vista Games for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, PSP, Nintendo DS and the Wii. It was released on the 22nd of May 2007. Wonderful. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, not me. Game progress. Look at us. Look at, hey. Treasure. Oh Look no, this. I've gone oh, into Treasure they... Cove. Oh, what's Treasure Cove? I don't know. Beep, whoop. No idea. <laughs> oh great! Looks like it's already pretty full. Yeah. Look, it's it's Isla de, de Muerta or whatever it was from. The... Yes. Oh, look at all this. Oh, that's a lot There's of collectibles. Loads. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. I don't. Back it up, Terry. Put it in <sighs> reverse, Terry. Ter Terror. Put it in reverse. Uh, story mode. New story. Looks like that's our only option. Mm. Oh, Prison, Prison Fortress. Fortress. I love this place. I can't wait for, yes, the cutscene, the inevitable <laughs> cutscene. Through your own hanging, Jack. I'll just assume they'd wake me. There's only one hour before daylight, Jack. One hour to escape. The Who the hell is this? News. I don't know. Escape. Oh. My favorite oh. 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 Always. I don't. My He's lead. upsetting. He is. Oh my god! That was a pretty sick trick there, actually. He's done the mad stunts on his pedal sword. Go and ask. I, I know that Jack is meant to be a little bit wobbly, Mr. Wobbly Man. Yes. But that was too wobbly for me. I have a lot of questions about the security in this prison as well. Yeah, we've how had did no this context, and he's got a sword, and he's out. Not without my effects. Oh, press R1 to use an item. Is that a roast chicken on the floor there? I think it might be. Is this Streets of Rage? Oh, it even made a video game noise. It yes, actually, you do. You have our chicken. It is our chicken. Is it a weapon? And you got though? that from a box. R1 to use an item. 
I can't press it. I think it's health. I think when he gets it's hurt, gotta be. he just chows down on an entire roast chicken. That's that video game logic at work again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Look think... at these dynamic camera angles. Do you think he's going to go all skeletony in the moonlight? Has he not given the coin back? No. Oh, two chickens. Two chickens. Oh, there's some friends. Hey, you. Oh, oh no, I tried to kill him and I, oh. I skipped it. Oh no, now you're fighting other pirates? Maybe? Yeah. Are you crazy to think you can battle me? Uh, you're crazy. Uh, do you think you can battle me? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, the master of swords. Slightly strange verb there, but press circle to grab an enemy. <laughs> press what? circle to battle me. Oh, it, you think it would tell me one of these, let me do it, and then tell me the next one, but I'm having to remember all this. No, here's all the controls. Yeah. You behave here or I will... <laughs> or you'll what? No blood, cowards. This doesn't sound yeah. like... Oh. oh, nice. Oh, do you know what? This is all right. This feels okay. Let's come back. God, it's so much happening. Scurvy knave I got. I'm a scurvy knave now. Good stuff. Is that good? Is that good in pirate speak or is that bad? I think it means you need to eat more oranges or limes. Yeah. You need to take limes on board. Very nice footwork there, mate. Very nice. There's a rope over there that'll get you up on the platform above. Oof. Then it's easy to get you across the chasm. Chasm. Best of luck, stranger. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fun. Oh, hello. What? It opened before. What? I feel like that is it be... a barrel in the floor? What is that? I think that's like a lever thing, but that would be very bad for the sword to stick it in there and yeah. yank on it like that. This doesn't. None of this seems right. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! It's all. It's like it's like Uncharted, isn't it? it this is. It's Uncharted meets Dark Souls in <laughs> yeah. the the crossover that we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ready to see me definitely misuse my sword again. Ooh. Hi, some of these oh, stupid the same man. <laughs> How did he get up there? Dueling, just Crack hands. To block and wait for Hi. A good moment Hi. To <laughs> that voice acting really puts the willies up me. Oh, bad for the sword. Thanks, mate. Oh, oh he's out. You they all out. look the same. That's not racist. Oh. No, they're all pirates, look. This is what pirates look like. Whoa! Wow. Who's that guy on the right? I don't know. I've no I I don't want to know. Press and hold L1 it's, to defend. It's time to battle him. Are we in Rome? What? Are these leftover assets from Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase where they forgot what Romans look I, I like think... <laughs> and actually all the models ended up in this game? This guy looks rad from the waist up, but he's also wearing a dress. Right. I mean, it's a tactical battle dress. He could have, like, 12 legs under there that he's ready to kick you with. Yeah, you're right. Oh, congrats, you got three chickens, by the way. Wastrel. I want to use a chicken. What oh, yeah, happens just if ate... you eat chicken? I ate one oh. just then. Did he do a little gulp noise? It sort, of, it sort of munched. It was a kind of... That kind of noise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he kicked you in the knackers. Eat chicken. Oh, I, I, I distracted him then. Did you see? I pointed over his shoulder I, and he I looked... I did! God, that guy's tough. Oh, he's dropped a chicken. Oh, he dropped a chicken. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. I ain't spending any time on it. Someone told me that. Oh my God, it's the same guy. It is. How does he keep getting locked up? <laughs> That's the worst pirate I've ever seen. It seems a shame to be locked up like that. If you know what I mean. Someone told me. Just no. Even. S Maybe it's his twin brother. Yeah. <laughs> this guy even sounds like Dark Souls NPCs. Yeah. I'm just waiting for him to go <laughs> oh, no. at the end of his dialogue, and and then that would be it. And then he'd send you, it not send you, he'd sell you throwing daggers and useless items like that. Can I can I shoot this man? Oh, god. oh my god! <laughs> okay, Google, how how do you reload the gun? <laughs> you only get one shot. Remember? That's it. Carry it round. So make it count. All your life, yeah. Eurocom was a British video game developer founded in October 1988. Ooh. They developed Duke Nukem 64, Dead Space Extraction for the Wii, and Crash Bash for the PlayStation 1. <laughs> yes, they did. I remember. I remember that one. While you were reading that, I was having fun with this chain physics. Look at this. Were you studying the blade while I was, I was studying the that. chain? Wow, that is fun, isn't it? Probably the best chain physics I've ever seen. We don't torture. Oh my god, I just shot him. Oh my... 
We don't torture. <laughs> that was like Indiana Jones. The only rule is what a man can do and what a man can't do. Uh, uh, it is like Indiana Jones, yeah. There's some distant screaming. I don't know if it's coming through on your end, but occasionally. They know Jack's coming, that's why. We don't torture here. Whoa! Oh my god, what an what a crazy action adventure that it you're is. on right now. It Time really to open is. another door. Yeah, this music is absolutely not done by the same guy. I just love the visual of Captain Jack Sparrow slowly jogging around with his sword. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Eat a chicken. Oh, oh my god. He dropped a chicken. It's like Tekken. Chicken. It's just like Tekken. Yeah. Soon I cut you into food. I cut you into food. I cut you into poo. Jack's gonna die. Eat. Just Quickly, eat two just whole chows down. <laughs> this guy is dealing with powers that he doesn't understand. I can't back up any further. Back up! Oh, you can't, can you? I also can't. Well, you did technically. Because get... of the elevation, you are hitting him in the face with your sword. Yeah. I think because I think when you fight these guys, you're kind of locked into a proper duel, whereas you're not ordinarily. Right. Um, and I can't. I want to whip out my pistol and just Indiana Jones him again, but I'm not allowed. Oh, you got a four hit combo, five hit combo. I'm a real wastrel. Wastrel. What a wastrel. It's like a kestrel and a weasel. Yes. It does not fly very well, and it lives a short and painful life. Yeah. In Mikey's house, probably. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Oh, I've got no chicken left. Oh, oh. oh hello. <laughs> oh, God. It's him again. <laughs> How does he keep getting locked I don't into know. these situations? What a crazy guy. I want to I wanna watch the film about him. Me too. Look at his I fingers. Think he has a name. Oh, you mean his finger. But yeah, he's got... <laughs> he's got enough just to do sort of finger pistols. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Take my strong hand, child. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Rad. Radical. Oh my Spraying lord. It, You're about to enter a jackanism. jackanism. A jackanism <laughs> is an enhanced action sequence where you, you have to help Jack defeat his enemies. At key points throughout the jackanism. Who... Oh, I hate the jackanism. <laughs> you will see an action <laughs> prompt in the bottom left of the screen. <laughs> you must perform this action to continue the jackanism. You have only one chance to make it count to complete the jackanism, but if you do, then you will collect a notoriety bonus. Uh, oh, God, it's very... There is no escape. There is only jackanism. Jackanism. Single button. Press the button that is displayed. I think jackanism, it's just, it's just a quick time event is what it is. Right, why is it called a jackanism? Oh, mate, repeatedly press the button that is displayed until all three lights are lit! <laughs> this is just, yeah, it's just a QTE. Why is this, uh... It's really building up the whole... They really thought they had something here with jackanism, didn't they? Are you ready for the prison fortress jackanism? <laughs> yeah, this, complete... is, this is one of the best jackanisms. <laughs> if I complete this jackanism, I get a pirate dice charm cardo one. Uh, question: What happens if you don't complete the jackanism? I don't Presumably, think... there is no way to continue forward, so you are guaranteed this. Well, it said you only get one shot to make it count, so. Oh, okay. So maybe that's the end of the episode. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So we're just watching a cutscene. Whoa! Excellent work. What happens? Can you fail one? Okay. Or will let's, that be let's, it? Yeah. Let's see if it's instant fail. Push Jack. Push. Jackanism, oh. quick. Oh, just, God, it just stops. Instantly stops. Oh, and then the guy oh, comes okay, out. Okay, now, now you just have to fight people, which you probably would have had to have done anyway, to be honest. God, it's the Batman Arkham game of pirate games. It is. You can just flit between... Oh, wow. Man, I really wish I'd completed my Jackanism. You would have had some sort of dice. Yeah, I saw a really good sort of essay video about how pi hello <laughs> someone singing then what sing along if you need the word if you need the words Can help me? oh who do you think no. it's gonna be <laughs> will have, he have a beard let's have a guess 
Somebody help me. Yeah, it's, him. it's our guy. A lot of nasty instruments lying about. Go on, give him a try. Oh yeah, give him a try. Jones <laughs> Locker, whatever that is. Whatever that is. Okay. I do just want him to let out a strange little laugh at some point. Submission complete. Cheers, me hearty. <laughs> Cheers, me hearty. See you around. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I saw a, a really good sort of essay video about how Pirates of the Caribbean is actually, like, the first one is a really, really, like, good, near-perfect movie. And when they break it down, you kind of look at it and go, you know what, it's, it's pretty good. It is really good. Like... I loved the first film. It yeah. was great. The great. Oh, here he comes again. Oh my god, that was close, wasn't it? Fight me. How de fight oh, look. me! We can use all the fun tools. Kill him! Oh, great. Oh, it's oh, one of those it's where one. it's just imprecise and rubbish. Ah! Yeah! Oh. Yeah, get- Ah! Oh. I didn't stop him at all. No. He's got a lot of health, this guy. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> That's a dead guy. You killed him with the cannon, as it should be. <laughs> if he tanked a cannon <laughs> blast, I'd be really annoyed. Yeah. So I've got the key to di I've got the actual MacGuffin from this film now. I've already got it. Have you? What was it? The key to Davy Jones' locker. Oh, well, thank god that was just... That guy was carrying it, Yeah, huh? just that non... non-essential character. Oh, brilliant. Whoa. Whoa! That's you're way too close to that. He lit that Go. with his sword. What a rad! That sword does everything. It's like a it's like a pen knife. Yeah. You'll remember this as the day that you were defeated by Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> does that uh, does that voice sound familiar at all? To me, it sounds like it actually is Johnny Depp. Would you like to take a guess at whether or not? It... Oh, it's this guy. Let's let's listen to this first. Keep this close, Jack. Here's what is bandana? To do now. Savvy. Oh my God. So he started. He started this film in the coffin. So that was a little pre. That was a prequel. That level. Whoa! This is canonical. Yeah. I remember this now. There we go. There's the there's the big boat we saw. Yeah, the Black Pearl. Is anyone on it? I want to hear him speak where's a bit Je more. Where's Jeffrey Rush? Oh God. Oh, there he is. Strap Bootstrap himself. Bill. On the Black Pearl. For all time's sake, I'd be here to warn you. Davy Jones is on his way. He demands his due. Get yourself off these waters, Jack. You're soul for the Pearl, Jack. It was a deal you made. But all the voice acting is very subdued, so isn't it? Jack. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, oomph in it. Which is surprising because that is actual, actual Stellan Skarsgård there. Really? As bootstrap Bill Turner. Actual Stellan Skarsgård. Tom Hollander returns as Cutler Beckett. Christopher S. Cap even reprises his role as Mr. Colton's parrot. No However, way. Jack, Will, Elizabeth, Barbosa, and Davy Jones were performed by their Disney sound alikes. Uh, okay. Which well, I suppose makes sense, right? If you become a Disney star, you just immediately get assigned a sound alike for yeah. all future media so they don't have to pay you. Yeah, why not? What a weird world. I thought the parrot belonged to Mr. Cotton, not Mr. Colton. Mr. Cotton's parrot. Um, well, I mean, given the Wikipedia entry for this film has already messed up a couple of times with typos and spelling errors, mm. you may be correct. Ila de Pelagostos. Oh. Oh, there's non-bootstrap Bill Turner. Sort of. Evidently, they don't have a look-alike for him in this game, no. so they just sort of guessed. Oh, here he comes. Oh, we've missed a bit. But... Oh, we just skipped ahead a little bit. What brought you here? Looking for you? And now saving you, apparently. That is not a good sound to like. Doesn't sound like him at all. It's just an English man. <laughs> a little bit of uh, third degree. Oh my god, we're fighting the locals. Yeah. You are amazingly slow. Wow, what a cocky little boy. Yeah. I practice with them three hours a day. No skill. No skill. 
I hate this guy. I suggest a bath. Oh, I suggest a bath. I'm a sea dog. He, he sounds like uh, he sounds like James from Team Rocket. Yeah, he does. It's so good to see you. But now you must So go to say why couldn't they just get English voice actors to voice the English I don't understand why this is so hard yeah. for so many international productions, whether it be games or TV shows or whatever. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to get an English voice? Uh, do you think that when we save the other crew members, they will all look like this man? I hope so. It's him! It's our friend again! Yay. Oh! He was quick. He's running back to the pearl. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do better than that. Oh, yeah. You have to do better than that. You have to do better than that. She's a slut and a witch. Can't believe that there are Tory pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mess just having a bath. He definitely went to pirates. Private pirate school, didn't he? Yeah, he did. A, a, pri a privateer. Yeah, he is a privateer. That's it. I did dispatch you rather quickly, didn't I? I did dispatch you rather quickly, didn't I? Awful. Imagine living your life in your village, and then this guy rocks up and tells you you have to speak English and that you work for the crown now. Yeah. Imagine this guy showing up and telling you that he, he he's in charge now. The white man appears. And he sounds and speaks like this. Yeah. It's time to civilize you. I did dispatch you quite expertly, did I not? Yes. Do you have a flag? Well, I... Oh. Oh, no, they're gonna... Whoa! How did he cut that with a club? He just cut the rope bridge with a club. Um, oh, it is like Dark Souls. Literally, there's a section like this in Dark Souls 3. Right. Which came several years later. So this game is the precursor. Yeah, why did Dark Souls have to copy Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End? I... I, it keeps me up at night, honestly. I've always hated the fact that they did that. Why can't they just be original? Mm-hmm. From software, the real pirates. Yeah. Hey, Peter, there's a speed run of this game. Is there? Is there the fastest speed run was completed by Zeewee. That's Z -E -W -E -Y. Z-E-W-E-Y. Z-E-W-E-Y. Zeewee. Lots of doubles in there. We might get a cease and desist. Uh, how fast did Zeewee complete this video game? Well, if they did all the uh, the jackanapes or whatever they're called, the the jackalanterns, yeah. the jackoffs, uh, the jackatrons, yeah, I I would say maybe about an hour and twenty. Two hours, seventeen minutes, and fifteen seconds. Oh, okay. Oh my god. He really goes hard on those prison balls, doesn't he? He does. Looks like you'll need some help on this one, mate. Oh she my god, look at this unit. Handle. If you owlay her into oh. the pot, I'll throw a coconut on her head. Oh, throw what? coconut on her head. <laughs> what? What good is that going to do? Rated 12, featuring cartoon violence. And strange, slightly problematic depictions of nondescript tribal Caribbean people. Yes, Aboriginal people. Yeah. Um, but she doesn't have a health bar, so I think you do need to somehow get her into the pot. Which in its <laughs> look at the way she walks. Getting her into a pot is sort of problematic. A problematic image in its own right. It is. Excuse me. Would you mind terribly clambering into this pot? Why is he holding his sword like that? Because he's a pretentious swear word. How do you, Jack? How? Jack, help. If you can just go into the pot and I'll drop a coconut. Oh, can I throw a coconut on her head. <laughs> oh, I've got... Look at him. Help, Jack. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Okay, well, that... No, she's not fussed about that. I don't know how I did it. Oh, I honestly oh, don't know oh. how I did that. Three more times, mate. Three more times, mate. What? No! Okay, well, you've got more people to kill. Anyway, here's a five-star review from Amazon. It's from okay. Amazon user Dada. And the, uh, the the subtitle of the review says, Funny film. Funny film. And the body says, This was for my daughter's birthday. Good. Fantastic. Five out of five stars. We go to Metacritic. The top review is from IGN. As usual, I will read you the review, and then you can guess the score. If you're a fan of the movies, you'll... 
dig, I thought it said, you'll die playing the game. <laughs> Just be sure to check your brain at the door as it makes solid use of an existing action template, but innovates very little in the process. Right, okay. What do they give it out of a hundred? Um, about 50. Okay, I've worked out how to Olay now. Excellent. They gave it 65. Okay. And the lowest review score comes from PSM. It reads, you'll quickly find yourself bored or frustrated. I agree that you will find yourself bored or frustrated quickly, but it's not too bad. So, mm -hmm. again, like 45, maybe? 35. Oh, okay. I think it's a bit harsh, actually. I think this is better than most of the worst games. Do you think it's better played. than most? Yeah. Okay, well, what would you say that the average Metacritic score for this game is, then? Uh, the average score... <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. How about, um... 50? It's 54%. 54%, okay. 54% okay. on Metacritic, and that's it. Those are all my science facts. Wow. Well... I feel I think like I've nearly seen this level out now. I have. Oh my god. Oh Christ. I love how Is that it? Is that I love how we went from level one to level oh, two god. with no context at all. No. Why do you need to? Yeah. It's like so many movie tie-in games, it just sort of goes, right, here's the next bit of the film. Yeah, you've seen the film, haven't you? Don't worry you know about how it. Is. Oh chickens. Okay, I'll I'll complete this sequence and then uh I love how Jack's just stuck. Oh no, we've been we've been wedged. Don't worry, I'll just stay here. Ha. Oh god. What do you mean you've never had eaten mess? <laughs> I really do hate foxes. <laughs> you smell poor. <laughs> you telling me you don't have private health care? A pay rise for nurses? <laughs> Let me explain something to you called taxation. <laughs> oh my god, parlay! Parlay! <laughs> oh, okay, Christ. well. Okay, yeah, that's enough of all, that. It goes all red striking. Oh, weird. Is that an emulator thing or is that a game thing? That seems like one minor emulator issue to me, but strange, I don't know. Strange, yeah. Because it's blurred most of the screen, but not at the top, which I think yeah. <laughs> is so strange. Yeah, it's strange. Hi everybody and welcome back to Worst Games Ever! It's the video game show where we play the bad video games, the terrible ones, all sent in by you. My name is Ben. And my name is Peter. Peter, this week, as the show's format dictates, I am the game's victim. That's true. Which means that I must be the game's master. Whoa. What on earth have you brought along for me to suffer through this week? Oh, it's going to appear behind us. <gasps> there it is. Hang on, let's make it appear oh. in the most dull way possible. I'm trying to make a popping noise with my mouth, but uh, I can't really... Okay, yeah, you, you pop oh, it in. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, I keep talking over. Oh, oh loads of them. Every keep, time I keep. <laughs> There's like six back there now. Wow, brilliant! There it is. It's the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, if there's six of them back there, does that mean there's? Mm. Oh, if you account for all the lions, witches, and wardrobes, oh. there's 18 things back there. There are. Should we play the game? Let's. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a little as 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 land coin. As little as Lund as Lundkun. As land coin. The Jesus allegory lion, right? Yeah, that's him. He came back from the dead, remember? He did, on the seventh day. He sacrificed day. himself, yeah. Yes. Ooh. Bervg! Bervg! Ooh. Oh, what a Delicative. weird... Delicative. <gasps> remember TT Games? I do. I, oh, I love them TTs. They might... Hang on now. They, they might as well just be called, you know, that Lego studio now. Yeah. Hey, you know those Lego games? That's us. That's us. We did those. We also did... Uh, uh, Haven Call of the King, that game that had did they? a rubbish ending. Oh, I no. think they did, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, hey up. What is what is Guan, as the children can... say? Uh-oh. 
Oh, welcome to Peter's Choice of Game, oh. the one with... Oh, for God's sake. The Blitz and the Nazis in it. This oh, is... of course there are somehow Nazis in the Jesus Allegory Lion game. Yeah, this is um, the Nazi menace. Right. They're coming to do menace things to London. Okay, what are we going to do to stop... Which side are you on and what are we going to do to stop them? I think we're going to unleash... A... Unleash a lion on them? Is that is that what we're gonna do? Is yeah. That how, is that what happens in I think that's what Chronicles of Narnia? Churchill was developing, wasn't he? Was some sort of like yeah. flying lion. Yeah. Flying. Lions. Yeah. Well, that's actual. This is film footage, huh? It is. It's horribly compressed. <laughs> I can see the <laughs> individual. Oh, what the oh. F what the hell oh was that? <laughs> that? Welcome. Oh my god. Okay. Quick question. Can I? Yeah. Of course. Of course I can punch. Yeah, you can punch all the furniture and get money out of it. Right, so it's definitely made by the... Hey, it's us, the Lego people, see? It is. Here's a fact for that comes... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I featured that exact clip in a list that I did once, just him wailing on the piano. Uh, for God's sake. Here's a, li uh, a fact that it came a lot later. That did you see all the smoke come out of the chimney then? Because someone dropped a bomb on your roof. Yeah, I think we're sorry very quickly. I think we're meant to be what why is there have I got to punch it until this what I don't remember this from the book I don't know that we've got to get the, all the children out because otherwise they will die from bombs they will in three minutes But in the meantime, let me just let me just wreck the living room just in case a bomb doesn't fall on the house I want to come back to an absolute mess. Yes. when we emerge from the, the <laughs> bunker Please do uh, please do carry on um, so a fact that comes way later down my list, but as you've already said it, Traveller's Tales are most famous today for the various licensed Lego games, to which this game is very similar, even down to its HUD. Yeah, so you can change characters like the Lego games. No way! Do I have to punch the door down? <laughs> Didn't, how did your mum get out of there? Did she lock you in? Oh, there's some texture stuff happening over here. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I'm, I blame the Nazis for that one. Yeah, that's, a, that's one of their bombs they've been doing. Okay. Kids, we got... Oh, what is going on with all the ceiling and the lighting and stuff? <laughs> that is really weird. Where is, where is everyone hiding? Oh, here's a... Here's a oh. Hurry! We have to stick together. Come on, Susan. We have to... I can't hear you over the... Oh! <laughs> oh, Whoa! my lord! <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> it's ballet o'clock. That's sort of more distracting the internet than it is violent. Oh my, what is this room? Why has why the music changed to be like this? <laughs> oh. What? Wow. She was hiding in the bed. She was hiding under a, a, an actual pile of feces there, I think. <sighs> These children have no survival instincts at all. Their mum is doing nothing. No. She's just standing in the, in the hallway. Okay, quick question. Now that we know exactly what we have to do, shall we wait out the clock? Oh my god, that's a really good idea. Oh no! Oh, I think I might have triggered a... A jackanism. The building's on fire. Oh my god, they're sending the, the little girl across because she's the lightest. <laughs> Did this actually happen in the film? I don't... It's been a while, but I don't... No. Only Edmund and Lucy can... Oh. What? Quick, let's walk on the heavy thing. Yeah, it can support the weight of the grandfather clock, no problem. We just got a roar. Peter needs to buy double damage to smash through these <laughs> doors. And if he doesn't, he's going to actually die in the Blitz. C.S. Lewis, this is this was his vision, wasn't it? It, it was. Double damage, yeah, C.S. <laughs> Lewis. Right, we've got 30 seconds left until presumably we all die? Yeah, I somehow think it's unlikely that the game is going to show a bomb dropping on the house if you wait it out. What's but... her attack? Oh my god, oh my... she go... <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's that little line coming out? I think it's meant to be movement. Yeah. Oh, five seconds until the bomb. Come on, let's get some spins in. Spins in, everyone. <laughs> go on, game over screen, give it to us. Oh, it just oh, fades god. to red. It's like golden eye. Oh, and then it just reset. Oh. Oh! <laughs> 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 she vanished. Right, send Peter now. Okay, let's see what happened. She's not even gone yet. Okay. Right, what? Yeah, okay, Peter. <laughs> it's so sudden. Boom. Uh, uh, time for some facts. Okay. 
The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is an action-adventure game released in 2005 for the PS2, Xbox, GameCube and Windows PC. Uh, there was also a different version for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance that was not like this at all. Oh, that's a little bassy error Wasn't sound. It? Love it. God, look at Lucy. That really is a case of... <laughs> <laughs> Choose your fighter. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's too big to jump. Leave it to me. D what? Leave it to... Can climb the broken bedpost. Leave it... So there's more time. That's a bedpost? These there's a lamp post, these more like. These rich Tories look... Whoa! Yeah. Look at them with their massive palatial World War II house. Oh! What the hell? It's a lot more charming when it's made out of Lego studs, isn't it? Yeah. Is it really worth them, like, going into their shelter now? Because look at the state of their house. Yeah, it, There's nothing left. How have they survived several presumably direct bomb hits? <laughs> yeah. Susan, move the furniture over the fires. What did she say? Push furniture over the fires? Yeah, kindling, right? Her mum, their mum has just stood there still. Oh, oh, children, try using the furniture to put the fires out. Oh, there we go. Children, save me, save your mother. Oh, that lampshade is beautiful. Yeah, I think Edmund's going all cross. He is. He was cross -eyed really cross-eyed. Oh, now we're back to film. <laughs> okay. Hang on. So, did this happen in the film? I just don't remember this from the film. That that did happen, and normally Peter shouts at him and tells Edmund he's selfish. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we bloody go. Are you here to take us to the lion? Mrs. McCready? I'm afraid so. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Oh, now they're at the danger house. It's a really lovely place though, isn't it? What a it nice is, home. Yeah. yeah, we need another war. We'd get sent off to the country. Yeah. You know, I could look at castles every day. Mm -hmm. um, could go on a magical adventure with a lion. Yeah, oh my oh god. Oh my lord. What? Why is that presented as though it's a game of chance? Good. <laughs> you, we. Could, I mean, I'm not sure I could get evacuated. To be honest, I think you could if we, if we like, swaddled you in some blankets. Yeah. I think I might. I might just get drafted. You know. Yeah. I might have to go do a war. Um. Well, that's okay. I'll wait for you. Thank you. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. Yeah. And maybe in the wardrobe. Yeah. World wardrobe two. Oh, there it is. We did it. Yeah. Here it is, but now in wood form. Oh, it's a, it's a level select thing. So I'm getting big Lord of the Rings vibes from this. Even the music is very Lord from of the Rings. From this flute. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They live an entire lifetime in here, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Imagine then going back and being told off by Mrs. McCready because you haven't done the washing up or whatever. Yeah, imagine escaping World War II, living an entire life, and then tumbling back through the wardrobe, and it's like, <laughs> remember World War II? <laughs> it's happening again now. It's still happening. It's still ongoing. In fact, it's all, it's nowhere near over. Oh, we've got a bit of a downgrade. Oh, we've got some nice reflections of the trees. Yeah. Oh, Lucy does not look great up close. No. Why have they made her so... She looks so, like, fat. <laughs> Why is she obese now? That's really... Imagine being the girl who played her yeah. and seeing your representation in this game. Also, Edmund is really, like, fat-thighed as well. <laughs> Everyone's just really... Ju but she, they've just given her a double chin. They have. Imagine sitting down and being like, oh, I'm in a video game. Let's see what, how they've, <laughs> what they've done to my image. And then, oh my... For God's sake... <sighs> All right, well, um, the objective of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is to guide the four Pevensey children, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, through the enchanted, wintry land of Narnia, as they fight to end the rule of the Wicked White Witch, with the aid of Aslan, the Talking Lion, and True King of Narnia. That wicked We're going to need some double witch. strength to get through there, I think. I am. Um, get all of the team-up tokens. Oh, for God's sake, okay. Well, I'll give you a new fact while you're doing that. Go on, then. Uh, the game sports both single-player and co-op modes. Ooh. Only two players may play at once, though, uh, but there can be as many as four playable characters to switch between in each level. What <laughs> on earth? Earn that money, Edmund. <laughs> Earn that money, boy! <laughs> yeah. Why are the team-up tokens... What shape is that? What? What? Why does it look like uh, I don't... a pig nose? 
I don't... Oh, oh God. my Lord. To get two children to team up, stand them next to each... It's weird how they refer to the characters. <laughs> to each other and press the triangle button when the purple rings appear on the floor. Time for the real jackanisms to begin. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. There you go. Uh, what is happening? Oh! <laughs> You can't break it with a stick, you can break it with your sister. Press the square button to do a team-up attack. I can't wait to see what this is. I am so pleased there's actual content in this game because it's reviewed really, like, relatively well and I thought it wouldn't be good. Oh my god! Oh, oh god! It's the, the Queen's secret police! Get him, Lucy! <laughs> she's killing wolves! How old is she? She's like seven! Yeah, but she's got, she's got a shoulder on her. She has. I'm not going to collect anything I don't have to. I don't care if I get a poor rating. Apparently it's all chance anyway. Yeah, oh, there's some ravens over there. Warriors. Oh my god. <laughs> are they Are they going to hurt me? I don't know. They didn't really do anything, did they? Oh, my torch went out. Oh, deep snow. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they didn't want to waste any budget on uh, her saying, Edmund! Wait for me. You ready? Lucy, go! Ooh. What? Oh, I just have to drag her. All right. Oh, you just pull her through the snow. We'll just play the rest of the game like this, shall we? Get through the brambles. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Leave her. Oh. What? Oh. I'm not sure you two have quite got the idea of this game. Yeah, you tell them, Peter. There's not a double chin in sight. I'm sorry. I no. don't understand how she's been... What did she do <laughs> to, to Traveller's Tales? Exactly. That's why... I, I mean, ordinarily, I would never dream of saying, oh, look how fat that character is. But the point is that she's not. She's a she's a lovely little girl in real life. Yeah. And in this game, they've really done her a, a, a bad... Yeah, they've done... her a bad hand. They've done her a disservice. What was it like? Like talking to a lunatic. No, not her, the forest. Do you know what? What? These are not the same takes that they used in the film. Are you sure? I mean, I've watched this. I was going to say, you would know. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched this film a lot of times because it was one of uh, the only DVDs that we had when I was younger. Mm. And I'm telling you now, I can find those scenes on YouTube and do side by side. Those are not the same takes. That's really weird. No, not her, the forest. No, no, no. Not her, the forest. Do you have the release date there? Are you able to look up when the film came out? Because this could very likely be one of those cases where they were given very early cuts. Yeah, you might be right. It was released on uh, in November, 14th of November. Mm -hmm. And the film was released in December of that year. Really? So this came out before? This came out before the film. That's really weird. Just look at the state of this compression. For God's sake. So now we're, we're not even going to be playing around in Narnia. We're just wandering no. around the house. Mercifully, I think I can get through this level probably really fast yeah. because they all seem to follow the exact same template. Uh, what do you think about the voice acting? Do you think it's them or not? Um, oh God, I don't know actually. Is it not them? A significant okay. feature... This is written really weirdly, by the way. I copied this directly from Wikipedia. And it says, A significant feature has William... <laughs> oh, <laughs> there they are. Yeah, significant feature, sorry. I'm, I now, I'm so distracted by this. Yeah, it's it's all very upsetting. Did, look at the size of the raindrops. I don't know what's happening with it. Um, A significant feature has William Mosley, Skandar Keynes, Anna Popplewell, Georgie Henley, Elizabeth Hawthorne, and Jim Broadbent reprising their roles from the film. Oh, so they're all in it. Jim Broadbent, of course, as you yeah. may have just seen, uh, <laughs> is famous for Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Uh... Professor Slughorn in the Half Blood Prince, mm -hmm. and the voice of Percy the Park Keeper. Did you know? <gasps> Loved Percy the Park Keeper. Yeah. I didn't know that was Jim Broadbent. Me neither. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, that well, that was a total guess. I didn't know she was under there, but <laughs> all right. Jesus, Aslan. Wait. So you? Pl oh no, you're not still playing hide and seek. You're just she's run off in a in a tantrum because she's seen yeah. what the developers have done to her face. Yeah. And now she doesn't want to be seen. Oh, I wonder where she is. Oh, okay, she's gone. Let me just. Hurry, let's hide. What? Uh, uh -oh. Hide? Um. How? How? In the in that box. 
Mrs. McCready.mp3 is playing. I didn't realise it'd be a survival. Hmm, they're not behind the crates. <laughs> oh, also, the the boy, the little boy with the black hair, Edmund. Mm. Is that Rico Wellard or is that a different person? Uh, no, it's not Rico Wellard. Uh, from from Tracy Beaker. Yeah, no, it's I not. No, as in who's got oh, my geez. Maroon Five CD? Who's got my Maroon Five CD? Exactly. They just look very similar, like freckles yeah. with dark hair. No, I don't think that's him. Okay. That candlestick looks odd. That candlestick's odd. That candlestick is odd. What an odd candlestick! I best punch it to death. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Press the R1 button to select Susan. What in the name of God is happening? I'll get them. I'll get them. What am I doing? L1. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> oh, they all just went. What oh, the God. flip is going on? Right. Right. We need. We need. Uh, yeah. whoa, whoa! God, she's agile. Oh. That is literally a mechanic from the Lego games, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Anakin Skywalker can do that. Yeah. Nanny! Get out of the way! Oh, I've gone a stupid way round. Oh. <laughs> no! How many times do you have to be told? It simply will not do. No, back to your rooms. No, back to your rooms. <laughs> this is the hardest game I've ever played. Um, so, this being the hardest game you've ever played, do you want to yep. know what the Sydney Morning Herald thought of it? I would love to know what they thought of it. Uh, the Sydney Morning Herald... Oh. I'm sure. Uh, gave it a score of three stars out of five mm. and called it a decent start to what will inevitably be a game series. <laughs> it's, uh, one thing we can all agree on is that this will be a game series. Yeah. Climb out of there. We have to get back to our rooms. We have to get back to our rooms. You're a slut a witch. I see what you're doing on that pole, Edmund. <laughs> Stop being so slutty. Oh, we went inside a crate there <laughs> that they just assumed you would have destroyed in the previous segment. Oh my god! Where have those children got to? What on earth was that? <laughs> what on earth was that? Oh Christ alive, here we go. I love this bit in the film. Yeah, me too. When Peter just wails on loads of boxes. Just hulks up. In the house of someone who, you know, he's he's a guest in this home, but sure, destroy the professor's priceless crates. This is the wardrobe in here. Oh, Christ. Fantastic. Ready for the transition? <sighs> yeah. Why is he, why, just close the door. What's wrong with you, Peter? Yeah, you know she's coming. Stop shoving. Stop shoving. Stop it. No, you stop! What? We're in a, a forest. We did it! Um, the game has received mixed to positive reviews. Oh, okay. Um, what do you think the Metacritic average score was for the PS2 version of this game? I'm gonna say... 61. Oh, it's a little bit higher. <gasps> 65? A little tiny bit higher. Hey, we did it! Fantastic. 66? It was 68% average. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. The team, this is uh, Wikipedia here, the team style gameplay got a mixed reception. Critics called the AI used to control the other children dead. Dead? Dead AI. I mean, they're not wrong, are they? No, I guess not. I'd like you all to meet Mr. Thomas. But we can't go hiking in the snow. Like this. Susan's such a wet blanket. We need one of those in every sort of uh, World War era film from Britain. Yeah. But that's a girl's coat. I know. Oh no. <laughs> but that's a girl's coat. Why is it that for some reason the cutscene uh, graphics are actually worse than the in game ones? That's very I rare. I don't know. Like the close ups of the models look horrendous, whereas when you're just sort of wandering around in the game that not too bad i would say like the face no i mean lucy is still you know very large oh my lucy what is happening lucy lucy can you read me that quote about the ai again please the team style gameplay got a mixed reception critics called the ai used to control the other children dead <laughs> this is also stuck now i can't turn it oh no the line the witch in the wardrobe has come together Beautifully. Oh, oh my God, yeah, it certainly has. Whoa! What? Oh my. 
what kind of what would be the benefit of that what is the point why is that an option i would run away really fast <laughs> there we go squad oh. roll out can you morph together and become the zeo zord <laughs> is that is that an option yeah <laughs> oh my god <gasps> jesus christ um um I don't know what I'm even meant to do at this point. So, like, you need a, a fiery stick, don't you? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know where to get one of those, though. Or can Peter just break it, because he's strong? No, I did just wail on it for a bit. Oh, okay. Didn't get... Maybe one of these has a stick in it. Um... Oh, I got it. There we go. Lego Star Wars 1 came out on the 29th of March, uh, and this game came out in the November, so... Ah, okay. So, presumably, it's just made in the same engine. Yeah, I think it probably is, to be honest. So, what do you think the... We'll start with the lowest score for this game. What do you think the lowest score was? It came from what was noted down on Metacritic as PSM Magazine, which is a tautology, but we'll let it slide. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Lowest score. 40. That is exactly right. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The lowest score came from PSM Magazine, who gave it 40% and said, The different challenges and abilities are so contrived that it's laughable. Um, fair enough. What about the, what about this ability? What do you think of this one? <laughs> what on the combinations? Earth? The combinations are so exciting. I'm gonna see what DP's got. In a minute. She looks like she's take. Oh my god! What the? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The way she runs along with him though. She looks. They, it's like they're making a citizen's arrest, isn't it? It is. I'm taking you to the police station. Coming with me. What am I meant to do with this? Remember, press the triangle button to get Lucy to team up with Edmund or Susan to break these... Okay, I was with the wrong character. Oh, God, go. yeah, she slides. Let's just go to the spooky cave. It's too dark. I don't want to go. <laughs> it's too dark. I don't like it. We need a flaming stick. You've got to light your stick. Yeah. Didn't she have a torch? Wasn't that her whole thing? But okay. Uh, what do you think the highest uh, review was for this game. Oh god, it's going to be something disgusting, isn't it? Is it um Well, in fact, let me read let me read the quote to you first. <laughs> Just starting forest fires. It's fine. This is a new mechanic. I can see why the Sydney Morning Herald only rated this game 3 out of 5. They probably don't appreciate the bits where you set fire to the bush. Peter, please watch this. Okay. <laughs> What in the name of Narnia? Oh, oh no. no, the Wolf Bridge! Right, um, the PS2 highest score comes from Cheat Code Central, who said, The relative ease of the gameplay and the downplay of violence makes this an excellent game for kids of all ages. Yet, it's not completely sucky. What do you think they gave okay. it? Okay, let's say 70. The review that ends with the line, It's not completely sucky has a rating attached to it of 84%. Get out, get out of town. This not completely sucky game is almost perfect. It's one of the better things I've ever played. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Oh my God, look how far, what happens if we fall? <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> I like how the girls are just far less animated on their rash. Yeah, they're just, they're literally just going to finish the level, which is all we need to do. Yeah. What happens if I don't press anything? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. ah! Can you switch? No. Right, okay. Although if you were player two, you'd, you'd control them, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Christ. Oh, there's jumps and everything. Oh, oh. Jesus! <laughs> do I have health? It doesn't hurt. That's fine. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, this is hard. That is pretty hard. Um, this is uh, reminding me of those horrible movie tie-in games on PS2, which I know this is literally one of. Yeah. Where they would just have difficulty spikes, where it's this game's not made very well. Yeah. Well, to talking of movie tie-in games, the Xbox version of this game was reviewed by Xbox Addict, who, in reference to video game adaptations of movies, said. The Chronicles of Narnia has completely surpassed all of those to come before it. This is the way all other movie game adaptations should be done. They rated the game 100%. No! No! <laughs> yes, they did. That's it. That's impossible. That is that is the first 100% rated game, understandably, that we have ever had on Worst Games Ever. Yeah, I think it is. Apart from, you know, idiot 
amateur reviews, but this is like a, a critic's review. Oh my god! You know what? I am gonna say it though. You don't I'm care. I'm not though. sorry. You broke your elbow. <laughs> But equally, this is th we've played worse. And as far as a movie tie-in game goes, I'm not mad at this. It's ridiculous, and it's not aged well. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Oh, for but God's it's, sake. It's just like, you know, I don't... I wouldn't be mad at getting this game. No. I like the collectible element. It's done well. It's made by the people who did the Lego games. Exactly. You know, before they did the Lego game. It's, it's too weak for Peter or Susan, because they're hench. Right. Oh, yeah. I can't... But, I'm I'm bored now. I can't be bothered with this anymore. But surely, surely the big, the big people can't get over the ice. So this is a real, real conundrum for you. Oh, are you using? Oh, oh okay. Cowards. Lucy drowned on her way back to her home planet. Yeah. I guess you you're marking the safe ice patches. The oh blue, yeah, maybe. The blue ones are probably safe. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all of my facts. Um, so, but you're right. You know, if I if I had this game. I think I would have enjoyed it. And it's been a good... It's a good blend of not so terrible that there's not actually any decent content. Because um, sometimes yeah. we have games that are so bad that after about 20 minutes, we're like, oh, okay, you know, we're kind of done now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, th there's been... Oh, oh, oh no. I, that was AI! Oh, for <laughs> Well, it's dead. Okay. Literally is That's dead. It. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. Okay. Well... There we go. Oh, look at the drop shadow just moving around back there. Wow. Oh, wow. You also saw my mouse for a second there, which I didn't mean to move onto the screen. <laughs>
conglomerate. Do it. He does. I tell you what though, the Robin Hood license must be so easy to adapt because it's an anti-hero who lives in the woods. Yeah. It's so surely, I mean that's probably where the BBC used it. Hang on. But it must be so easy to make. It just did Indiana Jones, that music. That was actual Indi Yeah, it just went da 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 Oh my god. God, it really did. I'll have to we'll have to go to the tape on that one. Okay. Wow. Right. New game, yeah? Yes, yes. New game. Single player, two player. No, absolutely not. Wow, there's two players in this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, hello? Speak up. Right, I'll, I'll boost him. Okay, first science fact for this game. Yeah. The uh, intro cinematic here Terrible tyrant who taxed is six million years long. Horror. Is it? Yeah. He hated Robin Hood, who was good and gallant. It sounds a bit like... like um, sheriff. So <laughs> handsome that Maid Marian had no sooner... Flippin' what's his name? Oh, I hate that guy. Yeah, you know, she that one. Dingleface. Yeah. And more in love than anyone has ever fallen in love since. Oh. Flippin' X! Is there enough, enough hyperbole there? Just get married! Huh? Maybe get Maid Marian. Kidnapped Maid Marian to steal her from. Hang her on, money. is he? And oh, he's the, the voiceover is ahead of the text. Not hill nor dale. Not oh yeah, it is. Valley, it's it's forest, way ahead. Fortress will stop him. Oh, oh, did you hear that little pop at the end there? I did. Wow, it's so slow. Not hill nor dale. Not river nor valley. Not forest nor fortress will stop him. Paul McGann is the name I was looking for. Oh, I don't know that one. Can we get a JPEG of Paul McGann? A really poor quality JPEG of Paul McGann, please. Paul quality, yeah. Yeah. There he is. Look at that tree. Major Ma Oak Central. <laughs> Major Oak Central. He used to be Corporal Oak Central and then he got a promotion. Mm -hmm. Hope you're all saluting at home. He was seconded. Right, oh. here we are. Here's the game. Oh! Hello, future Peter here doing the edit. Just to let you know that this game has possibly the worst combination of granular textures and poor lighting that we've ever dealt with. That is to say, instead of looking like this, it looks like this. Or more accurately, this. As such, despite our typical recording settings usually giving us reasonable footage, on this occasion it all gets incredibly bitty whenever Robin is in motion. We debated not releasing this episode, but frankly the game looks so bad to start with that poor quality footage is the least of its worries. So, enjoy the bits. Oh! Okay, it's sort of tank controls. Oh no, it's not. It's... Oh. First port of call. Uh. Can the fire burn you? No. No. Does he just have a feather in, in his hood? Of course he does. Oh. Oh, he's a looker. The, the camera is very... I can't... I can't move the camera any close. It doesn't like going in the fire. <laughs> this looks like uh, an early 2000s MMO. It does, doesn't it? World of Warcraft looks better than this. Look at how they've done the shadow of the cloak on his head. They've just drawn... Yeah, they've just coloured in his face. It's just baked in, isn't it? Yeah. It's just coloured in his in his eye hole area. Hey, would you like uh, your first real science fact? Yeah, go for it. Robin Hood's Quest is a stealth adventure game oh. developed by British studio Broadsword Interactive and released on the 16th of February 2007 <laughs> for the Sony PlayStation 2 and Windows PC. It looks like this probably would have been able to run on a PS1. Yeah, quite frankly. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. The Wikipedia page, just to sort of get you in the mood for the quality of the science facts this episode, yeah. is three pages. No, <laughs> three sen three sentences long. Three, three pages long. Three pages long. It's three sentences long. Is the oh, oh there's a man. Guy? How do I attack? Kill. Kill. I'm sorry. We're in the trees now. Oh. oh. Oh, I whistled in his face. Oh, don't don't wolf whistle him. Can you? Okay. Oh, look at my fingers. Can we get a good look at this NPC? Hello. What's that weird gaunt face paint he's wearing? I don't know. It's awful. So you've been given no context. The no. Took my quarter oh. staff. Please get it back. Oh, it's little John. <laughs> he's massive though. Well, he is. I think he always. I think that was the point. I think Little John's usually depicted as an enormous man. Oh right, it's it's 
It's funny. It's funny, yeah. He's blocking the path, though. You can't get past him. No, he wants his quarter staff back. Look at those Wait. green mushrooms over there. Wow. They look delicious. They're right out of uh, sort of whatever time period England this is. Hang on, are those bushes in the shape of faces back there? Yeah, I was going to say. Or is that look just at this, me? It's just like the symmetry makes them look like faces. <laughs> I believe the, the scientific term is something like paradoilia. Where oh, you well, there just we go. see faces in things. Always having oh, a look there's yellow there. ones now. Piss mushrooms. Eat them. Eat them. So this is our merry... Oh, for God's... <laughs> Where Thumbnail, is he? Everyone. Where, where is he? So this is our merry men camp. Yes. And by that I mean uh, we are camp merry men. Yes. Oh. 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 Okay, good. Oh, it just played a little musical stinger there. And now we're going to Major Oak North. Oh, fantastic. Oh, the sun's coming up now. Oh, oh well, it must be a long walk. The camera is just horrendous. What's that sign? No. No hands. Allowed. No in it. Oh, there's a chest. Let me in. I wonder what's in the chest. This Maybe it's a better side, game. Oh. Oops. Wrong side. Oops. Wrong side. This is the wrong side. Oh. Oops. Wrong side. Oops. Wrong side. He's got different takes. Hmm. Can't get in. Can't get <laughs> in. <laughs> Can't get in. Hmm. She's a slut Can't and a in. witch. She is a slut and a witch. Can't get in. Hey, Sid. Get in. Oh, who's this? Little John. Is, is it, it Little John no. again? No, this no, one he... is is called uh, Captain Scarlet. Okay, what's he say? Now they've taken the hides. I can be of no service. Please get them back. Please get them back. <laughs> it's Arthur Abland. So... Every single member of the Merry Men is just a whiny little coward. Oh no, they took away my toy. My big question is, mm. how shoot bow and arrow? When do you get the gun? When do you get the gun? None of the buttons are shooting a... I've got a quiver on my back. There um, is a space for three keys in the bottom right. I don't know what that means. Also, yeah. I love how the, the area separations are literally... Tiny mounds. Yeah. There's no way you could walk over those. No, not Robin Hood, master of the forest, well, king of the wood. He's the best at hiding because he's always behind the bloody trees. What was that? Do. What, what did he say? I don't know. Oh, that bloody tree. Hmm, wrong side. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Broadsword Interactive, by the way, the developers of this game. Yeah. They also made the quest for Aladdin's treasure, which I can oh. only assume is as good as this. Oh, hello? Oh, my God. Oh, no. How do I kill the guard? Just watch him go. I just want to... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. Continue? I whistled and he... he okay. Uh, is the chest open or is it still... Yeah, the chest... You just... What? You've lost your heart there because you got caught by the oh, guard. Oh, it's a life. And so... he didn't see you until you whistled at him. What purpose does the whistling have? It's a stealth it the... game, but there's no stealth mechanics. So do I just have to not get caught? I can't kill, kill the guy. I don't have yeah. a bow and arrow. I think it might be that. Oh, for be God's that. sake. Anyway, you have fun with that. Broadsword Interactive also made The Quest for Aladdin's Treasure, Street Dance, Dance Fest, Dance Factory, Dance UK XL Lite, and Dance UK Extra Tracks with an X. XL Lite? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't... Maybe it was some sort of DS game. I have no idea. Mm. I have absolutely no idea. They're quite difficult to track down online now, but their website is no longer active. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, he's after oh, me! Run! Okay, this is not as intense. No, the music hasn't changed. Uh, is he still? Is he still chasing me? I don't know. I can't look behind me because the camera is just the worst thing I've ever dealt with in my life. Bring him straight to your front. Can you hide in the tent? No, where is he? Is he over there? He's given up. He can't see you. Can I hide in the tent? That's a good question. No. Uh, pitch. pitch oh. oh, what? I pressed X Great. and the money went went on the floor. Great. Oh, is the money? Is the money not for me? Is it to distract guards? Can I, like, place it... 
I, I have down. no idea. It hasn't told you, has it? No. I might be able to, like, trick guards with it. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's another. That's what? a friend, is it? It'll be Friar Tuck, that one, surely. There's a there's big old deep fat Friar Tuck over there. Yeah, Tuck. Why isn't he going after Friar Tuck? Why isn't he going after Friar Tuck? Yeah, well, that's a very good question. Maybe because he's a man of the cloth. Maybe, well, there's a lot of cloth, isn't it? Yeah, right, here we go. Ah, Hello, Friar Tuck. Tuck. Some scoundrel has ransacked the kitchen and stolen the sugar. Oh, Please for God's sake, we'll they're all so starve. crap. What are they going to do to help Robin? We'll all starve. I mean, you might. Oh, I can't go that way, because Tuck's in the way. So what? Where do I go now? The other guy wanted the skins back, which I'm assuming is some sort of hides or whatever. And then Matey Boy in the original camp, he wanted his staff back. Didn't tell you where to get any of it. You've now explored this area fully. You can't go anywhere else, can you? No. There were some hides in our camp, but I'm guessing that they weren't the ones that have been nicked. Maybe we have to go to Major Oak South now. So would you like to hear all about Robin Hood's quest's entry on the Crappy Games Wiki? I would love to. So here are a couple of my favorite points that they raise. The box art is very poorly made. You can clearly see the trees as if they were illuminated by daylight, but the sky shows that it is night. Yes. Also, Robin Hood is not on the cover. Right. They also list poor and dreadful graphics. Dreadful. Crappy voice dialogue where Robin sounds depressed. Great. This is probably my favorite one. Poor grasp of the source material. <laughs> and finally, false advertisement. The game says that the Sheriff of Nottingham has captured Maid Marian, but you never actually see him. You never actually see him. No. Oh. Forest path. Right. Oh no. Oh, it's just no-go zones everywhere. Oh. I wonder which way we go. This looks like uh this looks like this is oh, Pac-Man. Of... It is, isn't it? Oh my god, I've just realized. This is just it's a slow Pac-Man. Slow Robin Hood Pac-Man. <laughs> Look at that shadow on his eyes. Yo. Da 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 da. Yo. <laughs> Whistle. <whistles> no. Yo. Oh. Yo. Great. Oh, I can't even. Gr oh, what? Great. What does he do? Right here we go. Run past him while he's counting his money. Can I literally do? Oh, there he is. After there him. he is. Oh no! Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, how long did that go on for? Oh no! <laughs> oh, where's this? Oh, oh wow, now open... I can open this door. Oh my god, it's the Dark Souls of Robin Hood games. It is. Look, we've now unlocked a shortcut. Who's that? That guy's sleeping. That's locked, that chest. I guess it needs a key. That's it. Stealth. This is a stealth adventure game. It is. There he is! After him! <laughs> <laughs> God. Got it. Oh, got, got it. it. Got it. Oh, the trees are just freaking out in the background at the top of that. Oh, they are, aren't Oh my they? God, the size of that key! <laughs> you got a key, though. Well, now I can open that open that chest, presumably. Yeah, careful. You've got Sleeping Beauty there. If I just walk slowly, like, like this... <laughs> This is uh, actually just sort of a, um, it's a neurological disorder that Robin Hood has. Yeah. This is how he has to walk. I've got to find the key. Oh, okay. I've got a key, Robin. How do, you, how do you use, maybe there's a different button to use the, I don't know, actually. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's not going to be anything. <laughs> oh, I whistled by accident. <laughs> oh, no. You woke him up. <laughs> ah, ah, I wish ah, I'd stayed ah, around. I thought he'd ah. just finished, but no. Peter, there's a speed run for this game. Is there really? How long do you think the speed run is, or how fast, should I say? Um, an hour. 49 seconds. 49 seconds? However, it's not a speed run in the traditional sense. Right. It is, and I, and I quote, a speed run to soft lock the game. Oh. It takes so, 49 seconds to soft lock the game. After beginning a co-op game, the first 25 seconds of the run is loading screen. 
but upon taking control of Robin Hood, the player navigates to the save option in the pause menu before backing out, and then the game is apparently soft locked and they can no longer play. Wow. So it's there you amazing. go. Amazing. A fun new twist on, the, on an old speedrun classic. Yeah. How fast can I break this game in this game? I mean, we've tried that before. We've. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, the snoring. Oh, no! Oh. I might be out of hearts now. Bad luck. Game over. Oh, crap. I mean, it's not like we made any pro New game, huh? It's not like we made much progress anyway. How on earth does this work in co-op? I don't know. Surely it's almost impossible. Let's see if there's... Uh... Yeah, maybe that way will take you back to the main menu. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Where does this go? This wasn't Forest Path, was it? Uh, this was... Oh, Major, oh, Major Oak South. Oh. There's a castle. There is. Maybe we can jump off it. Clank. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, there's some water. Drown. Oh, it's just not moving, is it? No. Stagnant. Oh, oh God, right. that scared oh, me. Oh, who's this guy? What? Oh, they've taken my socks. Oh, no. Is this Will Scarlet? What do you reckon? Mm. Yeah, it could be... Alan Adale. Every sheaf of wheat oh, been it's Much stolen. the Miller. Oh, of course, I know that one. I'm pretty sure Much was actually the Miller's son, not the Miller. Well, maybe the, in knows. this sad universe, the Miller's died. Yeah. <laughs> because he, uh, you took too long to get to him. Yeah. They've taken the wheat. Quick. My dad's going to die. Go get them. No, we don't want to. Oh, there's another... Oh, who's this? Who's this now? All of them have something for you to do, but none of them tell you where to go or how to do it. Kiss, 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 kiss. Give them all a kiss, kiss, before kiss, we speak to them. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Whistle, whistle. My bagpipes. It's Ben Barrel. Oh, yeah. My bagpipes. My bagpipes. Bagpipes. Please help. So now oh, I can't go God. that way. No. And I've... I've met all these people and I'm yet to find any one of these items. What are you... I don't understand. Shall I look up at like a walkthrough if there is one? Got it. Uh, you can do if you like, yeah. I'll see if I'll see if there's any information. They took me bagpipes. Uh, Those bastards. Here we go. Oh, no. Want to write your own FAQ? <laughs> no. You can write and submit your own guide. The camera is so horrible. It just constantly tries to reset itself. I'm trying to hold it down so that I can look at this man coming, and then it just starts going up again like that. <laughs> Constantly. I don't even know if he's going to come around the corner completely, or if he's going to... Here he is. Oh, no. No, not after me. After him. Here you go. Have the money. <laughs> he, he didn't even stop and count it. What? Oh, no, I picked it up, I think. Oh. Oh, that's why you said you. You. Right, we want to go up there. Oh, there's another person up there, look. <laughs> That's where I was trying to get to, but all that's going to happen is I'm going to get there and someone's going to go, Oh, God, can you get my dildo back from the guards, please? I've lost it. I've got my, my dildo got stolen. Oh, I'm really bored at night. I've got nothing to shove up my ass. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Peter. My Lyra, it's gone. I told you. Please get it back. Get it back? Has he lost his loot? Yeah, his liar. Oh, no. Why are they all built so weird? I don't know. They're just, they're just so strangely... Like, they've got tiny legs. Their legs are really small. Oh, no, he's after me. Alan, help. Alan! Alan! Please add <laughs> just anything. There he is. There's the sheriff. Who doesn't make an appearance in this game. He's not in it at all. <laughs> just the, all the noises. Right, so... We've been up there. That's Forest Path. Yeah. I think. Uh, You've been through here on the right. Yeah, that's Major Oak North. Yeah. Have we... What is this? This is just a corner with a torch. Just a torch corner. This one's blocked by John Little. Yeah, who doesn't tell us where to go to help him. No. And then up here is Major Oak South, which we've been in. Maybe I have to get keys in all the areas mm. and then take the key to that one locked chest. Oh, maybe. And then you get, what? Everyone's everyone's <laughs> desires are in it. Well, I guess one person's desires will be in it, and that will unlock the next area for me oh, to find the next Christ. person's desires. I mean, knowing this game, it's probably Pandora's box, and it's just going to get worse. Yeah, and, yeah, I think so. You're going to get sucked into the game, and you'll have to live in this world. The best thing is that 
the whole... Oh, I didn't even notice we'd loaded there. Crank. The, the, the whole premise of this game is that Maid Marion has been kidnapped, mm -hmm. but Robin's just fannying around, like, gathering cow hides yes. and sugar. It's like playing RuneScape. It is. It's very RuneScape. It's just like RuneScape. This is the RuneScape of the PS2. <laughs> At least RuneScape had online guides. Yeah, true. The music as well. It's just constant. What are you talking about? Are you not inspired Great. to have an adventure? Yeah, I can't wait for my adventures. Right, and then Friar Tuck's there, and that's it. That's that's the area. That's the whole area. Um, so all I've got is some money to distract guards and our life. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've cleared out Major Oak North. Good to know. It's done. Would you like an Amazon review? Yeah, of course. This is a review from George Sidaris. By the way, eight pounds. <clears throat> Excuse me, eight pounds if you want a copy of this game. Eight pounds? Eight pounds. That's daylight robbery. That's like robbing from the poor to give to the rich. Yeah, well, that's, what's a, that's what happens every time you buy from Amazon, unfortunately. Yeah. It's not very, not very Robin Hood of us, is it? No. However, George Sidaris bought a copy in 2013, and George. George's caption is acceptable. <laughs> Acceptable. And they gave it three, three out of five stars and said, I think that this is a decent game, but do not expect superior graphics and gameplay. It reminded me the days back in the late 80s when I had a Commodore 64 and enjoyed <laughs> a lot such games. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to mark that as helpful. Thank you, George. That was really... I've already cleared this area out. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing at all. The other review from Amazon is from Mrs. Claire Fisher. Claire Fisher. Who, who says, five stars. Can you guess what star rating she gave it? Five stars. She did. It was five stars. Yeah, very good. Oh, great. I, I got it. And her review says, great game, fast delivery. Wow. Five stars. Brilliant. Perfect. Oh, that branch. We just sort of phased. Oh, that was horrible. Forest path. This is the last area that is open to me, and I don't think it's got more than one key in it. So... Right. I don't really know what we're supposed to do beyond this point. Maybe we, once you've got the key, try talking to a person? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to suggest. One thing you can say about this game, though, is, is that it does remind me the days back in the late 80s when I had a Commodore 64 and enjoyed a lot such games. I enjoy a lot such games. I don't remember the music being this spooky before. Can we just edit in the Metal Gear Solid 1 soundtrack instead? Yo! 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 Soldier boy, tell him. Quick, Robin, quick! Got it. Giant key! Got, Got it. it! Peter, Robin Hood's quest received generally very negative reviews. Generally very negative. Yeah. The game is not on Metacritic. So, while Wikipedia does give us a couple of sample reviews... Yeah. We're going to be going to GameSpot. Okay. So, according to 38 user reviews on GameSpot, what is the average review for Robin Hood's Quest? 38 user reviews? Mm-hmm. That's a lot. It is a lot. Um, I think most of them are George Sedaris. Right. Well, you know, he liked such such games or whatever it was. A lot of such games. He did enjoy a lot such games, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've realised, by the way, that the keys are coloured, and I can open that chest over there, which has a bronze padlock. Ooh, okay. Um, in answer to your question, though, based on 38 reviews, I think this game got 38... No, I don't. I think it got worse than that. 20, 25%. Well, they are user reviews, and users are stupid. Uh, they are. 4 out of 10 is the average, so 38 would have been a pretty good guess, actually. It would. Oh, oh you got the, got the silver, silver key, key out of the bronze chest. This is badly made, isn't it? It is. Uh, I'm going to... Now, because we're shaking things up slightly here with the form, the format of the reviews. Oh, oh no! <laughs> do I get to keep my silver key is the big question. Yes, I do. Oh, yes. Excellent news. Oh, you could open up that shortcut for yourself as well if you wanted. See if you can just run through the whole thing. I wonder if you've got... Uh, Can't get in. I wonder if you've got invincibility frames while you're opening chests. Can't get in. Can't get in. So we're not going to go to the top review and the lowest review. I'm just going to read the two review snippets I have from Wikipedia because <laughs> that's all I've got. Okay. Uh, Ace Games with a Z... Awarded a poor 1 out of 10. 
saying, This shambles of a shell of a sham of a wreck of a ruin of a shadow of a dog ate my homework standard excuse for a game was nothing more than an abnormally... Hang, what? Oh, abominably programmed, hideously simplistic, yet almost entirely unplayable piece of garbage. Oh my god. God, that's one of the most scathing reviews we've ever had on Worst Games Ever. It is. I couldn't even read Abominable. Yeah. That's how scathing it was. Oh! And this, oh! <laughs> I think what the sound of the chest woke him up. You've got the gold key now for whatever... Oh, there it is. It's in there. There it is. You can do it. We're going to do this thing. In the same way, Strategy Informer said the best moment of the game was listening to the fantastically laughable dialogue for the first time and wondering if a game can really be this bad. Agrees. Oh, oh bloody hell. There's stuff there. Get it. Down you here. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. I'm doing it. This is your moment. M doing make yourself it well. famous, kid. Climb the ladder. Oh, oh Robin, oh, please. Oh, no, Robin, come on. And we got... Oh, the, the staff! You got the stick for the man in the first area. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a delay. I didn't see the stick. How do you know that? Because it was just a vertical piece of texture that floated up into the sky. It didn't look like anything. I totally missed that. Also, the queue is now green. Hey, the queue is now green. We've got a quest item. Wow, well done. Oh, I can't wait to reunite little John with his little stick. This is this is an exciting moment. What's he going to do? Do you know He's going to move out of the way. I've I've already said this before, but the the probably the most criminal part about this game is that I don't have a flipping bow and arrow. I've just got no some arrows in my back. I'm Robin Hood. What is why don't I have a bow? From what I understand, the bow is used in very select places to distract guards to open gates. Oh, okay. That's what I that's what I think it is. Also, you know that when you go through this area, it's going to open a new area where you have to do exactly the same thing with chests and the last chest will have sugar in it or oh, some definitely. nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Stop robbing us. That evil sheriff won't stop robbing us. Robbing us. Oh, now he's Bye, little John. I can't talk to him anymore. Do you want to come help or no. No. He's got a stick and he, he's got a quarter staff and he refuses to come and help me. Some merry man he is. Oh, Forest Creek. Forest Creek. I've got loads of money to drop off on the floor for people to pick up. There is. Oh, look, there's boats. Oh, wow. That's going to be fun. I wonder if they're moving. I wonder if they've got tiny legged guards in it. Ooh. Yeah, little little boatmen. Oh, Christ. Here's all the. Okay, there's a bronze. Here's all the chests again. And a silver. Oh, there's so many. It's Pac Man. Are you done? It's Pac-Man. I think I have. Have you done all your facts? I've done all my facts. It's over. What a diarrhea of a game. It is uh, it's, it's, it's objectively horrible. Ah, there he is. Off the ah, there he is. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Worst Games. Ever. It's the video game show on the internet where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember, they're not always bad, they're just worse than most. My name is Ben. My name is Peter. And Peter, this week I am the game's victim. True. Which means that I am the game's master this week. <laughs> Peter, what on earth are you going to subject me to this time? Oh, I, I hope you're ready to do a bit of summoning. Oh, no. Ready to summon something. We're playing Dark Souls. Uh, we're, well, you know the word demon? Yeah. You know when you just shove an A in it at random? Right, you ruin it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Demon Summoner. D da da demon Summoner. Daemon. Yeah. Brilliant. I believe it's derived from Greek, the word daemon. What do the Greeks know? Not much. God, idiots. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I said it. All right. God. Yeah, you you did say it. Yeah. Should we play the daemon? Should we do the show? Let's do it. 
No, De Emmon Sum Summoner saved. It. God, this is hard to read, isn't it? It is. is isn't there it? spaces between these words, or is it all just one long word? Yeah, there's a lot of like the spacing between words is equal to the spacing between letters, almost. Excellent. Uh, uh, no, I don't wish. No. Continue without saving. Yes. Are you sure? Oh, you <laughs> bloody hell! You've had three chances here. Yes, I'm really. I'm so sure. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a bit oh, who's, grainy. Who's that? They killed my son, David. Oh my oh, goodness. Have James they dropped this guy's voice with some sort of voice modifier? <laughs> I think they but might have done. Fate was almost a mercy compared to the way they violated my poor the wife. He's got very consistent handwriting, hasn't he? Hang on, can you see her nipples? No. Oh my god, sort of, yeah. They're quite high up. Are those nipples? I think they are. At least one. You can't have those. No. What are you gonna They're illegal. Put them away, woman. Oh, she's animated now, look. Oh, no. Get your nips out, love. Oh, Whoa. oh, don't. No, don't do it. See, that's what you get for your casual sexism. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. How is that cigar staying in there? <laughs> oh, I think he's chewed the end off entirely now. Oh, Christ. I think it's just been glued to his bottom lip and he's eaten the rest of it. Oh. I've got to say, I've never understood the shaved top lip to have rest of beard look. <laughs> yeah. There is no screen here. Should I press a button? <laughs> what? Why? Why is nothing happening? It's just music. I'm assuming this is an emulator thing. Maybe we're at a press start to continue screen? Okay. Let me try. Uh, oh, we sure were. There oh. it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Look at that artifacty font. Look how when it when you highlight them, the the font becomes so bold that the holes in the middle of O's <laughs> and A's get filled in entirely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. Could you repeat that? I can't hear you. Oh, oh what was that? Gonna like Jesus. <laughs> What is going on with the sound effects in this music? This just screams. I don't know. I've got no idea. Oh. I'm going to just immediately skip to a much, much later fact because it's relevant now. Can you shout it at me, please? This is entirely unsubstantiated, but apparently yeah. some of the noises that the enemies make are actually ripped off from id Software's Doom. What? And the main menu theme is stolen from another game called Painkiller, says the Crappy Games <laughs> Wiki. Is it really? Now... Well, is it really? I don't know. I, so I tried to substantiate this, and I couldn't find this music track in the Painkiller OST anywhere. So that might be oh, okay. a citation needed Crappy Games Wiki fact. Crappy fact. Crappy fact. But This is the worst menu I've ever seen. I can't. I don't even... I, presumably it's easier to see with some kind of background image. This is certainly an emulator issue, but even so... Oh, oh. what? This is horrible. Oh, oh, there goes the music. <laughs> it's just <laughs> stopped. <laughs> That's it. It's over. That was very abrupt. They didn't expect you to be on the menu this long, I think. Oh, there's little sounds when the thing is going... Do you hear it? Oh, yeah. yeah there's a tiny little... There's very subtle sounds. Wow. Okay, so should we should we go into the game? Well, Demon Summoner is a video game of... Na oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. So there's not a Wikipedia page for this game. Okay. Except on fr.wikipedia.org oh, There's a French wiki page. So I've translated it and I've deliberately not put it into actual English. I've left it in translated English. Okay. Demon Summoner is a video game of shooting in first person. <laughs> developed by Atomic Planet Entertainment and published by Midas Interactive. Released in 2006. Oh, Midas. Yeah, Midas. Released in 2006 on PlayStation 2. Uh, I also found out it was also released on PC under the title Chronicles of a Vampire Hunter. Oh. Yeah. That's way cooler. So we could definitely start the game now, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for flip's sake. Uh, interestingly, Moby Games lists the publisher. Oh, he's t sorry, he's talking. That's all right. He's not saying anything interesting. He's sort of whispering. Four had already died before this day. At the hands of the mysterious Jack the Ripper. So is this sort of Jack the Ripper time? Is that what's happening? Yeah, well, it's set in autumn or winter 1888, which is exactly the time that Jack the Ripper did his killings. Mm. Weirdly, though, um, 
I saw a, a fact somewhere. I can't remember where it was now. I've been all over the internet to try and find facts about this. Yeah. And one of the facts says the game features a fictional serial killer who terrorises 1888 London called Jack T. Ripper. <laughs> right. Uh, but, I mean, this is confirming that he's he's the real serial killer, Jack the Ripper, not Jack T. Ripper. Right. I don't know what is going on. I'm already really thrown by not just the game, but the things that I brought here as fact that appear to not be true at all. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Well, things can only get better when we start playing the game, right? Yeah, why not? Here, here we go. Oh. oh. What is that hair on the screen there? Oh, it just had a little... I can't hear what? him over the... Oh. <laughs> this is... Why well, she's she got... She's got, like, Emily. string on her. She's, did like, attached to something. She's got, um... She's got weird emulator string. It would... Yeah. Oh, can't... Oh, is that an invisible wall? <laughs> Not allowed any... Hey, look at uh, these reflections, though. Oh, wow. Right, so... <laughs> oh! Shiv. Okay, that's an important one. Uh, how do I aim? L1? I think you're doing it already. This is... Oh, oh, R1, I think I just fired. There was no... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Uh, this is a bit intense, isn't it? Yeah, oh, this is spooky. crouch. Uh, I've got to catch Emily. Right, go catch her. Just follow the string. Yes. Moby Games lists the publisher of this uh, as Play 10 Interactive rather than uh, Midas. Um, Play 10 are famous for nothing else you will have heard of. But Midas Games, of course, uh, ironically named, given that everything they touch turns to sh yeah. The opposite of gold, yes. <laughs> yeah, that will have to be bleeped. They were famous for partly the uh, the animated Disney rip-off games, such as... Oh, my... Oh, oh j -j 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 such a foul stench. Such a such a foul stench. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Get, get. What? What is happening? What? Shoot it. Is this someone's oh, Is this someone's sixth form project? How is it still is it growing? Is it dead now? You took its head off in completely it wasn't even animated its head just vanished in one frame oh 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 it's gone now oh look the poo the poo lake oh, is the, not having a good time moves when you do when you move poo moves the poofs i like how you you started out in what was you know a sort of well not really respectable but like an an okay uh victorian city go. and now you've instantly yeah. been taken underground into a samey maze they made one street yeah Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, look, no. I'm having, a, having a nice time <laughs> in the poo lake, aren't I? <laughs> Midas Games uh, made the the Disney sort of rip-off animation games that were animated by Dingo <laughs> Pictures um, that were more famously done by Phoenix Games. Big. But Midas did a couple of them before they moved over to Phoenix. Ah. Um, so they did the Dalmatians and a couple of others, I think. What an esteemed series. Yeah. They're all down there, look. All the boys. Yeah. A little... They're doing the monster mash over there, I think. Oh. <laughs> they synchronized more. <laughs> Can I stab this guy? What? What? It doesn't... Oh, God. He's got no arm. Oh, he's oh. armless. Oh. oh, no, you've been chomped. The knife does nothing. He's got different colored eyes like a cat sometimes does. Oh, oh. oh there's a head there. Can I have it? And it's not his. You know what? The... The fact that they've got dismemberment in this game, that's okay. Although this is... I keep forgetting this is a PS2 game. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not that good. No, this is like... Oh. It's like someone saw the zombie levels in Time Splitters 2 and thought, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. What year did this come out again? Uh, 2006. Okay, that's too late. Oh, here we go. I can't see what's happening right now, but I'm quickly Googling best game of 2006 to see what else came out. Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Gears of War, oh, Bully. Brilliant. Uh, there we go. Stiff competition. You know, all those. So as we've established, the game takes place in Victorian England in 1888. Yeah. The player plays James Farrington Higgs, a man <sighs> who chases his former wife, who's resurrected as a vampire after the murder of their children, by a group of vampires. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the hero must oh, traverse... Stop it. 
Seven levels no. infested with skeletons, vampires, goblins, no. ghouls, and werewolves. No, I was visually impressed when the game started and we were in London, above ground. Yeah. And if the rest of the game is this, I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs> um, he must eliminate his former wife in order to avoid the... Eliminate? This has been uh, translated from French as well, so, you know. Okay. But, yeah, he must eliminate his former wife in order to avoid the accomplishment of a demonic rite. <laughs> you might be uh, pleasantly surprised to learn, though, that in between these seven levels published by Midas... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, got the sound of the rain. I thought it was someone snuffling through... Hello. Oh, for God's sake. Did you, just, did you just see her yeet across the I building? I did, there? yeah. Attached by string. Oh, no, look at that over there. Oh, God. <laughs> That's our fault, probably. I mean, it doesn't redeem the game. I don't know if that is our fault, to be honest. That that seems like something that could just have happened in, in the PS2 build. Oh, 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 that, oh. oh, hello. Thought that was just a wall, a short wall, yeah, but no. It would have been fine, but no, it's just our, yeah. our, our building. Actually That's looks something. better when it's glitched than, <laughs> than yeah. the intended thing. Oh, God, how big is this area, do you think? Oh, I don't know. It all looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah, it's because it is. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I know. You're right, though, that any one single screenshot of this street, if you'd show me that in... Yeah, like this. Sort of 2006, I guess, or certainly PS2 era, maybe earlier on, I would have been like, oh, wow, this game looks great, but no. If I saw this in a magazine, this this screenshot right here, yeah. I'd be kind of impressed. Yeah. The game's lead artist, Stuart Flint, also worked on the art teams of Ride to Hell Retribution... No. ...and... Mortal Kombat 11. So, you know, oh. both ends of the spectrum there, really. Trading up, I would say. Well done, Stuart. Yeah, good for you, Stuart. This is just... Oh. Like, have I done some? Have I upset someone? Oh, hello, this oh. looks different. Oh, no. Oh, Wait, go <laughs> look at that. What? Look through the fences. Is... Okay, so this is when... Oh, oh. oh! This is when reflections go bad. Who's this fella? Yeah. Oh, there oh he goes. Oh, my God. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so they've got, like, super speed. Are they now going to just walk at me? Hello? Are they vampires? <sighs> yeah. Defeat the vampires. Oh, they're, their feet are sticking out a little bit sideways. Why do these... I'm, 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 oh, hello? Oh. Oh, there she oh. is. It's my What on earth is going on? Look at her feet. Look at oh, her weird feet. Oh, no. <laughs> What's happening with her strange feet? Oh, there she goes. Oh, she's going. She can fly, pretty much. Why is she just... <laughs> oh. What? Objective failed. Level failed. Press start to return to the title screen. No. No way. Oh, for God's sake. Was that it? Oh, you are taking the piss. Oh. I guess you're not supposed to leave that garden area or what back away out of fear oh, I'll, I'll save it this time god's sake this is brilliant this is a really good one oh christ here we go again uh, yeah i know oh. i was here oh it did just say in i didn't even read it properly the first time i stopped at the words jack the ripper but it said an imagined identity created by the dregs so i think the vampires are pretending that there's a serial killer oh. out there, even though they're doing all the killings. Right. So it was a cover-up. Yeah. Oh, look, what's your hand doing? Your hand just went on top of the... Go on the stairs. Oh, oh, it did. What? How does that happen? I don't know. Why is he so fully rendered, and why has he dipped his hands in iodine or whatever? Yeah. Iodine. Let me oh. see if I can speed run this. Excuse me. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, they've all followed you. Hey, hey! Excuse me, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Excuse oh. me, everyone. It's good. We're good. I just take his. Whoop, just take his head off. Oh, this really is tedious, isn't it? Yeah. Excuse me. You've got no head. Oh, oh there, there she, is. she is. We didn't see her last time. Speedrun strats. You ready for scary bones? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna. Fo oh yeah, I forgot. I can't follow her. Um, what's the fastest way to get there, do you think? Right. <gasps> it's right here! It's immediately here. <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, so I guess don't leave this area now. I want to go on that side. <laughs> I guess just kill these guys as soon as you can. I'll try my best. Yeah, I know you will. I don't know how much... Whoa! Defeat the vampires. Oh, for God's sake, they're too quick. 
they're pretty stupid, but they're, they're very fast. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, nice. Oh, for God's sake. Vampires, you know, it's quite famously weak to crossbow bolts. Yes. That's how you kill a vampire, oh. isn't it? You shoot them in the head with a bolt. Damn it, it takes so long to reload. It comes back up, but you're not allowed to fire it yet. It has to draw back first. Yeah. Oh, Christ, it's going through him. Yeah, I'm definitely making contact. He's just... He's just being a big Wilson, isn't he? I mean, I d a lot of people complained on the internet that the hit detection in this game is non-existent, and you can be... Oh. oh! Oh, no. Is this win or fail? This looks like a win. This is a different... <laughs> Do not so let Emily escape. But she can fly. Wait, isn't Which that way did came she from? go? Oh, there she is. There she is. She told you to get away from her. Get away from me! She's running on land again, which makes things. And she's not, you know, going the fastest route, which also helps a lot. Yeah, God, if you cut the corners, you might be able to overtake her. <laughs> oh, she just. Hello? Oh. Uh, oh, no, I'm fighting her. Oh. No! Emily, no! Oh, oh my God! Jesus. The blood effects. <laughs> uh, oh no! This looks like an asset flip. It does. Okay, it? she's you got the her. end. Is that the end I, of the game? <laughs> I killed my wife. Oh! Oh, of course. He's still oh. talking to her though. She left some strings behind there. Hello? Why am I just watching this? Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Level Ed, complete no. demon summoner. Oh my god. Just going to remind you what the game is called. Jesus Jeez. Christ. There was so much, there was a brief period there at the end on the right uh, when we were watching her run away and it looked like her shadow but it was shrunk down it was just on the wall. Oh no. I don't know what that was but oh, there's a little bit of I don't know if it's just uh, look right on the left. Can you see that little bit of white line? Oh my god. Once there I observed my prey as she met with her sire, the vampire Kynes. Boarding an aging steamship. That was he's a bit roboty. Yeah, he does. He really sounds like he's been slowed down and his pitch has been lowered. Yeah. He also did, let's just gloss over the fact he referred to his wife as prey, uh, which was you know <laughs> really cool. Oh. Oh, look at all those flickering stuff there. <laughs> prey. Prey. Or my, my wife. wife. Look at him sneak though. Oh, she's been told off by Captain Hook. You're a bad vampire. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Have you heard of the High Elves? <laughs> oh, it's that guy again. Yeah. Oh, hello? He's looking at the crates. Oh, I've got a real gun this time. Do not be seen or attack any one as the alarm will be raised and you... Okay. And you will never get... It was really hard to... This is this is aim now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, I've got my... Oh. Do not be seen. Do not attack anyone. We've given you a new gun. Do not use it. Do not use the cool new gun or the useless plastic knife. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's fun, isn't it? I read an Amazon review that said the, the, the second level is almost impossible to complete first time. I think it's got like an auto, almost an auto fail mechanic built in. Okay, watch me, watch me complete it. Yeah, I'm watching you. Watch me fin. Oh, oh hello. right. Have oh, that's not seen? where I was, but no, why it's is it... not. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Oh, the the boat's leaving. Oh no! Oh, look, look at the vampire <laughs> on the boat. No! <laughs> oh no! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> and the 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 gangplank as well. There, just hovering. Yeah. Where's he going? I mean, he is a vampire. I guess that's his. his it's just his magical abilities. Oh, what? What even happened? No one even saw me. Jesus. Oh, wow. I do I do so love being kicked back to the main menu when you die. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, my first Unity project. Yeah. Goodness me. I want to see what this um the opening text said again, the, the when you get into the I game. Should... I can't skip this. We have to watch the spooky man. Mm. Oh, good. Okay. Look at my teeth. Rawr. Yeah. Uh do not be seen or attack anyone. The alarm will be raised and you will never get aboard the ship. Oh, good. What if I just swim and just climb up that thing? That looks like a good place to get God, on board the ship. God, that would be ship. a very good way to get onto the ship, wouldn't it? 
It really would. Oh, you can go all the way over here. Wow. We're going to find a new secret in Hidden Discovery. In one of our least favorite games. Look out for Jack T. Ripper. What does that say? Ship builders. Ship builders. Okay. Are they talking about the developers? Because in which case they'd be known as sh** yeah. builders, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> We return to the French Wikipedia article for this game, which has been translated into English. Um, the third section of the article is entitled Home, but I believe it is meant to be reception, like critical reception. Demon Summoner is considered a Kusogi, which is... Oh my god. So that guy didn't see you, but the other guy did. Brilliant. Uh, Look at him go. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but Demon Summoner is considered a Kusogi, which is a comically bad video game. I believe it's a Japanese term. Oh. Oh, no. I, well, mine did Brilliant. just walk towards me. I can't skip any of this. I have to watch the, all of this every time. Demon Summoner is considered a Kusogi. This particularly will have earned him an attic player test. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Right. The article continues referring to the game as he, because of French pronouns. Uh, he was accused of many faults, such as his limited variety of weapons, almost non-existent voice dubbing, his bad graphics for a game dating from 2006, the excessive presence of invisible walls, or his short lifespan. Oh, wow. Right, so you've also got some sort of lantern mechanic in the top left look. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I've got none of them. Go behind that guy and slip through there. Oh, oh what? for God's what? What? sake. What? I entered the warehouse. I entered the warehouse. <laughs> An immediate... Oh, look, they're fighting you. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. They're taking swings at me. <laughs> oh, there goes Floaty Boy. Yeah, we love Floaty Boy. He's, He's one of my, my favourite Worst Games Ever characters. Float Man. Yeah. Man. I am just going to try and shoot them this time. I know it doesn't want me to, but I want to do it. Okay. I entered the warehouse. <laughs> Boof. While you're doing that, while you're shooting them, I'll read some sort of reviews. Okay. Yes, please. No Metacritic page for this game. Um, I found a few scattered reviews across the internet. Most of them didn't actually have numerical ratings. They were just sort of written pieces about the game. But mm -hmm. we first go to uh, someone called Foxy on Absolute Games, ag.ru, a Russian website, Okay. who wrote a full review of this game in Russian, which I've translated. He summarized with, frankly, I would disdain to put a cup of coffee on the disc with Demon Summoner. Wouldn't even use it for a coaster. No. What do you think he rated the game? Uh, one out of 10. Uh, one out of 100. <laughs> Oh, okay. 1%, which um, the website has a thing where with every uh, numerical rating, it, it applies a word like, you know, perfect or great or excellent or whatever. 1% got it the word disgustingly. Disgustingly. This is a disgustingly game. I want to know what happens if you shoot Boat Boy. Float Boat oh, Boy. No, oh. oh, there we go. Okay. I entered the warehouse. <laughs> I love that his hat falls off. That's the best thing. Yeah, well animated. Just let me out. God's sake. Please let me out. Oh, restart. Hang on. <gasps> I think I managed to pause it during the game over screen. Oh, brilliant. Oh. 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 Oh, what's this screen? Oh, no. This doesn't look like a good screen. Oh, have I broken it? Uh... <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Don't die, so what do you say? <laughs> We're definitely back. Ah. <laughs> There's no missing it. Ah. 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 You're on oh. difficulty easy, by the way. Yep. I'd love to play this game on hard mode. Oh, Christ, can you imagine? I think you just get a game over screen when level 2 starts at that point. Wow, those were some real interesting mm -hmm. graphical glitches there. Wow. They are good ones. Classicgames.net rated to get... I guess, I mean, like I say, these are sort of not really ideal in terms of critical reviews, but Absolute Games was 1% and was the lowest. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the highest one I could find, or the only other one I could find. Classicgames.net. What did they give the game? Um, they gave it 3 out of 10. They give it more than that. They give it 40%. Okay, that's still an acceptable score, I think. 
I mean, it's not. I think they were rating it retroactively. I think they they sort of play older games, like retro games. Um, right, and, and in hindsight, this game holds up really well. Yeah, uh, and the summary was, I want my money back. It's been a decade since I bought Demon Summoner, and I'm still bitter. Chances are you've never heard of this game, with good reason. Let it stay forgotten in video game history. Keeping low, I'm moving as quietly as I could. I entered the warehouse. I've entered the warehouse. Which? Oh, there's a rat. Wow. Find somewhere to hide. He's oh, no. Sprinting. Oh. Where are the boys going? What on earth? This is where I need to go. Uh... I've got one Amazon review here. Okay. Uh, from Arpad Love. Yeah. Arpad Love gave the game five stars. Okay. And said, "Perfect for a rainy day." <laughs> <laughs> In what world? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, hello. Where's oh, my walkway no. gone? Walkway. What? Hello. Walkway. Why is it? Like, like a, why is it a downward slope? I've never seen that before. Am I safe following this oh. guy? Little stick. Which door am I going to over there? The stairs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there is a guy on the left. Look. You gonna walk all the way down, my dude? He's got strings. He has got strings. They might all be walking. Yeah, they're doing. Oh, oh hello. Okay. No, please don't come this way. Oh. Okay. Oh no. It's all right. His cone of vision is based on. On nothing. Not that. So we're all good. Oh, oh, what? No. Who saw me there? I went round the corner. Oh, strings. Absolutely oh. outrageous. I was so close that time. You were. Okay, well, I've got one final thing to read, and you can play as, as much or as little as you want yeah. from now on. Um, <laughs> Great. So Eurogamer's John Walker uh, didn't provide a percentage for this game, but did do a write-up on it. And part of that said, mm -hmm. uh, it's too much far too much. How did it happen? I got in touch with the developer and asked. We were told to, he replied, before adding, well, okay, slightly more substantial answer. This is somewhat the destiny of being a small independent studio that has to pay wages and for office space that hasn't got the resources behind it to develop their own IPs. It seems like a vicious circle of trying to make money from outsourced projects to pay for staff to make outsourced projects. And if you're not careful, it can lead to a dark place. It seems that Demon Summoner was made in around three months, which is extraordinary. The first person engine was already in place, but they put together an entire game, no matter how dreadful, in just a few weeks. That's crazy. It explains a lot. I'm, I'm glad that they spoke so, uh, you know, candidly about it. Yeah. Interesting. So there you go. The, uh, the studio weren't proud of this. I had to pay the bills. Imagine anyone being proud of this. Yeah. Goodness me. This is my last try. Okay. I think it's this guy who saw me last time. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, that's why. So it's random. Did he not do that before? No, he stayed there last time. He stayed still. Keeping low and moving as quietly as I could, I entered the warehouse. He said that twice this time. He's already said that. Hide! This worked last time. Wow. Some real good shadows over there. Oh. Oh, that is just so ugly. <laughs> if I wait here for him to come and turn left, then I can just go for it. Oh, can yeah, I yeah. fall down? Oh, my God, I might be able to fall down. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you have to quickly duck into the left before yeah. his other matey comes down here. What? Oh, I think it might just be proximity based. Okay, that's I it. I don't think there are vision cones. I think it's just... That's it. It's, it's over. If you get within two feet of a... You get in the radius. Yeah. God. Oh, awful. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's a show where we play terrible video games that have been sent in by... Uh, I'm Peter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. I'm it's Peter. That was fun, wasn't it? I'm Peter, and with me, who's this? <laughs> it's me. I'm Ben. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. Uh, ben, we've got uh. two roles on this show, haven't we? Two roles. Yeah. What are you? I'm, uh, I'm the game's victim. Oh, 
And uh, what are you? What are you, mate? I'm, I think that makes me the game's master. Oh. <laughs> What does that mean? Well, as the game's master, I've brought along a terrible video game. Brought, uh, brought in. Brought, I brought in a terrible video game. Brought from home that was then taken to a post office and sent to us mm. by the viewers. And now I'm giving it to you to play today. Uh, talking of bringing in and the fact that you know we're we're talking sort of in a virtual sense right now because me and you aren't in the same room. Mm. Hence the Billy Ray and Dick Machinko PNGs on screen right now. Some people seem to have forgotten that. And I, we had more than one comment in the previous episode saying, oh, I really miss you guys having face cam in the, in the bottom corner. Um, when are you guys going to carry on <laughs> doing... Like, you bring it back next week. You should bring it back. And Yeah, yeah, sure. I replied from the official account saying, uh, the reason we're not sitting next to each other on a table is because there is a disease out there that's killing people. Uh, and yes. You know, we're supposed to keep at least two meters apart. Uh, so absolutely, we're going to continue shooting the show in this way with PNG representations of not even our actual own faces mm -hmm. for the time being until it's safe to do so when we're playing the game. Talking of playing the game, what game am I going to be playing today, then? <laughs> it's Charlie A. Le Chocolat Tree. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> uh, Charles, it's, Char it's Charlie and his chocolate factory with strange Johnny Depp uh, man oh. as. Uh, uh, you know the man as Charlie from the you know Charlie from the Chocolate Factory as played by uh, Johnny Depp as played by Tim Burton's uh, best friend yes Johnny Depp yes absolutely uh, it looks great and you're going to play it uh, now oh right now okay yeah let's go excerpts used with permission by the Roll Dahl Limited I often forget it was a Roll Dahl book yeah interactive entertainment Warner Brothers. Goose. 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 Oh, who's this guy? Whoa, Whoa. gnarly. Oh, rad. Look at the game station. Oh my God, the sound effects. <laughs> what is happening? Is this... Oh my God, he's going to die. Oh no, he's fine. Sorry, is this a video what? game? Is this a logo? That was a logo, that. What on earth? Oh, we'll learn about them in a minute. Don't worry. Why is it all black and white and menacing and ominous and sad? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Straight in. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 what? Okay, well, that was misleading. The music just cut. Took us to another menu screen. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a science fact for you. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a 2005 video game which was released on the mm -hmm. Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and Microsoft Windows platforms. Wow, that's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of consoles back when uh, sort of video game tie-ins for movies. They just they just put them anywhere they could. They did, didn't they? Microwave, uh, microwave you know, fridge, fridge, smart fridge. Yeah, uh, wood, just bits of wood you could play them on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the back of your grandma's head. Yeah. The front of your grandma's head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The bottom of an avatar shoe. Mm-hmm. It was all there. Wabam. 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 There it is. You can get look, the cinema volume. That's good, isn't it? What does that mean? I'm assuming that means cin cinematics? Yeah. New game. <laughs> Checking for what is that? our memory card. What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's still doing oh, it's it. Happening again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's find out. This white mist at the moment could be from the film itself. It could be CG. Those look like real people to me. Oh, the way they're moving. Oh, my God. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, that's worse. Yeah. Look at the size of their hands. Oh. Charlie was the luckiest boy. Charlie was a lucky <laughs> boy. <laughs> we just want you to sort of uh, sound like every word you deliver is your last dying breath. Yes. Not since he closed it up and sent us all home. I know. Hang on, is this Grandpa Joe? Yeah. Why is he not in bed? With his massive nose and ears. Oh, you're right. Why is he not? He's not supposed to get out of bed until later. Oh, here he is. I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit. What did you make of Willy's very strange uh, Karen hair in this game? Oh, I don't know. I I do like Johnny Depp's portrayals of a lot of characters, but I don't know if I really liked his Willy Wonka. Hmm. Yeah, a bit creepy. It's all very creepy. In the books, is he American or is it just never specified? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever read it. Okay. Daddy, I want a golden ticket now. 
The third was found by Violet Beauregard. This sounds like... Oh my god. Violet Beauregard. This sounds like the actual movie cast. We've got a fact about that. An idiot can do it. Charlie's dream of an idiot can do it. Right. Could you do it, Peter? No, but then I'm not an idiot, so... Uh, okay, well, I suppose that's the problem, isn't it? That's why I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, here's another science fact for you. It was mm. developed by High Voltage Software <laughs> wow. and published by Global Star Software. Can you guess what happened to these two companies? They went down. <gasps> they yell in timber. Glo not yet. Global Star Software was absorbed by juggernaut publisher 2K Games in 2007. Oh. And unlike many other PS2 worst games developers, High Voltage Software is still going. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Their most recent game was Zombieland Double Tap Road Trip in 2009, and they seem to have made a nice living porting high-profile games to other platforms, such as Mortal Kombat X and Saints Row 4. They were also, this is a fun one, the developers of LEGO Racers on PS1, PC, and N64. LEGO Racers, that's a good one. Yeah, there you go. So here we are, we're Charlie, Big Head, Big Head Charlie. Big Head Charlie, Big Hand Charlie, you know what they say, oh. Big Hands, Big Feet, oh, oh. Oh, look, if I oh. just... That's not me wiggling the stick. That's me just very gently pushing it in, in a direction. Oh, he's coming for us now. The camera can't back no, up No, 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 no. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I really <laughs> don't like it. Oh, my God. Um, let's see. Can I climb this? Oh, yeah. Can you do... Can you... Can you... Oh, what? oh camera. Oh, can you do weird... Uh, Edmund. Yeah, Edmund-style pole dancing. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This... It really... We really... Oh... It loves this lamppost. Is this the whole game? Yeah, I think so. Brilliant. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Oh my god, I pressed the square. I can throw... I can throw the snowballs. Velocity, the, the flipping velocity of that. Yeah. The noise. Get, get me some of that. Jesus! It's, there's a supersonic, those. Oh my god, the, it doesn't like the physics over there. No, they don't like falling on each other, do they? Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what country are we in? Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused. Roll, are you there? Hello? Mr. Dahl? Oh, look, the, the doll... Oh, oh it's huge! I mean, it's nicely animated, at least. It's sort of billowing. Get it. But... It's right there. Oh! Oh, my God, are you okay? Follow it. Oh, can I throw a snowball at the snowman? Try it. Oh, he's a bit, he's a bit sad. Oh! Oh, you okay. killed him. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's the game. Oh, you probably need this for a puzzle. Oh, almost certainly. It is a bit like the Narnia game, isn't it? Riding the snowballs. Yeah, it is. You have to knock the money off the fence. What, like this? Oh, okay, well that works. Look at the size of those feet. Yeah. You know what they say, big feet, big weird looking head. Big head, big hands, tiny eyes. Yeah. Sad face. I don't, I don't like, I don't like anything about this boy. I'm, I'm gonna say it. Yeah? I'm glad cholera got Charlie. <laughs> You don't care that he's got rickets. Yeah. Hey, come back here. Oh, we... come on now. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, do I actually have to get a snowball? No. No. Oh, a box. Is that a box? Yes. Just triangle to use this very, very easily pushable box. It might be faster to just run it down the street. Oh, oh my God. God. Why is it so heavy now? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, I don't like that either. <laughs> there's a, there's oh. a lot. Oh, get out of there. Oh. There's a lot of things that are very wrong with Charlie. Yeah. He's got all Char of them. He's got every disease. He's like Mr. Burns. <laughs> He's got all of those uh, Victorian illnesses. Yeah. Come here. I have a feeling that even if we record for an hour, we might only just get into the chocolate factory at the end. I feel like there's going to be a whole load of fiffing and Crap. faffing around. Well, there's a good thing. It's a good thing that I have a synopsis of each of the levels, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh! Oh, oh! oh no, is it, a, is it a slip and slide? I don't think you're ready for this bit of the game, Peter. Oh, no? Are we going to... Oh, oh, Christ. Going to ride the chimney drafts. Oh, I mean... Almost! Got it! Oh, no! Oh, he's not even fallen yet. Ah! He got it. Oh. Overwriting data. Do not remove memory card. Oh my god. Formatting memory card. <laughs> Sending porn to mum. Mo <laughs> <laughs> Making a porn time call to mum. <laughs> Most of the main cast from the film provided their voices for the game, except for Johnny Depp. 
as James Arnold Taylor was used in his place as the voice of Willy Wonka. Because as we know, he's got an official sound alike. Oh, it is a slip. And st- oh, hey, no. Hey, remember this from the film? Hey, remember this from the Narnia game? Oh, This is just the Narnia game, isn't it? It, it is, just from a different perspective. Do these guys just all share the same... Oh. I mean, oh, they're inevitably all made on, on some engine, some probably Unreal or something. It's like how people say, oh, my God. oh you know, um, Aldi's own cheese crackers are made in the same factory as Jacob's cream crackers. That's what this, this game is. It was right. just made in the same factory as the Narnia game. Hey, request for you. Yeah. Get hit by a Wonka truck. Oh, yeah, good idea. Oh, my God, this is not safe. Where does he live? Oh, Jesus. I'm sort of hitting things on purpose. I think he lives in he lives in that wonky house, doesn't he? Willy Wonky The Willy house. Wonky house, yes. <laughs> the Wonky Willy house. <laughs> I'll have one wonky bar, please. <laughs> Let's get hit by a truck. Oh. oh, oh, that's it. Boundary break, boundary break. Get out of there. <laughs> can we stop? We can come to a complete... Charlie, just get off it. Charlie, stop. Charlie, stop. We already know the dollar bill is going to wait for you. Charlie in the stoplet factory. <laughs> oh. oh, is that it? Did you die? He I got may it. have died. <gasps> got him. Oh, and conveniently, he did it. He was already by the candy stoat. I think it just said on, on the <laughs> Brilliant. audio there. <laughs> they also just played a little bit. Whoa, that's horrible! It, it looks is. like art from um, what's that game where you have to survive? Don't, Don't starve. starve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the serial code on that dollar. Real one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why have we got a completely different animation style for cutscenes now? Oh no. Yeah. That'll be one hundred dollars, please. <laughs> A golden ticket, the very last one. Ticket. Golden ticket. A golden ticket. You know what? We might actually make it to the factory. Oh my god, this is it. God, they don't mess around, do they? You just have a little jaunt around a city, you're climbing on uh, boxes and oh. sliding down on dust. Bar. Oh no! My god. <laughs> See, they've actually tried to make these kids look horrible. <laughs> they've just done it in a Burton style, haven't they? Yeah. Oh. oh, she's the worst one. Oh my god, it's Heihachi. Hang on, Mike. That's a different hair colour than Mike had even in the animation that we saw. Yeah, it is. Why is he blonde now? I don't know. And where are the kids' parents? Why is only Grandpa Joe coming into the factory? I don't know. And Oh, and why is oh. Willy Wonka a woman? Oh. Why, why is it Wendy Wonka? <laughs> I am jealous of his hat, though. And it's good. It's a good. That's the same. That's the same pose he was just doing. It is. And those candy cane trees look delicious and not at all like. Look at the mushrooms. Alien tentacles. Yeah, it all looks very horrible, doesn't it? Yeah, this is way more sinister than the film was, which was already quite sinister. Yeah. Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. Would you like a synopsis for each of the chapters? Yes, please. Here we go. Each level has the following goals. Oh God. Her hair's... Oh, the hair. When Augustus Blue heard that, he was determined to drink his fill. Just one. He was determined to drink his fill. But even that proved too little for Augustus. Please, boy, please. What did, the, what did he say? It proved too little for Augustus. Okay, I misheard him. I thought he said something really bad there. Oh. I feel like we're skipping very large sections of the film. Yeah, I was going to say, why did Grandpa Joe not suddenly miraculously discover that actually he didn't need to you know, be in bed anymore. Yeah. Oh, well, his mum's not here, so no one cares. No. Each level has the following goals. Charlie must help Willy Wonka remove Augustus Gloop from the pipe above the Chocolate River. Roll Violet Beauregard to the juicing room and juice her. <laughs> Follow Veruca Salt down the chute and save her from the incinerator. Oh, my God. And free Mike TV after... This is not a well-written Wikipedia article, this one. And free Mike TV after shrinks himself by repairing the television <laughs> chocolate machine. Throughout the game, the Oompa Loompas must help Charlie return the chocolate factory back to normal by fixing the mistakes that the self-indulgent children... Children made, as well as deal with rogue robots. Oh. <laughs> because they needed combat, because it's a movie tie-in game. Rogue bots. Yes, that's very good. Should have done that. You should edit the article. I should, yeah. Stick it in. Right. We found a $10 bill, mm. and then gameplay paused, and they ran a cutscene. And now Augustus Gloop is stuck in the pipe. Like, yes. that is about half an hour of the film there. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, look at him. Oh, that's awful. At least they cut to the chase and got to the 
the chocolate factory. You know. I mean, true. I would have been very disappointed if not. Was that an Oompa Loompa? Yeah, Ooh. there they are. Are they that? They're not that small in the film. No, they're not. Right. Okay. I don't know if that was problematic or not, but I feel uncomfortable. I think the gong that went off made it a bit worse than it could yeah, it be. Yeah, did actively <laughs> make it worse. There's no sweets. There's no chocolate anywhere. It's just... It's it's just a... This is just the Teletubby land with some candy canes. It is. There's nothing here. This is sort of a dead tree. This is like when uh, Scar is in charge of the Pride Lands. All the yeah. trees turn into this. It's horrible. This is, uh, this is Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory... This is an urban. This is an urbex video. It is, isn't it? Of some teenagers breaking into the chocolate factory twenty years after it gets put out of business. It is. It's like yeah. It's the Tots TV. It's the Jelly Tots TV factory. The Jelly Tots factory. <laughs> it is. There's so many text boxes. I want to yeah. play some gameplay, please. Why does Willy? Why is Willy looking for candy? Candy you ingredients just, are located. Just make some more. Oh jeez. Okay. Right. So we need to search the meadow for some. Umpa Lumpers. What is this? Uh, a candy ingredient. Oh, well done. Oh, there's one. What do you think? Um, they're so small. Why are they so much smaller than normal? I can command them. Work, follow, wait, info. Oh, clap, clap. Oh, don't clap at it. That makes things way worse. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no. It's... <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get Jesus. a good shot of him. He's he's very hard to track. Maybe get him up on a hill. There he is. See if you can find any more Rivumpy Lumpers up here. Mm. Oh, there he was. That was him. Oh, nyom. Tell an Oompa Lumpa to work. <laughs> I don't think I want to, but... No, it can't make it work. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at those. Why are they so... Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, can you make them both bow at the same time? Oh, I should have done. Oh, okay. Can you Get to work. Can you make it work? Can you make it work? Oh. I'm pretty sure wow. me and Willy Wonka could have done that. We could have gone and yeah. pressed those. Oh, look at the texture building up. No. Oh, the layers. He looks so sickly. He looks like James from James and the Giant Peach. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Just all pale and big-headed and frightening. Press square to throw a gobstopper. Oh my god, is that going to blow up? Why is it flashing? Oh, it just... I don't know, it stopped. Can I go through here now? It's like a thermal detonator. There's another oompy. There's a, I see three oompies. Yeah. It's Wonka Vite. Oh, for oh, God's fuck. sake! Bugger off, Willy! Running out of steam. You can use a gobstopper to stun it, or have my Oompa Loompas catch some for you. Chase after a Wonka Vite, full of energy, which makes it hard to catch. Quite refreshing, running out of steam. So it's health, is it? Brilliant. What is that horrific concoction on your right there? That weird sea slug tree. This thing. Yeah. What is that? I don't want to eat that. That's awful. Oh, I found a Wonka Vite. Oh, it's running away. Oh, screw that! You don't need health that badly, do you? You've got one. Oh, shut up! <sighs> clap, 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 clap. You worked out what you meant to do yet? Nope. Okay, well, it'll be somewhere in Tubby Land. Oh my Christ. Ben, lolly doodles restore candy power, <laughs> apparently. I don't give a flying frick. Yeah. Did you know that this game features an original composition, courtesy of the original God of War, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, and the Little Big Planet series composer, Winifred Phillips? Oh, Winifred Phillips, well done. She's done some amazing work. And, uh, I mean, I can't say that this music is bad. It's just a shame that the game is so dreadful. Where have my two lumpers gone? Maybe they're stuck down below you? In the river. Can you confuse the lumpers, yes, to f follow you into the river? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, Google. Can I kill my lumpers? My lovely lady lumpers, check them out. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't think so. Oh, they're lumpers. coming. Oh god, we're gonna watch them sprint over the hill. Are you? Oh <laughs> Christ! Oh no! <laughs> it's Wonka Vite. Oh god. You think oh. maybe the Oompa Loompas can catch the Wonka Vite? Oompa Loompas. <laughs> I'm sure they'd give it to you if they did. So do I just need to get loads of Wonka Vite? Is that? Is it filling any kind of bar up? Like, 
work. Wow, one just came right to you. I'm not even sure how to actually get them to catch it for me. I can only um, I can tell them to work, but that doesn't seem to seem to do it. Rated three and up. Yeah. Right. So now there's one on the loose. If yes. I say work. No. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh no! He's bringing he nearly, it back. He nearly flew into the chalk room. Splendid work. Hey! But I'm afraid Augustus isn't out of the plumbing yet. He's gumming up the jelly bean stock room. He must be sorry, stuck. sorry, Willie. What are you? That's Hello. Good. Right. So, do we go to that door now? Yes, that's a safe assumption. See if you can take your my lumps. Yes. Check them. Check, check them out. out. If you found a lump, uh, consult a physician. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could always check for lumps on a regular basis. Yes. Both your get familiar testicles and your lady lumps. Yeah. Check them. Check them. And check them regularly. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh no, the lumpers! <laughs> oh, oh no! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor boys or girls. Yeah, they could be. They could be girls. They could. This is really good. Uh, just a reminder, maybe this is the next chapter here. Roll Violet Beauregard to the juicing room and juice her. Well, I think... Oh, don't. <laughs> I think he said that uh, Augustus Gloop is still stuck in the in the plumbing, so... Oh, great. So we've still got to deal with this silly boy. So many problems. I never caused problems when I was a child. I waited till I was a grown-up. Look what he's doing to my jelly bean stock. It's wilting. This guy is um, he's just mentally ill, isn't he? He is. I mean, here's, here's a question. Hmm. Why is the chocolate pipe being blocked affecting the jelly bean stock? Surely the jelly beans have nothing to do with chocolate. You would think so. Not all the Oompa Loompas are alike, you know. Seems to me like a uh, really poor infrastructure here in the factory, really. God, they had to really inject a lot of unnecessary, well, they were necessary in the sense of padding it out, but they had to inject a lot of gameplay mechanics into this game to turn mm. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory into a video game adaptation. Yeah. There's Harvesters, Ben. They're perfect for gathering candy. Great. Love it. Tell me more. Oh, I wish I could. Would you like another science fact? Yes, please. GCX Films holds the GameCube speedrun for this game. How fast did they finish it? Oh, I think the fact that there are only four children to deal with in this game. Oh, for God. Grandpa, I'm trying to grab a candy. Um, I think the fact that there's only five children to deal with. A generator. Oh, please, Willy. <sighs> Wait, what? Wonka bots. It makes Wonka bots, but are never more than they need unless they need more. What does that mean? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, now the Wonka bots are harvesting the trees, even though the harvester lumpers can also right. harvest the trees. Who watches the Watchmen? Am I right? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think the fact that there's so little, there are so few children in this game to rescue. I bet you could finish this in like 26 minutes. Well, you're not you, you're not wrong in your thoughts, but the time is off slightly. Right. Uh, the speed run record for this game is 59 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, okay. I guess there's a lot of padding where you get the robots to harvest the. Yeah, this. What is happening? For instance, <sighs> uh, they're very clingy at first, curling about, sort of throw jelly bean pickup, throw a vine oh. ball, candy slip. Oh. I feel like I'm getting older. What is this now? I can select. Oh, you can throw different kinds of candy. So do I? Do I throw this? Is it like a bug's life? Is it going to grow? Where did it? Why did it just bounce off the wall like that? There we go. What? Oh. What did I? Great. So now, Willy is just getting you to work in his factory. It just makes a bit of grass. What? He is just getting me to... Oh, look at this now. To go and do that, I right guess. Right there. That's probably something. I bet this is the only thing you needed to do in that whole planting stuff was just a misdirect. Yeah, probably. Misdirect. Oh, no, the pipes are broken, I think. Oh, look at that. Why does this place exist in the chocolate factory? What what are those made out of? Oh, hang on. Is this where I put my... Yeah, possibly. Um, no, it's not. It's really not doing much, is it? Vents can be plugged with jelly, beanstalk, vine oh, ball. can you throw a ball at it? Nobody's aiming... Oh, there we go. You can aim like that. Right. 
Oh, that's the stuff. No, that didn't apparently do it. No, it's screwing on top. There's such a cacophony of... <laughs> oh, oh, for God. God's sake. <laughs> Is this a jelly bean stalk vine ball that I've got? I don't... Yes. Jelly bean stalk no, candy. Press candy. circle to throw trap. Press triangle to pick up vine ball. Do we have to get a robot to walk into the trap? I don't know. Yes, apparently so. And then it becomes a... A ball. <laughs> what? Can you pick that up? A triangle. Oh, for God's sake. And then you throw the ball. This is so unnecessary, all of this. <laughs> Can you even aim it? Oh. Oh, God. Ow. Okay, hang ooh, on. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's ruined. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh, it's lost. It's lost forever. <laughs> that robot is. I think you might have broken it now. I don't know if the robot will respawn. <laughs> so I can ask for another one, I guess. Or can we'll I? Ask. We'll ask. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there we are. Okay. God, I bloody hate this. Me too. This is not what I expected. It's way worse. I thought this was going to be. Oh, careful Oh, now. no. Just a whimsical platformer. It's so sensitive. There it is. Okay. Right. Easy does it. Yes. Right. That's one. I think I've got to do two more. How? How? How way, Wilbur? This is the the most padded game I think we've ever played on Worst Games Ever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not the worst game we've ever played. It's not the best game we've ever played. It's not the worst controls or the worst visuals, but it's just so forced. Oh, oh nice. Look at this guy. He's still, he's still having fun, this guy. Having a great time. That's what he's for. Yeah. What? Oh! It's coming back. Oh. I'll just sort of roll it up the side a bit more because apparently there's weird stuff going on. It's like golf. Are we playing golf now? Oh, come on. Why? Do I have to hold it? Will he throw it harder if I hold? No. Oh, that looks good. Yes. Birdie. Oh, I don't like the rings of chocolate around his belly. <laughs> is this the point where Augustus dies and can we move on now? Why is he not suffocated yet? Apparently that made the plant happy. Yeah, now we can... Um, There's still a, a Umpa Lumpa following me for some reason. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, is there more to do? Oh, no. no! Okay, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Uh, the game received generally negative reviews from critics. Although reviewers praised the game's enjoyable storyline, music, and presentation, most felt that the control of the characters on screen was awkward at best and the game was too short. Too short. Too short. It's too much to do for me. What was the Metacritic score out of 100%, do you think? Oh, uh, probably generous. I think 60. 35%. Oh, good. Well, that's. I think, that, if anything, that's probably a bit too low. But, God, that surprises me. I bet the highest score was like 60, though. As, uh... As we usually do, I will read you the, the top review and the lowest review, and you can guess what score mm -hmm. you think they gave it. Uh, the top review is from Bonus Stage. It follows the beloved storyline with a wonderful cinematic flair, top-notch audio design, colourful yet simple graphics, and a basic set of gameplay mechanics. However, a lacking of innovation and overall gameplay and graphical polish stunt the game's full potential and leave it as a just-above-average title only fans of the material and or genre <laughs> will find any value in. That is a nothing sentence. They basically said, you'll like this if you like this. Yeah. Um, okay. I like how they said that it was it had very basic gameplay. I mean it's yes. got basic gameplay in so much as it's not very clever or interesting, but it's not basic at all. No. It's way over complicated. It is. Having to trap the robots in this stuff and then immediately <sighs> harvest them. It, oh, it's so weird. Um convoluted nonsense. What do you reckon they gave it? I will stick with 60, I think. It is 60. Yeah. Good guess. Good guess. And the lowest review comes from Gamers Europe. 
So, to sum up, uh, brace yourself for this, Peter. Okay. So, to sum up, it looks like a homebrew Net Eurose demo, sounds worse than a knackered monophonic mobile phone with the crazy frog ringtone on it, moves with all the fluidity and beauty of a giraffe trying to control a pedalo, and is so shatteringly tedious and yawn inducing, you could mistakenly think you contracted narcolepsy while playing it. Oh my god. Um, wow. Scathing. 10%? 5. Oh! Five it's not 5%, five come it's on. It's not. It's absolutely <laughs> not. That write-up is something else. Jeez. Who, where did that come from, sorry? Uh, that was from Gamers Europe, and I have a feeling if I click on it, it might just it might just have you from the future who's travelled back in time. Yeah, almost certainly. To write that review. Yeah. 35% for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, my lump is stuck. Oh no, your lovely lady lumper. Check yeah. her out. There she goes. So quick. <sighs> right, we done? We are done. I'm just trying to get a nice close-up of a of a lump for um Hang on, if I tell him to, to wait. Wait here. There we go for the thumbnail. No, what are you doing? Just pose. Pose for the lovely people at home. Wait. Oh, okay. Is he going to do press-ups push forever? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's something usable in there, probably. Yeah. There he is. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Worst Games. Ever, it's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember, they're not all the worst games ever. Some of them are just worse, worse than most. My name is Ben. And my name is Peter. Peter, this week I am the game's victim. Oh. Which means that this week I am the game's master. And that means that I have brought our game along for you to play and have a horrible time with. Brilliant. To be fair, uh, this one might be verging on these aren't always the worst games ever, they're just worse than most. It's Okay. It's it's not good. It's not good. I have the reviews to prove it. But mm -hmm. today, Ben Potter, you will be playing the PlayStation 1 Toy Story game. No, no. Not that one. That That's oh, a good okay. one. That's a really good one. Um, that is a good one. The other one, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Oh my God. Is yes. is that, is he, is, is he, is he a bad one? Uh, he, what, is Buzz a bad one? The character? Yeah, is he a bad, yeah, is he a bad one? Yeah, this is the, this is the Star Command game where you go around and just sort of, it, it's like, it's about eugenics and, um, you, you murder lots of small innocent animals, mm -hmm. um, you, uh, you don't, you don't pay your taxes, you yeah. send your money to, to a, a special, a special bank account somewhere. Right, on the Cayman, on the Space Cayman Islands. Yeah, that's that, that's it. He's a bad one. Uh, oh great! Do you want to see just how bad he is? Y yeah. Let Let's go then. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness! Oh, what's no? What's happening? Bits. Oh. Do you remember when Activision? Oh Jesus! <laughs> remember when Activision used to be good? No. Oh okay. Oh hello. It's this fella. It's him. It's the Traveller's Tales undisclosed creature of... Yeah. He's sort of an amalgamation of... I think he's been stitched together by a maniac. He always looks like the mascot of a platformer that never was. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Buzz Lightyear. And ever vigilant, leaping into action. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at him leap into action, though. <gasps> Plonk. So this is just a clip from... Oh no, it's not. The adventures of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Oh, I remember this. It was a great theme tune, to be fair. It was. For some reason, they had Earthworm Jim in it as well. Yeah, he was in it. And then there was the big, I was going to say the big fat red one, but that might be racist because maybe all of his species are that big. Yeah, exactly. You can't say that. No. You just say the red one. Oh, that's reckless. Oh, no. 
Here we are. Oh, Disney Pixar. This is a less bitty overture, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this version of the theme. Mm-hmm. Oh, da, 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 da. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is an action platform video game released in 2000 for PS1, Dreamcast, Windows Puck, and Game Boy Color. Oh, Game Boy Color, huh? Oh. But I'm imagining the Game Boy version. We, lo we love to oh. be able to adjust this one. This is the setting we all loved. What is that? It's not... What? It did, oh. How did... What? Oh. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Why? What? That is not how that should work. Oh, no. Why is this even allowed, though? Let's oh. go... Can we go this way? We can't go right. We can go left, sort of. Why does it just move the arrows sometimes? What on earth? I don't... I think that's an... Emulator issue, surely. I don't know where the bottom of the screen is now. Well, if you press triangle, it'll just revert, I hope. Oh, okay. Difficulty. Cadet. Whatever that means. <laughs> the Cadet Islands. Yes. Where Buzz stores his money. Yeah. Joe Ad. Are we going to Jode? Jode, yes. Yeah. Got a big old Jode. Uh, sure. Go to go to Jode and find out. Oh. Hang on. Before you... Before we... Well, this is fine. Before we get into... Oh, my Lord. Oh, is this is this guy? <laughs> it's just Buzz with a tash. I think he's in disguise. It's not a good disguise. You start with a standard issue laser. Standard issue laser. Laser. Galactic Alliance credits or GAX for short. GAC. Right, I'm going to talk over this guy because it doesn't matter. Go on. What do you expect is going to happen in this quote-unquote action platform video game? What do you think it's going to be like? Um, I think I'm going to run in, in pretty much one direction and shoot things and jump. Well, you 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 are right, but wrong in a different way to what you expect. Um, I still he's still going. He is still going. You are going to run in one direction and shoot things, uh, but there will be a constraint that you do not expect, or a or a game mechanic. Yeah. Um, you lose, Ranger. Oh my God! Get shut up. Oh, oh so be whip. Cartoon. The game features um, fourteen clips from the animated 14. TV Fourteen. Yeah. Count them. Oh no. Stop. In the name of Star Command. Is that Patrick Warburton? Sorry, no can do like you. Sorry, no can do like you. Chase him. Uh, was that? Was that? Hang on. Am I not Patrick? Answer me. Yes. Am I Patrick Warburton? Yes. Am I? Yes, you are Patrick Warburton. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to control on the D-pad. What? A Hello? That costs ten. Oh, I don't have ten. Do I? I thought he had a wrist-mounted laser. Well, no. You start with your standard issue laser. Okay, fair. Now Come the constraint me. that you might not have even realised is that. You're actually supposed to... Oh, my God. Uh, well, that was perfect thumbnail material. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. I can't... There's... A, it's just... It's, you just... Oh, it's tank controls. I don't like it. And there's no lock on. What's this gun? Uh, I don't know. Shoot it. Oh, it's that one. It's worse than the other. How, how can I even hope to be accurate with this thing? I can't... I've just got to sort of spin and hope. What well, you might not have realised, and you can probably see in the top left... Oh, God. Top left of the screen is that this is actually a pursuit game. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you yeah. need to... Oh, he's still going, huh? Okay. You, he goes, and you need to beat him to the end of the level uh, or be there within 15 seconds of him arriving. Right. Otherwise, okay. that's it. What is, what is this? What... Oh, oh my Jesus. God. Okay. So yeah, Buzz has wings. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, you missed the alien. Tubular, I don't care. I've got to chase this man, right? On your hoverboard, yeah. So Buzz has wings and a, a wrist-mounted laser, neither of which he really uses in this game. He does, you can unlock his wings briefly, like this hoverboard. Wow, Look this how guy slow is, he's, he's going. He's really slow. <laughs> this is it. Doing mad stunts on my pedal bike. I will not be... Ugh. Yeah, oh God, it's so hard with the D-pad. God, this thing lasts for ages, this hoverboard. I thought it would run out soon, but apparently not. Much like the acclaimed Toy Story 2 for PS1, yeah. uh, this game was developed by Traveller's Tales and published by Disney Interactive and Activision. Uh, that team collectively... All oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. She's awakening things inside me, Peter. Ow! Soften him up for you, Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Thanks, Mira. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna stare at him for a bit. 
So that collective team also. What is that noise? <laughs> to produce Toy Story Racer as well. Which was... Yeah, everyone loved that. Excuse me. Ow. Ow. How come that guy has got Buzz Lightyear wings and you haven't? Oh, oh, oh no, God. he died. <laughs> I, I killed him. You killed him. He's dead. Buzz just murdered a man. He was supposed to bring him in alive. You can always count on us, sir. You can always count on us, sir. So we've now seen... Um... Oh, oh, oh. oh! Jesus. Uh, uh, t two out of 14 of the clips. We have, yeah. <laughs> They're burning through them at a rate of knots, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the fact that the clips are involved and, you know, we saw the opening and the title of the game and so on and so forth. The game is based on the animated TV show of the same name, which is itself based on the animated TV show of the same name that ties in with the Buzz Lightyear action figure within the fictional oh. universe of the Pixar movie Toy Story. Brilliant. So this is a game based on a show, based on a show, based on a toy all based on a franchise originally conceived within a fictional movie universe. It's too much. It's too It's too much, quite frankly. It's too much. We're, we're, we're four layers deep, ladies and gents. I need to take a little holiday to Flamar. Flamar, yeah. It wasn't he a member of Blue, Flamar? <laughs> oh my god, look at the size of her head. She's got a Saturn head. Well, maybe that's her whole deal. Yeah. Oh, oh, three. Oh, oh my god. Don't don't look at it. Don't stare. It's rude to stare. I think she wants us to stare. She's a bit a bit sexual. That wasn't it. A bit of tension there. Yeah, flammer. Uh, has anyone got a photo of Buzz Lightyear outside of his suit? Just out of interest. I don't know like how weirdly proportioned he is, or if he's just a regular guy. Oh no! Oh look, there's a little hover bike there. No one refuses me. I'm getting on it. Oh, here we go. Oh whoa! Radical. No one refuses me, he says, disappearing off into the distance. <laughs> this is so weird because you're pursuing oh. the criminals. Nope. Not today. But you're... you're you, they're, they're chasing you. Wee! Whoa. Oh, you don't have five. Wee! Oh! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's really intense, isn't it? Who it certainly whoa! is. Um, here on Flamar. Oh! Oh, wow. That was... Oh! Oh, God. Who needs wings? Not this guy. Oh, there she oh, is! Oh, jeez, there's leeches falling down. I'm woefully under-equipped. She's got a shield on, you can't hurt her from here. Can you walk on the lavery bits? The, the no. Thing? Hurts my... Hurts, Jesus oh. Christ! Hurts my toesies. Yeah? Despite your actual spacesuit. Despite my... Yeah, he's not even got his visor up, which is also a bit confusing. Yeah, how dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet? My eyeballs just could have been sucked from their sockets. Exactly. Were they? No. No, but that doesn't matter, they could have been. I suppose this is a chartered planet, so he doesn't need it on. He knows Flammer. Yeah, he does. He's been to Flammar many times. Oh, look at the draw distance. <laughs> what draw distance? Oh, there's the wall. As you've established by now, this game's moved so quickly, like, my facts are so out of date constantly, but... The player controls Buzz Lightyear, who must whoa, race... Whoa. Oh. oh my god, it's making me walk in weird directions. It's controlling oh, my no. brain. I don't like that. Oh, The player controls Buzz Lightyear, who must race a villain to the end of each level, where a battle then occurs be between the two. During the race... Oh, no. The player must defend against various enemies who try to stop Buzz. Medals are required to advance to later levels and can be earned by collecting little green men scattered around the levels oh. and collecting enough money to pass its mark. Whatever that means. I love... I love marks. Marks. Mark Flamar. Is there a way to aim or no? I just have to look generally in, the, in their direction. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, yeah, my is, God. There's no aiming or lock on. No, what? In this game. Oh, the skid noise. The cartoon skid. Meep. Oh, it's making you feel motion sick. Here you go. That's what we wanted. Oh, no. He's pirouetting. How fast can I do this? Oh, Jesus. Really, really <laughs> fast. <laughs> Why is that allowed? You can spend 25 <laughs> units on that flipper there, if you want. You've only got five. Listen to that noise as it's bouncing off her shield. What am I meant to do? <laughs> Oh, the noise! <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh but This guy's a rad dude. I can see why Andy liked him more than Woody. Yeah, Woody's... I nearly swore. <laughs> 
He's rubbish. He's a rubbish He's toy. Cr crud, isn't he? He's real naffness. Yeah. Well, not legit. The furthest thing from legitness, quite frankly. Whoa! I need five more. There it is. Yeah. Okay, let's go see what this. Oh, there's more oh, now. There as well. Oh! Oh! Oh no! It gave me the thing that I needed. Sweet. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, that was it. Oh my god! Oh okay. my god! That's two, two dead now. <laughs> the the kill count is is really racking up. Oh, and here's a third. Oh! <laughs> oh, there he's he is in a clothes. jumper. He's in a jumper. <laughs> I don't like that. What happened here? We've missed the context. She was being all sexual, and now Buzz is in his pants. And slippers. That's how love is. And in the meantime, keep that pretty little nose of yours clean. Jeez. I don't understand what the message is here. There's so There was so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> squelch. What is that squelch? Why have they gone with that? No, Buzz, stop. Oh, look at him holding the memory card. I didn't notice that last time. Let's go for Canis Lunis. Is that... Dog Moon. Yeah, it is. Dog Moon. Welcome to Dog Moon. <laughs> Let's go to Dog Moon, everyone. Oh, I need three of those. No! You've got to revisit a level. Go back to the farm one. That's the easiest. Go to Jode. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go whip our Jodes out. Little Green Men, I think, is the official name. There's one. Oh, you can shoot him. Did I get him? Yeah. Are they not lives? Is that what Little Green Men are? No, they're... If you... Oh, there were some wings there, some buzz wings. Yeah, that's what I got last... Scoot. Is it what you got last time? I thought you got the hoverboard. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it oh. a double... Oh! Well, this is useful. Yeah, look how... Vertical speed. <laughs> that's what I... I wanted to go up fast. <laughs> Flipsy dopsy. Oh, nice. No, not not wealthy enough. Need to kill more people. Need <laughs> to murder more guys. I get to do the boss fight again, don't I? That's what's fun. Yeah. At a certain point in each level, Buzz can summon his partner, Booster, who stomps the ground to kill all nearby enemies. Oh. If the player beats the villain to the end of the level, Buzz's partner, Mira, briefly arrives to drain some of the villain's health, making the battle easier for the player. As a reward for being so good at my job. Bye, idiot. Oh, jeez, off you go. Ow. I used to own this game on PC. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I remember oh. Booster is available in this level somewhere. Is that Jesus. him on the left? Yeah, hit, hit that thing. Oh, I get it. He's the comic relief. He is. Which this show desperately needed. Oh, little green man. Oh, yeah. Behind Did you. Did... Oh. Ah, there we go. God, I feel really sick. <laughs> Am I still winning? No, he's going to beat me there. Oh, no. I'll have to fight him legitness. Surrender now. <laughs> Surrender now. <laughs> you won't stop me, Ranger. You won't stop me, Ranger. Ranger. Most of the cast of the TV show reprise their roles. No. Oh. Including the actor who plays Buzz, which is not Tim Allen, <laughs> but Patrick Warburton. Everybody loves Patrick Warburton. Absolutely. He plays Joe in Family Guy. Uh, he's in Tales from the Borderlands. He is. He also plays Ken in the B movie. You know Ken? He does play Ken in the B movie, yeah. You like Charles? Oh, the noise is just the worst. This is this is the noise it wanted to make, okay? I'm not gonna begrudge it. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. It's me, Christopher Walken. Ow. It is a bit, isn't no. it? No. My father's watch. Outstanding job, <laughs> like yeah. Okay, squelch. I don't know if I got any golds. I do, how do I get gold flipping things? Wait, what? Three gold? What? I hate it. Go back to the first level. Now, if you press down, there's a time trial. Oh, for God's sake! And also a something else. Press down again. There's a. Earthworm Gym challenge. I don't know what that is. Let's find out. The key to being blown apart is keeping an eye on where your body parts land. No, oh, he's been blown apart. You just gotta find his bits. One. Okay, that's a good start. This will be your challenge, won't it? Bonus fact that I've not I've not done any research into. Um, quite often you'll see games, particularly on the PS1, um, that have music and in the credits it'll just say music by it's something like 
PC Music Limited or something. Oh, fun. And it all sounds very similar. So examples I can think of off the top of my head, as well as this, are Jinx, which was a PS1 platformer where you played a sort of jester character. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also the Treasure Planet Disney PS1 adaptation. Yeah. Like it could all just be interchangeable. What's that thing there? I don't. I don't care to find out, really. <laughs> You've apparently only got 19 seconds left to find yeah, the last I've got piece. To, I've got to find one. I would hope that it's there. Oh, there it is. I've still got to get to the end, have I? Jesus, what? Or maybe it'll just time out, and if you've got them all, then... Yeah, maybe it will. We better hope so. Okay, there we go. You happy with that game? <laughs> Mission failed. Fuck off. <laughs> the Emperor Zerg won. Oh, God. That seemed really tight. Like, you've got to find all those bits and get... There, get to the end. Maybe do the Joad time trial instead. Oh, okay. Oh, we love Joad. Joad can suck a Joad, quite frankly. Whoa, hang on. Yeah. Oh, Buzz, oh. come on. God, it's so hostile, isn't it? Yeah. Why well, have they sent so many military machines to this, to to this, this farm? Space farm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right, it wasn't even the go. best time I got a silver flipping medal for it. Did you see that? Oh, for God's sake. So you still can't unlock the next level? I can! Yes. All right, Lightyear. You should be able to handle this one in hypersleep. Shut up. Lightyear. You should be able to handle... Oh, here's the fourth clip, or fifth clip. I am unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm impressed. I am unimpressed. He's just showing off for his blue girlfriend, I think. Stop right there, creepazoid. Stop right there, creepazoid. I can see that we'll have to do this the hard way. <laughs> oh, I'm already on a thing. Right, okay, he's a bit faster than the other ones. Here we go. Ah, uh, you've got to board your way. What, what is, what, 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 hang on, what are you doing there? I don't know, there's a bomb going to go off. I was joking, but it actually did. Was there anything I could have done to stop that? Is that is that mission failed? What? Mission failed. What what just happened? Why didn't it tell you about the bomb? Maybe it did. I am unimpressed. I'm so confused. This idiot. He still cries like he's being hurt. <laughs> I think it's a laugh. Is it? Oh, there's a bomb. Oh, okay. So there's no timer right now. Oh, now there's a timer. Is that the, the bomb behind me? I think it might be. Do you have to- What the hell? So because I'm in front of him, he triggers it after- I'm just- I'm. This is a write-off. I'm going to go back and just see. Do you have to just shoot the bomb or- No. That was irrelevant. Well, I think maybe there's more bombs possibly. Oh, for God's sake. They're all going to go off at that point. So I need to stay behind him then? Like, what, what the, what's the point? I don't know. Maybe it's to artificially make it so that you're not running ahead of the person you're supposed to be pursuing, which is just the worst part of this game. It makes no sense. Yeah, it does not explain. There we go. Look, it's gone now. Yeah. Right, so there were two bombs. What a load of crap. Okay, um, the game received an average review score of what on Metacritic based on, like, it was about a dozen reviews? 61. Less than that? 51. 54%. Uh, okay. Yeah. He waited for me. I'll give you the lowest score first, or, well, I'll tell you who it's from. It's from CNET Game Center. Okay. They said, with sloppy controls, an uncomfortable camera, poor voices, and awful music, BLSC has little to get excited about, even if you're a hardcore Toy Story fan. There's lots of those out there. Nice. Uh, what do you think they gave it? 35. A little bit more than that. 45? 40%. Oh, okay. Um, the reason I gave you the worst review first is because the best review is... Uh, Upsetting? Baffling. Okay. Um, Skip. Oh my god, I actually died. Oh, you died. Oh, I don't like this game at all. Mission failed. It's just so bad. It's just not fun. There's no, there's no fun here. No. The highest review score, what do you think it was? 
75. 73%. Okay. From uh, PSX Nation. But 73%, with the review line, it falls squarely in the middle of fun and boring. The repetitive nature of the game just takes out any fun that might have occurred in the beginning. Great. 73%. That's it. That's a game that's three quarters perfect. It's three quarters to perfection. And finally, I just wanted to, to read a little note that was in the Wikipedia uh, Wikipedia article about the game's reception. Hmm. IGN's Mark Nix noted that it was possible for the player to pass the villain being chased, resulting in the player having to wait at the end of the course for the villain to arrive in order to be apprehended, <sighs> as they cannot be stopped prior to the end of the course. Nix considered this concept, quote, pretty silly. <laughs> Yes, I would be inclined to agree. Yeah, so would I. It is, it is pretty silly. It is pretty silly. This game, pretty silly. I got quite far in this game oh. when I had it on PC, but it was, you know, the time when you play what you've got and just chip away at you it. just persevere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Over the course of a year, you just keep playing it. Yeah. It's just rubbish, isn't it? There's just so much going on. You know, there's so many pickups and coins and purchasable... In-game purchases, mid-level kind yes. of thing. Uh, loads of turrets and enemies, projectiles flying around. Oh, and oh, and it controls badly. Buzz is really heavy, isn't he? I remember how slowly he turns. Yeah, it's bad. And then there's the whole concept of you're supposed to be pursuing, pursuing a criminal. And you're running ahead of them on a hoverboard. And they're chasing you. Yeah. It just... Makes no sense. Stop! In the name of Star Command. <laughs> you violated the law. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, oh, there was a thing there. Pick up there. Yeah, little cannonball boy. My big Bobby. fella. Oh, dear, that draw distance. Oh, you made it to the Avin base. Oh, here she is. Soften them up for you, Buzz. You could always help with the fight if you wanted, but that's okay. Thanks, Mira. Oh, it's just rapid fire. He's got turrets here. Are you gonna die? Oh, I don't think... I think you were doing damage to him when he had his shield, but it doesn't work on his flesh. Well, colour me. Can... Oh, wow, there all the enemies are. Can you change weapon to anything else you've picked up? Let's... Or can you only carry one at a time? Oh, yes, I can. Is that... Am I, doing... Am I using the right gun? Like, what? what is it? Oh! What is that? I don't know, but it's... Oh, it's got no bullets. I don't know how I'm meant to do damage to him. It's not giving me any in information. Can I destroy these? Yes. Eventually. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Does he exp He exploded too. Okay, there it is. Third one dead. Oh, Zerg Tower. No, not lunch. Launch. Once knows for a to destroy Star Command, the galaxy will be mine. Huh? Not today, Zerg. Like here? It cannot be. Can so. <laughs> What was that? Is he spitting oil inside his helmet? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Never get tired of hearing that, do you? Nope. Score another one for the good guys. That's right, we bad. <laughs> well, in a good way. Where to now, Buzz? To infinity. And Why does this feel like the ending cutscene? Yeah, this feels like we've finished the game. Have we finished the game? <laughs> I think we have. No. Let's just pretend we have. Surely we have. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if that was the end? Well, what? What do you? What more do you want? We gave you three levels, and there's three things to do in each of them. That's nine levels. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I think you should end the game. I've done all my facts. This is rubbish. Oh, we're going to Karen next. Okay, I'm done. I'm out. It's over. Oh. It's over. Karen wants to speak to the manager. May I speak to Star Command, please? Yeah, go on. Go, go on. Call him. Call him. Go and ask. 